Yo, 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 yo. Good early afternoon to everyone out there in human land. Because I am also a human. Sorry, just finishing off a tea. Because, you know, why not? Why not? Tea time. Right, anyway. What am I even doing? I don't know. Um, let's get down to business. Could have feed the hums. Right, so it's essentially the point of the stream today is, well, there's never any point, but the goal, the hope, is that I can learn a bit more about Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. And you guys, whoever's in chat, can sit back and watch that. All right, let's get to main gameplay. And then I've got to tell the game to look at Cataclysm. There we go. The game is viewable. So, yeah. This is Cataclysm. I'm not going to do a blow-by-blow uh, blow of the game. But I will be talk talk explaining what I'm doing. Apparently I'm at Sunny Isles. That's the name of the world. Or at least the location I'm based in within the world. Alright, Mr. Does It. And I'm playing as Gary Barlow. Which was just a name that I thought off the top of my head. How are you today, Mr. Does It? Game is generating. Huh. Game has never had an issue at this point before. There we go. Good to hear, good to hear. Love to hear that you're great. That's a powerful word there, great. Akin to only Tony the Tiger. You're at Tony the Tiger levels today. I'm... Made pro progress in Hades and Underworld. Cool. Cool, cool. Good to hear, good to hear. Undermine. Ah, oh, I was like... I, I thought it was a level in Hades. I was like... Maybe you, uh, maybe you did make progress. Like, the music is a little bit, sometimes the music in this game is, like, weirdly jarring. Uh, and it's annoying, because I have to add the sound pack to add the sounds, but the music, I could turn the music off, but the game is very dull with that. Well, not dull. Uh, I need to remember the keys. Oh, God, this is hard to do while talking. So essentially it's like turn based in the sense of a turn happens as you can see by the time here when I move. So by moving time is progressing but if I don't move things don't happen. Uh, where it's dark is what I can actually see where it's this light that's actual light pouring in from this window and then when it's a sepia colour here you can't see anything. So I can see one patch of grass outside. When I look out, I can see that's literally my view, and the sepia out is where I have seen in the past, but I don't have current eyes on it. So I'm aware of the landscape, but not currently. So, what am I doing? I am going to try and craft. Oh, I need to go to other tools. And I was looking to create... I just made a screwdriver, you know... And that crack pipe, man. Can't wait to have a crack pipe. Uh, I need a makeshift crowbar. So I need one pipe. One pipe. And then, once we've done that... I need armor? Storage. Makeshift sling. Was it sling or I was looking for? Or the other one? Swing on knapsack. So my, the issue I'm having at the moment is storage. I can carry a lot because I've got a perk that allows me to carry more. But unfortunately, I can't. Um, the volume is the issue. So the difference being how heavy something is to the amount of something. So if, I'm, if I've got 100 nails and they're all really light, but I'm trying to carry them in my hands, I can't really do it. Because I've got small hands, apparently. 
How much of this can I make? I definitely can't make that. Bindle. Can't make that. Tainted hide. Probably don't want that. Leather belt. Don't need that. So essentially what I need to check is the encumbrance. So how much it slows me down. Um, two to nine. And the total storage volume. So that makeshift knack sap is nine. Makeshift sling, which I can make, is ten. But I get really full, obviously, because it's going to get heavy. So... Uh, dispose of your wood. Dispose of your wood. Put it down and start working. Uh, you put down the make... You craft a makeshift slim from memory and you put down the makeshift slim on the ground. Okay. So now the sling is there, so I need to grab it. There's nothing to grab. I don't. So... I need to remember how to pick up things. So... I'm going to do the thing I do many times. Many, many times. Make a new inventory. Get used to me trying to figure out how to do things. Smash nearby things. Examine interact by nearby work. E. Okay. E. That is the flaw. Uh, the matrix sling, please. I would like to pick that up. Okay, maybe not. E. Up. Where makes of sling? I now have a sling. You Toto is very encumbered. Dodging and melee is hampered. Okay. That is fine because I need to figure out. So I need to get into the layering section, which I've just done. So, now that I'm layering, I need to go to Torso, make sure it's sling. So this is encumbering me a bit, because obviously it's a bag. It's like a, I think the way the sling works is like, you wear it over your, like, shoulder. I think it also encumbers your one of your arms. No, just, you like wear it over yourself, like a sling, obviously. But it's, you're holding it onto it. Have a good one, Rick. Heading back to work. Fair enough, Mibs. Enjoy your work. I hope it isn't too stressful. So the way I thought that this worked in game was I thought that the bottom is so it's layers. You got to think about this as layers. I thought the way that this worked was this is the closest layer to your body. Then you go further and further out. But it turns out it's this is it's from down to up. So the tool belt. I've realized I shouldn't have that let far along. So the tool belt should be there. So I'm wearing a winter coat and a jacket. How much? Hmm. How much winter coating do I need? Let's have a look. So this, the storage on the winter coat is three liters. So it's like pockets and stuff. And the emergency jacket is nothing. I should essentially drop the coat. Which I will do by going to my inventory. Emergency draft jacket. Take off. You take off the emergency jacket. There we go. And unfortunately, I didn't drop it. So it's now just in my inventory. No, I don't want to compare it. I want to G I items to compare. No, 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 no. Get used to this. Get used to this. Um. D. Nope. Okay, back to control. Inventory inquire requires I into take off worn item, 
where I am. Wield I am, apply or use I am. A. Okay, it's A apparently. No, it's not A. I lied. Drop item D. Oh, here we go. Apparently now it works. Even though I did this literally just before. So we take we drop the jacket because it's not very good. Alright. So I still really need to make the makeshift crowbar for reasons. I'm 100 percent sure why I need to do this. I think crowbar's just good for getting into things. And I need to make it so I can still see the chat and the key bindings, so let's do that. Let's pop out chat, pop you out, there you are, hello chat. There you go chat, now, now I can see you wherever I go. Um. Let's have a look. So I need to get a pipe to make my makeshift. Uh, improvised locks, tools, makeshift crowbar, I need one pipe. Which is doable. So essentially, I'm going to come over to... Hmm. Maybe not. I'm essentially smashing the locker in the hopes that I get a pipe. There's no pipe there. Okay, I'm getting tired. I don't smash, Capcom. I got no pipes, and my character got very tired. That's fine. Who needs a pipe anyway? Okay. I need my dude to chill out, because he's super stressed out at the moment. Like, super, super, super stressed out. Yeah. So we'll go for a little walk. There's a possum outside. Actually, let's not be dumb. Close the door. Play it safe. Okay, he's chilling out now. So, here's the map. Uh, there's Harrisville down here, and I've had a very quick look over at Harrisville. Like, I mean very quick. I was, like, peering from far away. And essentially there's a bunch of zombies. So, probably not going to go there just yet. And then we down here, we got the prison. There is a prison down here, which I have also gone and had a look at. Um, there's not much going on. It's locked up. It's a prison. Uh, I don't know if I'll go explore the prison just yet. But... Yeah, so yeah, this section here indicates whether there's enemies or not. At the moment, there's a possum to the west, which isn't an enemy, because it would be in red, but it's grey. It's greyed out. Look, he's, he's seen me. He's alerted to my presence, and he's legging it. Because I'm a big, wily human. All right. I actually need to go back. But we have a big storage unit now. Which is good. Big storage. Leaving the door open is very dumb. But hey, just experimenting at the moment. Okay. I've got a makeshift screwdriver. Tap, 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 tap. Need like an entrenching tool. Shift tab goes back one, which is very annoying. I need, like, to dig. Doesn't look like I can do that. Um, which is a shame. Because 
I would like to dig. Uh, yeah, 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 upgrade. Um, so food is our biggest issue at the moment. We need to set up a way of um, eating. I guess I could make a fishing hook and then basic fishing rod afterwards. I would need a lot of things, which I do not have. Um... Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can change the resolution. That's what I call service. Yeah, you can. Maybe they... Maybe I got enough subs that they allowed you to do it now, you said. I don't know. Get to... So... Not going to be in food. So I need to make a brazier, essentially. Hello, Yusef. You, aren't you just full of energy? I can't, literally can't make any containers, which is fine. Parts. I don't want to do that. Other. Fine. Capital F. Bray. How do you spell brazier? It's got a Z in it. And it's got an eye in it. I cannot make a brazier. Okay. That's not good. Right. I do, however, want to pick up my hammer. Stone hammer. A. Here we go. Now I have a stone hammer. So what we got on the ground? We got a some ammo for a, for a thing I'll show you in a minute. A whistle. Um, and what else? It's like a downgrade of RimWorld. It came way before RimWorld, so yeah. It's kind of like RimWorld, except for A, it has Z levels and Z levels. I'm not American. And B, it's way more in depth. Like, I mean way, 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 way more adept. Plus, I'm playing as the character, not a bunch of characters. But hey, yeah. Uh, so, I'm up on the roof now. Pretty sure I could disassemble, like, the water tank here? Maybe? I've got to figure out how to disassemble. Can I move onto this? No. You cannot grab the standing tab. Okay. I... Weapon held, screwdriver. No, I don't want to interact with, I want to interact with... Yeah, there we go. You need two items to compare. I don't want to compare. Oh, I'm in the compare menu. There we go. I don't know, um... So I want to disassemble... So maybe I want to activate it. Don't have any modified tools. Okay. There's nothing to pick up nearby. Hmm. How do I... So, the, essentially, I want to... This, um... Tank. Standing tank. I want to disassemble it. So I can take it downstairs and fill it with water. Um, which you can do. Um... 
I need to figure out how. Harvesting, blah, 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 blah. The roof. The shelter, blah, 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 blah. Improving, here we go. Together to we make construction menu, which is deconstruct furniture. I have disassembled the standing pack. Yes, I got punched by a zombie. Uh, what do we have? G, water faucet, and the tank. I need both of those things. Oops, that's can't just press enter to pick up items, you have to press left. And that water tank is way too heavy for me. Hmm. Maybe I can... Store an inventory, okay. Okay, I'm wheel I'm wielding a very heavy water tank down the stairs. Okay, maybe not down the stairs. There we go. Maybe I grabbed way too many. We'll put our water tank outside for now. <laughs> yes, the hammer thing was yeah. I can't even make the crowbar yet. I got unlucky and smashed a bunch of lockers. Um, I'm just trying to put my character in a way that they won't die of starvation or thirst way too quickly. Um, I want to go to inventory. And metal tank. Drop! So now we have a... Metal tank. I want to examine the metal tank. The metal tank is a large metal tank for holding liquids useful for crafting. It can contain 60 litres of water. It weighs 5.67 kilograms. Um, it's not really good as a weapon. It's made of steel. You know nothing you could craft with it. Great. So that's great. Uh, I think I still have it in my inventory. I might not. It'll be a misc if I do have it. Um, I want to wield this, by the way. So I've got the little 2x4 sword out. Made of wood. I'm just happy I got like a little bag now. Can't go down because I pressed the wrong button. No, I did not pick up the faucet. That's consume. Examine. Up. I would like to examine the water faucet and I would like to put the water faucet in my bag. Cool. Then I would like to go down. Then I would like to on this side. I don't think it matters what side you do it, but hey. Make a crafting spot. Okay. Make a crafting spot. A cleared spot on the ground for crafting. Slower than usual workbench or holding a... Okay. Okay. Can I attach... Can I do anything? Oh, here we go. Make firewood source. Make practice target. Hmm. Great. Great! I just wanted to attach the faucet to the um, other thing. Pebble, ammo. Other, no. So the thing I need to make it is a entrenching tool, which I don't think I know how to make. Um, I need a improvised uh, crowbar to break into places. Uh, but I've got a hammer. There's a hammer in my inventory somewhere. 
Uh, hammer, 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 hammer. Stone hammer. Look, there it is. Uh, what else do I need to do? Mm. I guess here we'll just make a crafting spot. Uh, ah. Making crafting spot. Cool. Can I do anything else now? I have a crafting spot. I can make simple furniture. I'll deconstruct simple furniture. Okay, I can just make more crafting spots. Um, so I want to filter. Press F or slash to search. Bra brazier. Can't make a brazier. Okay. I need to clear the search. Oh, there we go. R or R. Okay. So how about filters? Oh. Brazier. Maybe I was in the wrong menu. That wasn't. Okay, clear again. So I need a fireplace to make, to cook things to, you know, eat, essentially. Um, F. Fire. Make firewood source. Build a stone fireplace. <laughs> I need... I need more rocks. Fire ring. Okay, I can make that. Requires shallow pit. Great. Maybe... How to make shallow pit. To clear the filters. Dig grave. Well, we're probably not there just yet. Maybe. Pit. Spike pit, glass pit, pit filled with dirt. Okay. Chop tree trunk into plants. Don't want to do that. Don't have an axe. Board up wood door. Reinforce wood door. Spike pit. Downstairs. Mine downstairs. Mine upstairs. I just want a pit, man. I feel like it had been construction. Game what? Fill pit with dirt. Well, I can. If I find a pit, I can fill it. Shallow water with dirt. Build wall. Rope fence. So this uh, requires pit. How annoying. Uh, maybe I can do F. Oh, don't do that. F find hit. Nope. Reset. Entrent. This is going to be a problem because I can't spell the word entrenching. Maybe one of you lovely people could write the word entrenching in chat so I can actually spell it. Uh, sharpened foil, slingshot, makeshift knife. See, that's the thing. Would an entrenching tool be a tool or a weapon? Hmm. Or am I just really dumb and don't know how to do it? There's a very good chance my character is just too dumb to understand. There's all the food I can't make. There's all the drugs I can't make. There's the one electronics I can make. Armor. I can actually make some pretty decent stuff in there. Okay. Fiber mat, wash kit, 
sandbag, wood ash, wooden beads, plastic chunk, bones here, holy symbol, spike nail, that trap, blade, candle, improvised lock, long string, sure, oh my god. So, I need something that, um, fuse. I need something that can be an entrenching tool. So here, I'm looking for like entrenching tool. Butchering. How weird. Tools. Let's see if we can make any other tools. Torch. Hmm. Stone knife. I just need a short string to make a short stone knife. Might be good, because then I can butcher things. Maybe. Stone knife. 50 sinew. Short string. What do I need for short string? Short string I can make with... So if I go in here... I'm pretty sure I have some either short string or long string on the ground. I have some short string. Perfect. So if we... That doesn't work. I don't know why I keep doing that. There we go. So I have a bad habit of hit hitting enter at the moment when I'm trying to do things. I have like a crafting zone like here. So I'll just stand here. We'll craft outside. It's bright and clear and the weather is warm. So it's nice. It's nice outside. Um, I want to craft. I don't want to craft a stone hammer because I have one. I want to go to ar armor. I can make a. Apparently, I can make more now. That wasn't that long before, was it? No, it can't have been. No, oh, this has got way longer. I guess it's because I'm holding the string. Earth, I can make an earth bag or a sand bag or a scrap copper, a improvised lockpick, rolling paper, cotton balls, plank. I need wood sawing. See, the problem is you can't even see some things until you've uh, like got the right tools to do them. So we'll make a stone knife. We'll use a one sharp rock. Time is ticking along. Look, time's going ahead. Possum came along. Possum went away. I apparently put the knife on the ground. Get items. Thank you. Picked up the stone knife. My inventory is like a bit of a jumble of random crap at the moment, I'll be honest. Craft items. Just having a look to see now that I've got the knife on me, can I build any more? And as you can see, I could build loads more. Stupid amounts more. So I'm annoyed I can make a torch, but not a digging stick. There we go. I mean, oh, God. So we're getting there. Just got to find a heavy stick now. So the digging stick, we'll be able to make a fire pit. If we make a fire pit, then we can make a fire. I think. 
pretty sure we're still going to need fire. I mean, yeah. I need to also figure out how to drag things. E examine. If I press enter on it, can I interact with it? Never mind. G grab. No, yeah. Capital G grab? Grab where? There's nothing to grab here. G grab. Capital G. Yeah, okay. So backs are controlled. Um, how do I drag? Environment. Drag all items you are currently standing on. Okay. Okay. So if I go onto the item, hit that button. I want to put this here. Cool. I know how to do that now. So yeah, this is the game. Obstensively. It's me slowly torturing myself trying to figure out how to play. But hey, you know. As long as you guys are enjoying. You guys you are going crazy in chat. My god. Can't stop you guys. But no. Uh, yeah, you're watching me learn. Which is fine, because... You know, why not? Why not? Um, so... It works! Oh no, bomb! So, I'm now set up in a place... I should just say... I, yeah. I, I never remember to disable those when I'm not playing Noiter. So I need to now learn how to forage. Because, um... Uh... That is where I'll find a heavy branch. So E. Nope, don't wield. Okay, so you step into it, you didn't find anything. There's nothing to be examined. That's a peanut brush. Nothing to be... Can't... I... So I can eat some peanuts. Eventually. Where do I want to? I think I lost some of the viewers. What makes you say that? No? I've got eight people watching me. <laughs> eight mad people watching this insanity. Pick. Yeah, why not? Pick, pick some withered, withered plants. There's nothing in here. Blueberry bush. Nothing going to be harvested this season. I essentially want to... Yes, OG bot, you clap those ears. Pick bluebells. Yes. The music is not from the game. The music is from the game. The music is 100% from the game. This is not my taste in music. You found wild vegetables. Fresh. Oh god, that's annoying. Uh, why have I not picked those up? You pick up wild vegetables. I'm trying to find a heavy stick. Maybe maybe we don't do it this way. Maybe instead we just look around. Maybe that works better. There'll be a heavy stick on the ground at some point. I don't want to go too far to the north because that's town. And town, from what I saw last time, had dead people. What the hell is that? It is a downspout. Okay. Okay, game. Ooh, there's cat's tails. You can actually eat cat's tails. Did not know that, because I've not... I don't think I've ever seen a cat's tails in real life. There's a big log there. Really step into raspberry bush. No. Thank you, game. That is a raspberry bush. That is no, not currently in season. Thank you, game. 
So swamps are great. This is a swamp, by the way. We can swamps are indicated by the light blue F. So technically, I'm on the edge of a swamp. I'm actually in a forest, but there's a swamp around me. Um, like swampy foresty area, you know, like marshlands and all that. Uh, they're great for food. But they're very dense. So if an enemy appears in this forest, he could probably get quite he or she or they could get quite close to me without me knowing. I'm apparently picking dandelions. I wonder if you can eat dandelions. Uh, I forest the underbush. I oh, don't step into it, you dingus. Oh, it's, I can't pick the rose bush. It's not in season. Uh, I'm not finding much. I'll be honest. Um. So this is a big tree trunk. There's nothing that can be examined from the big tree trunk. And these things up here are tree trunks. So I'm just looking for like a large twig on the ground. Which apparently in this forest, there isn't any. Unless I don't know the sprite, which is also probably true. So if you do see it, there. Okay, cool. That is a heavy stick. That's exactly what I need. Take the heavy stick. Great. It is almost 2 p.m. on our first day. So that's nice. Okay. So we go back to crafting? Crafting. Then we hit tab because the button you press is tab. Don't want to make a rock and a sock. I would like to make... I could make tinder, which I'm also going to need, which... Tool of cutting... Ah! Digging stick. Cool. I now have a digging stick, which I've dropped on the ground because I'm an idiot. But I'll examine. Get item. Digging stick. Cool. And then I want to... Probably want my fire here. Feels like a good place. So we'll go to this menu. Uh, how do I? I've got a crafting spot. Digging and mining. Dig a grave. Why is the game obsessed with telling me about digging graves? Chop a tree down. Make a crafting spot. Got one of those, but thank you, game. Okay, maybe it's this menu. It wouldn't be this menu. This menu's all about... Yeah. So instead, I want to go to inventory. I want to go to digging stick. I want to activate. Dig a pit here. See, I figured it all out. I didn't know what I was doing. Okay. Dig a water channel here. Hmm. Dig a pit here. Literally there. How do I... Okay. I finished making a shallow pit. And what's in there? Rock and soil. That's fine. Oh. So we want to go in and we want to grab the rock. Because rocks are valuable. At least at the moment. If I get 40 of them, I can make a... Like a thing. And then we want to go onto this ground. And we're just going to... I'm dragging the dirt out of the pit. Because by hand. Which is honestly quite impressive. So yeah. Then we need to go to this menu. No, not this menu. This menu. Back through. Tinder. Uh, withered plants, probably less. Store in inventory. Wielding tinder. Okay. Tinder. Am I going to need things? What if I... Okay, here's the thing. Inventory. Uh, and I kept a hold of this for a specific reason. You... Drop newspaper in the hole. 
go back into inventory, activate. You can't do anything interesting with your Tinder. Tinder. Am I an idiot? This isn't a Flint and Tinder, is it? It's just Tinder. Okay. Examine Tinder. Flammable material finally divided into easily combustion. So I literally just made kindling. And I don't have a lighter. Wait, I do. No, I don't. It says light, not lighter. Okay. Flight issue then. Flight issue then. Uh, I want to put things in my tool belt. How do I do that? Activate tool belt. You have no items that you could put into your tool belt. That is filthy. So I, also, I got the tool belt off of a zombie. Are you telling me I can't put a screwdriver in it? I don't believe that. You're telling me the screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, that can't be put in a... I don't believe you. You're a liar game. Uh, I am going to go down here, go into this, and then to also pick up. So now I should also pick up rocks, because I want to do that. Because I love rocks. So. Now we need to... Oh, we're thirsty and hungry. Oh, that's fine. We've got... water, which we will activate, and we're a bit peckish. So as long as you can manage your first, you're all right. Fuck me. So that's good. All right. So there's a swamp directly below us. Hello, swamp. And that is shallow water, deep water. I can't tell if it is salt water or clear water, which is fair enough. Right. Now what? Now what? I mean, I really want to go have a look. So I'll show you the prison now, guys. Because you're probably loving the fact that I've just been doing crafting and no exploring. Okay, so we spotted a black rat, and the game does this safe mode where it warns you. It stops the game and says, there is an enemy nearby. I'm going to ignore the black rat. That's not, that's my character. And we're now going to keep traveling. Where is the black rat on the map? But down there on the south. I don't know if you can see that, but it's there. Chug fish serum. I'd love to chug fish serum. Fortunately, I've just started playing, and I unfortunately don't have any access to any. But when I do, when I do, I can promise you, I will probably chicken out and not do it. Right. So here's the prison. I'm pretty. I don't see any turrets. I see an iBot. So there's an iBot down there, which is a quadcopter drone, largely comprised of a high resolution camera lens and a speaker. This robot hovers around the ground, documenting the carnage and mayhem around it. While it is no longer able to report to a central authority, it is likely that some of its automated alert systems are still functional, given that the thing seems to have an operational charging station somewhere. So essentially, it's like an automated CCTV that's just yelling annoying things now. So I'm going to break in here. Yes, I want to smash. From the south, you hear... Universal curfew is in effect. Please return to your home. This unit is authorized to open fire. You can't. You hear a wump. 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 And we're breaking the door. You can shoot at me all you want, dude. I know you're not going to because you're an iBot. And I'm pretty sure iBots don't have that ability. Okay. I'm getting stressed out. So we're going to wait a while. Wait until you catch your breath. Yes. Oh, wait, I hit the wrong button. Wait a while, wait. 
Ignore further distractions and finish. There we go. Keep whacking, keep whacking. There we go. We're inside. Let's see what we can find. We've got nothing in the left hand one. Probably could have deconstructed that door. And Tactical Handgun Digest, which is a book. Which is great. Absolutely great. Get items. Probably move the mouse. Something I found about people that played this game. File. Uh, several documents with all kinds of information, customer data, charts, customer data, it's a prison. And charts kept together, pretty useless now though. Okay, won't take that. And uh, But I will take the hand. So what you want to do with this kind of thing, is you want to give it a quick read. Uh, ignore until... So, and then you do you give it a quick, so your character like skims through it and goes, okay, what's the contents of this? And then you get an idea. Can bring your hand skill to one, requires intelligence of five. I have an intelligence of ten. Uh, reading this book affects your morale by one, so I think it makes you unhappy. It takes eight minutes to read a chapter. This book contains 11 crafting recipes. Side mount, replaceable furniture kit, sights, iron sights, bead loader shoe, Launching sights mount, offset, iron sights, pistol sights mount, bottom mount, placeable stock gear, and a flintlock pistol. So, you know, one of the old. One of the old clacky clackies. This is locked, isn't it? It's a locked wire gate fence. If only you had some way of picking a lock with it. I could pick it, but I don't think exploring the prison is going to be the best thing for me. Ooh. Ooh. How do you get into... Hmm, interesting. So there's noise from inside the prison. So that indicator there, that is something in, of... So there's like a... The thing, I, I thought the iBot was yelling, but it's not the iBot. There's like a... There's some sort of robot inside that's yelling about curfew. Oh, hello. That's valuable back there. Did not know that was there. So there's like an abandoned shack behind the prison. Valuable, valuable. I mean, I'll be. I'm hungry now, which is I've got to keep her, keep an eye on. Oh, there's ammo casings. Okay. So all of these things are valuable, but just not yet to me. But whether I collect it or not is a completely different matter. So, and up here is an armoured vehicle, which I checked last time I was here. Unfortunately, it has no wheels. So I cannot drive it. Spotted black rat. Okay, these black rats. Where is it, though? I don't see it on the radar at all. So if I hit X? No. If I hit Shift V? Okay, black rat is all the way up there. And it's tracking. So it's up to the east. Okay, I can just about see where it is. So I will turn off. There it is. Is it coming for me? No. Right, apart from the black rat, we don't really have any issues. I should pick up rocks automatically when I walk over them. Which I'm going to need for my fire pit. Um, yeah, I don't play with numpad, which I probably should learn to do. I play with, you know, up, down, left, or right. So walking diagonally is a bit of a pain. Let's have a look inside. <laughs> the music stopped there just at the worst possible time. I was like, am I dead? Uh, it's just a pile of rubble. I should probably pick up the nails. E examine. Pick up net. 800 net. That's a lot of nails. I thought it was one nail. A huge pile of nails on the ground. Nails are like valuable. I, From the little I know about the game, nails are like. should replace bottle caps. So, I'm gonna run around and pick up all these rocks. 
So I can also go... So that's like everything I can see. As you can see, I've never been down here before. I'm not hungry anymore. Interesting. Um, I don't remember eating anything. Apparently my character was hungry. I'm no longer in pain either. So he kind of... Gary kind of, you know, got over his pain. Which is good, because I had no painkillers. I do have two first aid kits, but I'm not going to take... I'm not going to use a first aid kit on minor damage like that. Uh, got a pit bull. Okay. Pit bulls. Okay. So I want to hit shift V. And coyotes. So there's one coy... Pit bulls over there, and then there's a huge group of coyotes that are ignoring me, but they can see me. So animals kind of leave you alone, usually, in this game. You know, maybe if they're hungry. But at the moment, they're aware of me and not doing anything. Which is fine, but I'm probably not going to attempt that. And that pit bull mix is just out there. He might be friendly, he might be hostile. You know, it is the cataclysm, so dogs are just dogs. They ain't gonna be man's best friend anymore. So I'm gonna leave. What the heck? Oh. What was that? What was that? I don't have my notifications open, so... Oh, I got raided. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm playing Cataclysm Dark Zen. Uh, no, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I do that every time. How are you guys doing? Everyone, welcome in. I'll get some chairs ready. So yeah, we're just playing. I'm learning how to play. So if that's not your thing, then that's cool. But hey, you're watching a noob play a very complicated game. Um, so yeah, I don't want to go down to the south too much further with all those coyote coyotes. Um, I'm instead a red breast sunfish dives deep into the water. Okay. That's fine, dude. I'm leaving you alone. I'm leaving you alone. Right there. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. X, Z, Y, stamp, streaks. I very much appreciate that. And, yeah. You got me up to 70 followers. Look at that. We moved off to 69. Sad in some ways, but you gotta grow. You gotta grow. Can't stay at 69 forever. This is where someone unfollows me specifically to get me at, keep me at 69. But yes, I appreciate the follow. Thank you very much. <laughs> Existence and no problem. Ah, I see. There you go. It's cool. I unfollowed. <laughs> Did you actually? Oh, you did. You... Well, fair enough. I knew one. I knew. No problem, ma'am. Products on Void streamer here. No one streaming it though. So the next best game is CDDA. Well, I appreciate it. I'm just doing like a very casual, like low, low energy first time playthrough of Cataclysm. Um, I have also wanted to play Project Zomboid, which comparatively feels a little bit. I've played Project Zomboid a fair bit. And it's a bit nicer to play than this game. Uh, apparently that black rat is really, really curious about me. I should go kill it. Is that a lot of ammo? Yeah. That is a lot of ammo casing. Um, oh, Zomboid is on my wish list. Looks good. I can't use an now. Hmm. Well, you'd like this game then, Nano, because you don't need a mouse for it. Both games have a hell of a learning curve. Yeah. I mean... Spotted black rat. Oh my god, these black rats. But there are so many things in this game that I would love to see in Zombies. Yeah. The mutation stuff is like... And the... Uh... Oh, Nano followed me again. Thank you, Nano. Thank you. Unfortunately, it doesn't play the uh, following sound uh, when you refollow. But I appreciate the follow, Nano. Um, What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, I love Project Zomboid, and I learned that because I watched a YouTuber called Mathis. Not even so much the mutations, but more the crafting, etc. Yes, though, Blood Soaked Rags. I don't think I'm going to pick that up. 
Um, Mathis is a good guy. Mathis is a very lovely person. I very much love his content. Um, very genuine. Um, and he helped me get into the game. Is that the annoying bell? Get your shit together. No, it's the chime from Father Ted. Drunk on life, Nomis plays, and a couple of others. A few playlists of Zomboid. Well, I'll check those guys out as well. I love just like um, watching YouTubers who. Um, I don't know why I'm not picking up this rock. Oh, my volume's overweight. Never mind. Cancel. Um, so like Rikon roleplays is why I'm I'm playing this because I started watching Rikon roleplays, uh, who's a great YouTuber as well. But yeah, thank you for the recommendation, so I'll definitely check out their content. Helps me sleep, I doze off to it, and then apparently I subconsciously think about it. Yes, Rikon is great. I actually messaged Rikon. Um, because I was talking I was like asking for I'm gonna kill that rat by the way, because it's annoying the hell out of me. Yep, you are a rat. Hey Mr. Rat. Yep, yep, not hitting it. There you go. I did some damage, I hit it for seven. Uh, and it's dead. Cool. Yes, I messaged him being like, hey, just for some advice about setting up and stuff. And he actually answered, so I greatly appreciated that. He didn't have to do that. He could have ignored me. Hey there. Dog. How about you leave me alone? Right, we'll go home for now. I've got way too many rocks on me, apparently. How many rocks do I have on me? And way too many nails. Oh. GDOM2000, thank you for the follow. I, need, I do need to turn that down a little bit, but hey. Yo, 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 look at those emotes. Look at those emotes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Right. I, You get to enjoy me trying to play this game for the first time. Essentially. I have like played a tiny bit offline. Just because I didn't want to subjugate people to me literally trying to learn the macros, the hotkeys, the rocks. Drop the rocks, please. I probably could just hit the keys instead of scrolling down, but hey. Sometimes you just want to feel like a leap hacker. Um, where are my nails? Literally just was looking at my nails. Or did I drop those as well? No, they're down there. Thank you, thank you. Hotkeys are a saying. The point of being kicked. Yes, I know. Uh, on my second, st the streaks, I'm assuming naked, follow. I'm a fan of nudes. I mean, Nano, you're a fan of a lot of things. Right, so we got some nails and we got some rock. I'm on mobile. The hotkeys are fun. They are. They are indeed. Right. Um, I'm kind of getting it. And, you know, I've got it open on my second screen. So I can just look over if I need to. So at the, at, the, at the moment, I'm trying to make a fire pit, but I've come to the realization I can't make a fire pit without fire. Street. Oh, a, 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 a key. I don't have it. I don't have my glasses on. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. So this is town. Harrisville over here. I've ventured a tiny bit into Harrisville. Had a quite like a little, tiny look for Parisville. Uh, then I went because I started. I'm doing an I'm doing an evacuation shelter playthrough. There is also an another evacuee hiding in the shelter called uh, Quinton Weirdo Street. So Weirdo's in there. I've been leaving Weirdo alone. I could probably get him to follow me and help me out, but kind of don't want to. Um, and then I used the computer in there to find out where the the evac center is, which is going to be my mission. I'm going to try and get to the evac center. Unfortunately, the evac center is just along here and down here, down here, and along here, and it's essentially there. So that's my end goal. That is going to be my, like, I completed it. Like, I did what I set out to do. I know that the evac sentence isn't the be or end all, but that is my mission at the moment. If I can pull that off or not, probably unlikely. 
I need a car essentially. But before I need before we get the car, before we get any of that, I literally need to survive. I need to be able to maintain myself because at the moment it's just I'm just a dude standing in a field looking at an empty fire pit that I can't light. But hey, I'm not hungry, so. So yeah. Let's crack on. What is that? That wasn't there before. That is a corpse. It's corpse of a human. I don't know if that was a zombie or just a dead body. I think it's just a dead body. Cash chuck. Okay. So I want to examine the corpse. Uh, I want your cash card of $49.64, please. And I keep doing that. Butcher the human. Yes. The f problem is I'm not a cannibal, so I'm pretty sure my character will be very unhappy if I do that. Um, I don't know... You know nothing you could do to craft with it. Human bone is still useful for glue. Okay, okay. So to butcher, I move on to the tile, I hold capital B, and then I butcher human. Is my character going to flip out if I do this? Let's find out. Full butchery, please. 40 minutes is fine. To form a full butchery this course, you need to need a butchering rat and nearby... Okay, so quick butcher then, okay. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure this this is the way of the game saying your character hates the idea of this. Are you sure you want to do this? Um, I'll do it once just to get an idea of how much my character hates it. Okay, you harvest human flax. You fail to harvest human stomach. You harvest chunks of human fat. Uh, human bones, sinew, raw human skin. Um, so now I need to figure out where morale is in the game. So, where are you, morale? Morale, 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 morale. I'm going to keep saying the word morale until it loses all meaning. Uh, let me know, by the way, guys, if you want me to turn down the music or anything. If it's getting jarring or annoying. Okay for me, but you are going to probably hear these same two songs 20,000 times. So I can turn them down. Um, morale, morale. Ah, oh, I know what it is. Ah, here we go. Uh, effects, sad. My character is sad. How do I, do I tab over? Yeah. Why am I sad? You're not content with your life. I mean, I mean, who is? Who is content with their life? Come on, guy. Let's be honest. Luckily, I don't seem to have any negative effects. V E, yeah. V. Yeah, v. Okay, here we go. Totally negative morale. 50. Oh, yeah. I butchered someone and I hated it. Thank you for that, G Gdom. Greatly appreciate that. So, yeah, don't butcher people. Okay, thank you. I'm very unhappy by the fact that I butchered someone. Uh, let's... Okay, I didn't pick up any of the stuff I butchered. Let's... How do we get happier? See, morale stuff, I wasn't really going to go too far near. But, hey. I need, like, nice things to make my character less unhappy. Let's zoom out a little bit, see what's going on. So, essentially, the, the glue is worth it. I mean, the bones will stay. We'll keep the bones there for now, just so we can come along when we're feeling better. Is that a, What is that? Please, that's a pipe. Oh, I need that. I actually need that for a makeshift crowbar. That, what luck is that? What the hell is that? Corpse of a human. Yeah, I'm not going to butcher that one, I don't think. Boy shorts, poor fit. Holster top, poor fit. Pair of wool socks, poor fit. Okay, apparently that person just was much bigger or smaller than me. So, E to examine. No, nope, not shifty. Pipe. Take pipe. Got pipe. And now I go to my crafting spot just down here. So, I imagine my dude has just been running up and down this field all day. 
I mean, the world just ended, I guess. Um, so he's a little bit freaked out. He's like, I need to create all of these items to survive. Because if I don't, I will die. Makes a crowbar. Hell yeah. All of my characters have been psychos. Had no idea butchering humans makes you feel worse. Makes sense. Yeah, like... When I... Uh, I keep hitting shift E because this game is teaching me get items. Uh, there we go, we got a makeshift. What are you thinking about the game, by the way, Nano? Has it piqued your interest or has it bored the hell out of you? But, um, yeah. When I was looking at, like, guides about setting up your first character, because this is literally my first character, it was like, just don't go too crazy on... Essentially, the guy was like, don't go too crazy and pick some anything too ex... This is noobing, by the way. 100% noobing. It didn't let me put a noobing thing. Oh, I put first playthrough in the section. You can use G to quickly pick up stuff. When you know what you are doing, it gets out of the farmville time. Yeah. I mean, I feel like because I've watched enough... Um, what do you call it? What's his name? Not Mathis, uh, Rikon, that I have a bit better idea about what I'm doing compared to some others. Um, like, I know that if I'm fighting... Not... I mean, I, I, I intend to play this a lot, but maybe not always streaming it. So I do want to go to Inventory I. Uh, Love Human Glow. <laughs> Uh, makeshift crowbar. I want to wield it. It takes you a long time to wield the makeshift crowbar. So do I just... Once I'm wielding it, do I then just go in and activate it? There's nothing to pry nearby. Are you, not even the... Not even... Are you sure? I mean, I'm not going to question you, game, but there's literally a locked wire gate there that I think you could probably pry open if you tried. Whatever. Press E on the door. Okay. Locked wire gate is locked. If only you had something to pick the lock with. Okay. Can I not pry? Climb all the... Oh, I can just climb it. Uh, that I know, I I know, I know. I really shouldn't explore the prison because I there's a zombie somewhere. Like I'm well aware. I watch Rikon start in a prison, and I can I pry the door open. You attempt to pry the op closed wooden door using your makeshift crowbar. You can't get sufficient leverage to open it with your makeshift crowbar. Annoying. Yep, yeah, that's the same thing. I'm starting to think I should have made lockpicks instead. Okay. On my first prison start, I lit my pants on fire for fun, burned the whole place to the ground, and then died inside. Ah, that sounds like it'll be fun when I get to that level of gameplay. You know, I'm thinking about leaving the prison. You know? Sounds quite aggressive inside. What are they? Police spot? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You can make lock picks out of wires. can get wires from wiry stuff. Uh, so I want to do shift V. Uh, so the police spot is hostile. It's aware of my presence. It is one of the many models of armored law enforcement robots employed shortly before the collapse of the civilization. Solar powered, like many other robots, it maintains its programmed pursuit of law and order, propelled on a trio of omni wheels. That'll be because the iBot saw me climb over the fence to the private premises and went, I'm going to call the police. Okay, so I need to shift, run, and I need to ignore and run.
Uh, yep, yep. I'm pretty out of breath. My stamina's pretty low. I know you don't like running, dude. You're a pretty fat dude. Yep. I think we can walk now. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Uh, I made a mistake. <laughs> oh, I made a mistake. Uh, so, shift V. Hello, Defantos09. So, the police bot got over the fence. What is that bell? That's the song. Or it's the fact that I'm running. Yeah, the police bot. The, the I bot called the police and the... Oh, thanks for the follow. Um, Decantus09, thank you very much for the follow. Please alarm, them. Please alarm my ears. Yes. Okay, so I stopped running. I'm sad. I don't think that's the biggest. I don't think it's your biggest problem at the moment, mate. So how fast is that robot? 50. He is still aware of my presence. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, shift. I need to run again. I just need to leg it. I have to... Police spot is still. Oh god, it's caught up with me. Uh, okay. What am I gonna do? I'm going to E Shift Y. Oh god, it hit me. Okay, here's the plan. It doesn't seem to have guns. I'm gonna start walking. I'm going to shift wait a while. Okay. Okay. Fine. I'm pretty sure the robot is like, okay, I've duped the robot. I'm in moderate pain because it hit me. Uh, I have no painkillers. We're now gonna, hey dude. The police siren, you hear a whoop whoop. This is the sound of the police. He doesn't have any guns, so I'm actually quite lucky. And he seems stuck. So, yeah, let's just leave. Right, that was dumb. I'm safer in the prison where I shouldn't be. Right, we're going to leave now. I mean, I lived. Uh, that's the good thing. So now I can't come to the prison for a while because there's a robot here that wants to beat the hell out of me. Just got to keep an eye out for... Um, anything else nearby. So if I hit E... How, the one thing I don't understand is how do I examine in a car? How do I examine if there's anything in the trunk? Or is there just nothing in that trunk? That's what I've been trying to figure out. I've been going up to cars being like, how do I look in the trunk? E then click. Okay. Because when I do E like that, it goes examine where and then you go there and then it goes examine vehicle. And then I guess I examine the vehicle and then I'm in here. I don't know where in here would be. So that's the trunk there that I'm looking at. I want to know what's in it. Essentially, I just want to see if there's any items in it. Or do they appear above it anyway? Can I just see them if they're there? There's nothing in it. Okay. There's nothing in it if... Yeah, okay. If you can't... See... Yeah. Okay, that's fine. 
Drop an item in it to see. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. Inventory. Um... And then... Ah, okay, yeah, decorative plants were there. Okay, and then if I hit E, I can... Oh, okay. Get items on the ground. Oh, is that like underneath it? Hmm, how weird. But I can see it. Oh, the V to see all new by items and monsters. Yeah, I've been using V for monsters at the moment. But yeah, I know that there's... There's a dead rat there, which I kind of need. Decor decorative plants, that's fine. Dog dung. It would be bad if you were actually driving the car, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I get that. You need it to actually be inside, and you have to load it, which is the whole thing. I do need the rocks, though. I'm going to pick up some more rocks. My 21st rock. I would like... Pick up the rats. Nope, don't hit Shift-E. Just hit E. Pick up the rat. I'm going to try and cook these rats. Wait, I can butcher them now as well. Okay. Okay. So we got a fire pit where I would like to cook rats. Uh, I need to go I inventory. Uh, stone knife. Enter. Activate. Cut up an item. Uh, huh. Just B. Ah, oh, okay. B. I guess I have to drop the items to butcher them. Where are my rats? Rat. Rat, 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 rat. Rat, 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 rat. Pulp corpse of a rat. Bruce. Okay. Change sides, wield throw, drop. And then. And drop. Black rat, butcher everything. Okay, and then examine. Grab some meat. Grab some meat fresh. Hell yeah. Now I just need to cook it. Now I just need to cook it. Apparently I'm really unhappy. So, cool. So let's go into this menu. Let's... Clear the filter. Dry stone wall I can't make because I need a stone or digging of two or more. Okay, I don't know why it's indicating that specifically that I can't build that. I guess because I have the tools but not the scale all the way around. Build firing. Here we go. Uh, 20 of 20 rocks. Requires a shallow pit. Cool. Got a little firing now, guys. Uh, I need fire. That's the other thing. I need, I need to make fire. To toggle. Oh, you mean in the to in the thingy menu? Yeah. Ah, yeah. I see it down there. To toggle unavailable. Ah, cool. Remove grass. Make firewood source. Cool. Thank you very much. So now I need to make something that can make fire. Tinder. Flammable material. I've made some tinder already. I think I'm going to need a lighter. Rock and a sock. I imagine it would be an oven in tools. If I could make a fire. Like torch maybe. I need a rag and a burnt out torch, a heavy stick, a plank of wood. And I need diesel, alcohol, ethanol, gasoline, lamp oil, motor oil. Yeah. So my question is, I have a lantern here. Hello, lantern. I'm going to pick you up. Get item. 
Can I use... I guess... Be can I use the lantern to light things? Or does that not work? Yeah, uh, you need to know. If I disassembled it, I would get nothing I wanted. Guess not. Uh, it's just batteries. It's ammo for batteries. Okay. Light. Yeah, I don't think I can use either of these. I know, uh, I also know I have two more first aid kits in here. That, but I've got two first aid kits on me. So. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't have access to a lighter or a fire making tool, as I'm aware. That's construction. Um, unless it's in a different screen. I mean, uh, just reading the things at the bottom. E describe? No, okay. F fire. Fire barrel, fire barrel. Pack of hot fire crackers. Campfire hot dogs. Should be an Alba. Uh, clear filter, which is R for No, I don't need to do that. It should be an other Think what would I use in real life? I would Well lighter obviously. Uh but if I didn't have a lighter I'd use two stones. Because you can catch a spark with two stones you get a sharp um flint like stone i mean that's i'm trying to get it to search so i can because you said that um fire making tool is like the uh type of tool it is i don't know how you do a search so you can search for like category of item um like torch would be also what I hit F search. Oh, uh, full description. You can do that, yes, with something. Don't think there's a fire making category, unfortunately. Ah, oh, okay. Maybe cooking? Need flint. Ah, oh, so maybe if I search. Flint. Nope. Uh, I keep doing that as well. Let's have a look. Let's just have a look. Tools. Parts. No. Traps. No. Other. 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 Uh, pillow. I mean... Candle. <laughs> I'd still run into the same issue. Fiber map. My survival skill isn't great. I can check my survival skill though by going here. My survival skill is one. Yeah, I'm probably terrible. I'm a pretty not very good character. My best skill is well, survival is one of my highest skills. I've got a whole one in it, and I've got a one in bashing and a one in melee. So, hey. Let's go on a little adventure, I think. Can level survival by foraging. Interesting. Interesting. I think I've foraged around here. Wait, no. Ah, oh, lame. Oh, well, I planted some seeds by mistake. That is an oak tree. You can do nothing with it this season. You can do nothing with it this season. I got some willow bark. Can auto forage. Check all options. Okay. How do I... Yeah. 
make sure to turn it off from your bushes if you're in combat. Auto pickup options, I would imagine. Uh, I've got a rock rule at the moment. Maybe it's not in there. Hello, Cupo. Cupo. How's it going, mate? Options. Default. Auto. Auto foraging. Here we go. Requisite for this option not met. Additional auto features. Okay. Well, I'm not allowed to do that. Game has said no. That's fine. That's fine. Game doesn't need to say yes. You can enable it. The toggle is just above. Okay. It's four lines above. Oh. I see. Nice. Everything? Let's just do everything. Well, thanks for that, guys. I would have just assumed that I couldn't. UI is weird. Eh? You didn't find anything. Picked up some rocks. Moving through two grass. No, don't step into the bush. You requested that feature. Ah. He's not actually storing the items, though, is he? Uh, take the cattails. I keep making the same mistake. I keep trying to press enter to pick up the items. Okay, that's why. My volume is too full. So let's go dump a bunch of things near our fire in our dumping pile. Inventory. What do we have too much of? I mean, we're going to cook all this stuff. So we'll move it one to the right in here. No, that's not my inventory. So we're going to cook all the cattails. No, that's... Is there a quick way to, like, mass drop? I swear there is. Like, I swear you can go into an advanced inventory, and then from there you can, like, drop everything. D, capital D. Okay, thank you very much. Capital D, drop from where? Here we go. Drop all of this. Yeah, just drop it all. Maybe we'll keep... Yeah, we'll drop everything. That's heavy. I can't see the weight at the moment of all this stuff. Uh, the water faucet probably quite heavy. I don't imagine those plants are that heavy. Got a random plastic bottle, wrapper we don't need. Tab to auto picked up and zone. That's full RuneScape gaming though. Don't go full RuneScape. I mean, I'm not going to like... I'm just trying to get some resources at the moment so I don't die. Well, essentially I'm trying to get my survival up so I can not die. Alright, and then if I hit enter, does it do it? There you go. Cool. So, I can go back down here and collect my items. Right. No. I'll collect my pine cones. Thank you very much. And my cat's tail. Running into city's YOLO style. That's, yeah, that's Farmville Gaming. You think rocks will save you full Reddit mode, but consider. I know that. I know that cities are illustrious, burden, uh, bountiful places filled with lovely items, but. Regardless of what I do right now, the best thing I can do possibly in order to play more, I'm full again, is to very much just get used to the UI and all of the menus, which is very important for me, because if I don't get used to them, then I will die. Quicker. Quicker! Um, 
I didn't drop. Oh, wait, no, okay. Yeah. Too many pine cones, man. <laughs> you all seem to have very different play styles, which is cool. You know, unfortunately, my character is built more of a sneaky snake kind of guy. So he doesn't really want to get his face bashed in too, too much. But hey, we'll see. Things often go awry. What is that? That is a shotgun hull. Yes. Yes. I'd, I wouldn't mind playing a smashy, smashy character, but at the moment, I thought my best odds of survivability is being like a little, little tiny rat that kind of sneaks through things. Well, I am going to go up to the city in a minute. I'm tiny, bit peckish, but that's fine. I just want to check my inventory. Volume is low. I can carry a lot, so that's fine. What could I get away with dropping? What? Um, probably the, the short strings and the... Um, thank you for telling me about Capital D variant, by the way. That's very nice. So let's drop the seeds. No, it's not enter to drop things. The rocks and the short strings. I mean, she played Boxster, Croft, Armour and Stark was fun till I got my head bashed in. Hey, well, that's what happened. Let's drop those rocks. I think I just auto picked up the rocks. Yep. Let's go in and... How do I disable you now? Disable D. There we go. Those zombie kids got all those uh, safe changes. Yes. Options. False. I do not want to be auto picking up anything at the moment. Let's see where we are. Cool. Apparently, I haven't been up here before, even though I have. It is 5 p.m. Well, it's almost 6 p.m. actually. Um. So we're going to go do some things. So I went up here the first time um, before I splinted off to the left and there was a zombie child. And the zombie child stared at me and I stared at the zombie child. And then I turned around and the zombie child kept standing there. So the setting of the game is... Uh, it's I think it's Washington DC in the latter half of the 21st century um, where... A bunch of bad things have happened all at once. There's a zombie child. There you are. Not you. New England. Isn't New England in Washington? Uh, hey, zombie child. How far away are you? Pretty far away. You're just on the periphery. Um, I'm going to ignore you. And I'm going to walk away. Because apparently... So it was capital V, wasn't it, for my morale? No, it was normal V. So I'm still... How am I wet? Hmm. New, I guess that's from the running. New England is several states in the northeast. Washington, D.C. is one city. I mean, Washington State. I thought Washington was a state. I don't know. I don't know America. You Americans and your naming conventions. Um... I, don't, I guess it's getting darker. Washington State is on the other side of the country. Ah. Oh. Mm -mm. mm -mm. I thought it was like New York, New York. I thought it was like Washington, Washington. Hey, if you're going to name something New York, New York, then uh, all bets are off. So there was also a fat zombie lingering around. I think he's pieced out there. I think. Washington State is practically Canada. Isn't that like Wisconsin? Got one city, 20 story tree, tall trees, and it rains all the time. Sounds like England. Uh, yep, there's the fat zombie. Hey, dude. How's it going? I think I can avoid him. Uh, 
Stumbling as it moves, this corpse of an overweight human regards its surroundings with an empty black gaze. Cool dude. I'm just gonna kind of ignore you, back off until I can no longer see you and keep walking. Cool. Probably more Sas Sasquatches than England. Uh, there's kind of a lot of Sasquatches here. We just call them Northerners. <laughs> I'm joking. I love the Northerners. Okay. Try to make a cudgel when you can. Okay. I will. Att I could have just gone back and made a cudgel. I've got a. Wait, I should actually check what I'm wielding. I'm wielding my ma makeshift crowbar. I should probably wield you instead. Store in inventory. Okay. I've got a 2x4 sword. Because why not? Even though I've been told that cuddles are actually like 100% better to make than this stupid sword. But hey, I'm an idiot in the post apocalyptic future where I decided to make a kid sword to hit zombies with. Where am I? Okay, I've just pieced out way past the town. I'm just like, yep, yeah, screw town. So I tried to enter town from this side, and there's like loads of shops. If you know Hema, a wooden sword is good, yeah. I do not know Hema. Uh, so yeah, there's another evac shutter. You should make a boat. I would like to like... This Palencia... This Peninsula looks very interesting, if it's Palencia. Soon, soon. Alright, I'm thinking... I really need to get into that town though. And I know that. But I need to, like, go into the suburbs, because if I go into a heavily... This is, like, the suburbs, right? Yeah. So if I can hit from this side, I'd probably do all right. Have you been in that prison? Uh, I went to the prison. Uh, an iBot saw me and called the police. I ran from the prison. I then no longer interacted with the prison. Now there is a police bot there. That bashed the hell... Which caused me to have... Medium pain. Zombie scientist. Yeah, I know I know for a fact that I don't want to get too involved with the zombie scientist. There's also a Graken that is fleeing. So sometimes they have labs inside. Okay, okay. I might head back there and when I'm a bit strong strong bit strong stronger. Apart from jet plat eyes, the zombie has Looks less decomposed and inhuman than most. Clad in tattered lab coats, it seems to have a glimmer of awareness. Not a human awareness, but something more sinister. As you watch it, its movements look almost marionette-like. Okay. Well, I'm going to avoid him. And then he's chasing the Graken. Or the Graken's chasing him. Well, the Graken was fleeing. I can only see the zombie scientists now. What way are they moving? I'm gonna keep an eye on them still. They're kind of just like fumbling about in the forest. I mean, you know, romantic getaway and all that. I'm still picking up rocks. Which I swear I disabled. Not you. Auto pickup manager. So, there we go. I think, I, I think that's now disabled. There is another Graken and he's like doing some stuff. What have we got here? We've got soldier, science ID card. Okay. Uh, lab coat. Oh, soldier. I thought it said soldier. Damn. Dyslexia for the win. Um, mangle corpse with human. Lab coat. This is good. I know for a fact that uh, ID cards are valuable. Okay. Panties, camisole, uh, jumpsuit could keep me warm in the winter, but we're a bit far off of that. Uh, pair of eyeglasses I don't need, lab coat, pair of dress shoes, panties, dress, dress. Okay, well the zombie has pieced out, which is fine. Uh, we're at a second evac shelter, it's a bit weird that they built two evac shelters right next to each other, but hey. Everyone who's played Doom knows ID cards are valuable. So we're just gonna... 
Oh, there's a cat. I want that science ID card. And I probably want the solder, I can imagine. Don't want the mangled corpse of a human. Steel toe cap boots could be alright, but they're a poor fit. Apparently the box of briefs fit though. Wearing really tight box of briefs apparently. There we go. Is that Graffin getting nearer? Dude, you're fleeing, but you're fleeing at me. Dude, F off. You are not my friend. Right, I'm going to zoom in because it's annoying me now. That's too much. Okay. This place doesn't look too great. Apparently there's some... Marble. Okay. It's locked? Okay, it's damaged, so I can't get in. And that is a heavy stick, which I might take. Okay, this place looks... What the hell is that? Potassium idea. That's for radiation, right? I mean, I'll take it. Oh, I keep doing... I keep... So when I open the menu, I hit enter to take the item. Um... Is this computer working? How do I... That computer doesn't look like it's working. Can I interact with you? Okay, right, login su successful. Emergency message, blah, 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 blah. Things have gone awfully wrong. Contact us. And then leave. Uh, it looks like it had the same address for... Yeah, there wasn't any... There wasn't any other evac shelters. So yeah, as I said earlier, my mission is to get to the... My first goal, my first proper goal, is going to be to get to this evac shelter all the way, all the way down here. And here. That'll be fun, and I'll totally be able to do that. So, look for that. That's, that's a week-long march, yeah. Yeah, it is. And I barely know how to make food and feed myself, so hey. Uh, um... I want to see what these are. Marbles 20. A handful of glass marbles useful as ammunition for slings or slingshots. They have a volume of nothing, so I might as well take them. Hello, UEPA. I do not understand what you are speaking, but welcome. I hate that bell. Yeah, I don't like it particularly that much either. I can't, I can't disable the, all the songs. Apparently, I can only disable the sound pack. I can turn the music off, but then we're just musicless. So in here is a dead flare. Great. Uh, e examine. I would like <sighs> every time. Every time. I'll get it one day. So I can go into... Let's do... Uh... Okay, that's even weirder. The sound's still there, but... Not? I swear I picked up the stick. Silence. I just wanted it to be like really, really far in the background, not gone. Okay, game just hates me. No, no, don't turn these things on. God, I didn't even realize there was. Turn to five. Five should be fine, right? Okay, it doesn't seem to change anything. It seems to be very set in its ways. Uh, more protein. A flashlight. I need a flashlight. I think there was a flashlight in the other one, but I'm going to take it anyway. Uh, flashlight. Ugh, every time. Every. I can't not do it. I might have to change my key bindings, but that wouldn't make any sense. I don't want to grab one item at a time anyway. Folded emergency blanket. 
I mean, uh, the protein's literally what I'm living off of at the moment. Until I can actually cook the things that I've been trying to cook. Uh, what is in here? More protein wrappers. It says there's three, but it said one. Oh, three paper wrappers with one. Okay. You to unload stuff like batteries. Okay, thank you very much. Is that when you're in this menu? Or... Like, you go into your inventory, hit capital U. Um... Nothing there. And nothing there. Okay. I'm a bit nervous about going downstairs, I won't lie. No, Im no inventory, just whenever. Okay. Thank you for that tip. Wow, there's a lot of... My, my evac shelter had almost no food. Like, I'm saying none. So, this is nice. I guess this is what you were going on about. Uh, can of tuna fish. By saying that you can just get a lot more loot. You hoard batteries. I mean, I've heard that hoarding batteries is the way to play. So. And three more. Why not? Alright, well, we're like proteined up at the very least. Uh, I don't... I would want to smash the roof. Wait, that's a cabinet, isn't it? It is a cupboard, yeah, with nothing in it. Yeah, I had... In my in my back shelf, shelf, there's half as many lockers. So, ooh, a bag filled with... More wrap... Oh. Look at... Get items. 21 paper wrappers. Tip. Lockers are made out of metal. They are indeed. And I did deconstruct a bunch. Well, I smashed a bunch in my uh, in my own. The problem is I don't want to do, make too much noise out here because I am right by town. So it might not end well. Lol, sorry. I got triggered when you said you learned about the bot function. What bot function? Uh oh. Who's a popular boy? I don't know. I guess you're talking about... Oh, water. There's nothing wrong with Reddit. Fascinations with bossing, farm boying in this game. I don't, want to, I don't want the game to play itself. I think that's very dumb. But... I do... I did want the... Uh, the uh, auto pickup on... Uh, the harvesting, or whatever the hell it's called. Okay. Anyway. Just because I wanted to try and build up my survival, but I came to the realization pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're not here. Heard any sounds? Ooh. Oh. Wait, what is in there? Yeah. More rations. My God. Every time. Every time. I wish I've heard auto travel is terrible. I watched uh, Tomato play it, even though he calls himself Tomato. He live streamed this game at one point, and uh, ooh, hello, headlamp. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll take a headlamp. Uh, can you wear it? Yeah. Um, and then is there? A, I guess. I prefer to scavenge. Um, so, I want to go inventory and I want to go headlamp. And then I want to... How would I assign a button to... Um, I want to assign a hotkey so I can just turn my light on and off. I would imagine it's auto reassign. Oh, okay. So do I do that in inventory or do I do that at any point or here? Okay, it's definitely not here. 
Oh, in inventory? A to activate shows you the menu of items you can activate. Okay. So, that favorited. Cool. And then A, use item. Need a uh, headlamp, needs at least one charge, and I have no batteries. Okay. And then you said capital U, I can take it, the batteries out of. Okay, cool. I want my cell phone at the moment for time. Wait, do I need my cell phone for time or do I have a watch as well? Let's have a look. I have a wristwatch. I don't need the mobile then. Okay. You unload your cell phone or batteries. And I drop them on the floor. So I want to... Salmon, batteries, no, okay. I want to headlamp. No, that's because I'm in the wrong menu. I headlamp, go into headlamp, and I want to reload because it's like a gun, but it's not. And yeah, you reload the battery. I was used to a small source of light, doesn't drain much charge, but you can't see much. I've got uh, night vision as a perk though, so I'm imagining it would blind you, question mark. So A to activate, turn on. Cool. Cool, I should not do that for too long. Turn off, there we go, cool. So we got like a little thing going on. Night vision is very fun to write. I just took it because I wanted to function mainly at night. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. I know like bleach and stuff is very important for mutations. Mutant stuff. Mutant stuff. Our life. Uh, first aid kit. Gallon jug or bleach. And mirror. First aid kit is probably the most valuable thing there. I know soap is important. Oh. As I'm streaming it, can you guys teach me how to clean this frickin' tool belt? <laughs> because I've been trying to clean this... The hardest part of this game for me so far has been trying to clean this tool belt, and it's defeated me two or three times. Washing board is a cheap recipe. Okay. So I need a washing board. Can you not just do it? You can't just get soap and rub it on. Activate the sponge for soft items. That might need a sponge. Um, I've got a scrubbing brush, 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 and another scrubbing brush, and paper, and bleach, and soap. I'm gonna take the first aid kit, regardless, because why not? Do I have the inven I don't have the inventory for that. Crafting a washboard washing kit equals washboard. Plus a rag lets you wash anything. Okay. So... I'm guessing that's a tool? Or is that clothing? Would that be other? Nah, it would be... Uh, Tinder. Is there a way to set this in alphabetical order? Right, that annoys me. You can search it. You can indeed. You can indeed. Wash. Washing kit. I need a washboard. Okay. Washing board. Okay. Washboard. I don't know why I searched washing twice in a row, but I did. I don't... Hmm. Hmm. Is washboard in constructions? Probably. I'm very unskilled. Right, anyway, we need to go into... What's your fabrication? It is... There is... I'll have a quick drink and you can read through my stats.
yeah, I searched wash. It wasn't in there, unfortunately. So yeah, there, there's my stats. No, I didn't. Okay, okay. Need one fab. I have... Zero fabrication, but I'm close to one. 80%. Okay, so F. Wash. Washing kit. There you go. Hello, Mr. Agar. 80% of zero is almost one. Thank you. We're almost there. Got to do fabrication things. Right. So I need to go into my inventory and drop some stuff. Uh, what would be quite heavy? I was hoping I could put my screwdriver in my tool belt, but apparently the tool belt doesn't take, doesn't allow me to store the uh, screwdriver. Craft some stuff. Fab three is a good goal. Okay. Okay. Me too, sir. Love to clap a good clap. See, everyone gets along with soft butt. I guess I could drop the cell bone. It's probably heavy. I mean, I should, let's drop the digging stick. Because that's probably quite heavy. Yeah. We don't need the digging stick. We can come back for it if it comes to it. We don't still don't have much storage, but 20 is still better than 5. Uh, First aid kit, yeah. Make it, I have a store. I have storage. A storage item. It is my. Uh, makeshift sling. I made one thing. Because volume is my bigger issue, not weight. Can wear through. Can be risky. Moves heads though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with one for now. One's good. So is there a is there a quick way to get into the deconstruction menu? That's my question. Isn't didn't you s Yeah there is, okay. Is that gonna be noisy? Okay, so that gave me I use your free backpacks run, drop them in a fire. Okay. Oh, seven pipes. If I'd known that, it would have given me so many pipes. I would have done that rather than smashing them earlier. But hey. We know. So, I really... I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. That's fine, dude. That's fine. Let's have... You have a drink. Uh, I swear I've seen a screen that's like... Shift I? No, that's compare. Uh, there's like a fast menu for eating and drinking. Let's zoom out a little bit. That's zooming in. Make sure to craft fab is really useful. Yeah, I, I know there's like skill degradation. Is that a sanitary towel? No, it's a muffler. That's E. Ah, perfect. Thank you. Apparently, I don't like uh, protein bars. That's a shame, that dude. Uh, so is fabrication just everything that's in this menu? Or... I would imagine so, right? Or is it dependent? Like, I could make a, some sock mitts. Um, depends on what you're crafting. Recipes can require two skills. Okay. Does, is there an indication clearly where I can see what it's going to level up? Uh, or do I just have to kind of get an impression of what I'm making? Because I'm looking here to see at the top. Uh, primary skill survival. Okay. Tailoring. Tailoring. Whatever skill it uses, it levels up. Okay. So fabrication isn't like a super a super class and these aren't subclasses. Okay. There we go. If I make a light wooden frame, that's fabrication. That's the only thing I can see quickly that I can make. Oh no, if I make 
a handmade holy symbol or a candle. Well, what do I need to make a handmade holy symbol? Because, you know, apparently I'm feeling religious at the moment. I... Or I can make another makeshift crowbar and have two. Um, and I can literally just do that now. Uh, I would need a bunch of annoying things that I can't be bothered to go out and get. Or I could just make... Oh, a di another digging stick would be good. Deconstruct some stuff and see what pops up. Most of them could be worth the XP. Okay. Do you get, fa do you get points from deconstructing stuff? Or is it... A tiny bit. Okay. I mean, I'll do it. You can't stop me. I'll do it. I could see why people would want to do... I could see why people would be tempted to do auto farming here. Because you could just set it up so it did all this deconstruction. I'm not going to be able to de deconstruct in the dark, am I? Oh, no. Okay. So I got a bunch of planks and nails. Like, I'm not saying I'd want to do it automatically, but I can see what would lead you to do that. Uh, tinder is survival. Digging stick is survival. Two by sword is fabrication. I could make another sword. You said trundle was good, though. Can use your phone. Uses little battery. Uh, Crudgel. You can't see to craft. I would need to go collect my phone. Because I dropped my phone. I, no, I didn't drop my phone. I'd have to reload my phone for... <laughs> I know if I stand near this computer, though, I get enough light. So that sucks. Uh, what do I need for the... What do I need for the... I'm going to have to drop some other stuff as well. Uh, what's in here? Spray can. That's probably going to be super useful with high level. Uh, I don't need a flashlight for now because I've got the headlight. So drop that. I don't compare. I hate being... I keep doing that, going into the compare menu. Uh, is there a shortcut for dropping things as well? I'm just going to ask you guys all the shortcuts until I get it ingrained into my brain. Make other bindies, tear some curtains down if you don't mind not being able to hide it. Hide behind them. That's fine. I mean, I don't think there are any curtains in here. Right? No, there's no curtains in here. Windows have been smashed down. Um, Unless I'm being dumb. That's fine. What's my current weightage at? Okay. Um... If I drop the two by sword for right now, even though I know I was wielding it, so it wasn't really uh, doing me much favors, and then I look into uh... oh, I can still make the crundel. Okay, crudgel, crundle. It's crundle now. It's crundle the crudgel. Uh, yeah, cool. Use the heavy sticks nearby. D drops items right below you. D direction drops anywhere you like. Okay. So if I hit D. Ah. Multi-drop. Awesome. Perfect. Mr. Agarth. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, and I don't know why I didn't think that D would be drop. It's just the key bindings I've come in contact with at the moment haven't been as simple as that. But hey. That's probably more on me than anything else. I'm peckish, but... So the crundle has, like, a chance to, like, do a quick attack, I think I was told. That's why you want a crundle. Am I just calling it the wrong thing again? Yeah, crudgel. Crudgel. Crundle. Why am I saying crundle? I don't know. Typing the number you want, then pressing the right will choose the amount you want to drop. I was told it's... Uh... Hash... Hash the number. But maybe that was because... Maybe that's like an old key binding someone told me. 
or in a video I watched, I shouldn't say, they told me. It wasn't like they were talking directly to me. They were giving me game advice, possibly. Right, I want to do more. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to... What's the time? 9.09. I play on, my, on mobile. I didn't realise you could play this on mobile. Interesting. Um, That's cool, though. I'm going to wait. Wait a while. I'm going to wait five minutes until the sun sets. You finished waiting. Okay, cool. And is this... Is this circumference that I can... Yeah, that's my vision, right? Because that's night vision, right? Or not? It's a clear night, so I can see more. I guess if it was... I guess if it was a like cloudy night, I'd see less because the moon, the moon up here is indicated as being two phases to the right. I think that's trying to say. So it's like a quarter moon. I'm pretty sure. So full moons are the best. I can imagine. So I'm hoping to sneak down into town. That's essentially the play now. Uh, I know zombies have not the best vision. With night vision, you can see damn far. That's the thing. When I saw someone play through this game, their night vision did not go this far. So I don't know if that's been changed since 2016. Probably. Let's zoom out a little bit so I can actually see what's going on. So now we're entering... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Now we're entering the furthest that I've ever gone. So I am now Samwise Ganji. It's based on your perception stat as well. Well, my perception is nine. And apparently it's getting darker because my night vision is slowly going down. Okay, I don't need to clear the whole map. Okay, I can see a lot less now. Oh, I can see a lot less. Okay. I need to keep going to the right. Let's. Maybe I should have scouted this place out a bit better before I came here. Walking makes a six tile sound. Crouching free. So I'm guessing crouching would be. Okay. But I know there's also zombies tracked by not only sound, but. That's long grass that I'm just moving up. Heck of the way through. Uh, zombies also move through uh, by smell. So I've got to be not too stinky. What a zombie scientist? Where? Uh oh. Uh oh. So that zombie that was in the. Like, going after those uh, crundles. It is. Oh, it's uninjured. I thought it was injured. Okay. Well, I didn't really want to fight this dude. But. Okay, he hit me in the head, I think. Okay. He hits me in the right arm. And he... Okay, we're kind of just like... There we go. Okay, so let's have a look what he had on him. He had super glue, copper wire, cash card, bruise. Co yeah, okay, well, that's his body. He had jeans that are filthy, boy shorts. They really like their boy shorts. Hazmat suit, filthy, leather corset. Okay, boots. I don't know what he was wearing underneath his lab coat, but it was pretty weird. Boy shorts, at I guess the boy shorts are like boxers. Okay, well. I am going to take the cat. Whoa. Okay, you had a lot of money on you, man. And I'm going to take the super glue. I can't take the copper wire. I'll leave that for now. I'll just remember this copper wire here if I need it way, way in the future when I'm building my copper wire death machine. Uh, then I'm going to hit S and smash the corpse up. 
I know that's super important. And then I'm going to hit that, and I'm going to walk. So if he heard me then, that means I'm probably not in the best position. Because I know there's a bunch of zombies south in town. Like, there's a, there's a, there wasn't like one or two, there was like seven or eight. And I'm like, okay, maybe I, I, my plan was to come back here at night, but maybe, oops, that's not zoom out. That zoom out. So, yeah. Maybe I should get out in the day so I've got an idea of where I'm going. Maybe. There's a house directly next to us. There's also a house directly below us. I mean, if we're smart about this, I'll be fine, right? Wait, I have full inventory. Is there even any point going here? No, there's not. Let's head back to the hut homestead, I think. I'm here. I'm going to look around. Probably best to get an idea of what's here and then run if need be. Hello, door. You're locked. Okay, that's fine. Can't switch the to open with your makeshift crowbar. Does that just mean I'm too weak? I'd imagine so. Ooh, there's a nice comfy bed. I feel like the game is literally just telling me you're way too weak. Because my, well, my strength is 12, so... I didn't even realise you could climb. Up. That, that's new. I've never seen that before. You can't go down from here. Climb north. Never eat shred of wheat. Northwest. This is fine, right? This is fine and not too dangerous and dumb. Right. I was hoping... I, I was kind of hoping I could squeeze down a chimney, but I can understand. How do I see down from where I am? Is there a way of doing that? Like if I stand here, you're trying to keep your balance. Okay, maybe don't do that. I d okay, because I want to look over the building down at the ground level. But apparently I can't do that. Which is fair enough. But I just wanted to see if there was anything on the road down below. You can. If you can, it's... There's only one man that can squeeze down Kimley's. It's Elvis. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll Google it very quickly just in case. Don't you get angry at me now, man. I know how much you love Elvis. Looking from a flat roof. Okay. You have to enable Z levels and a 3D field of vision in the debug section of the options menu. It was done a year. It was told us a year ago. Thank you, Wolfamax. Uh, don't recommend it. It buggy and creates huge lag. Okay. Okay, then I won't do it. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, we've got interesting resources here at least. Saving game, this may take a while. So then I want to hit. I can't go down from here. How do I get down? You can't climb here. There is no terrain above you. I climbed up here. How can I not climb down? Do I have to, like, lot jump off? Have I, like, goozled myself? I feel like I've goozled myself. Press E. Oh, okay. Climb down. Thank you. You should be able to climb back down easily if you climb down here. Climb down. Yes. Thank you. g -dim, I probably would have... Without you, I probably would have just jumped off and died. Want to climb? Oh, I don't even need to. 
I'm not hearing anything bad at the moment. I want to... You ruined a perfectly good death moment. Mate, what's your... Why do you guys have a problem with Gary Barlow? Just gonna... Now I use parkour expert at skill on roofs. Okay. What do we have? That looks like bandages. Aspirin, which would be good because I am mildly in pain. Uh, hopefully there's like a backpack or something. I wouldn't mind... Cardboard box with toilet paper, dental floss, shaving kit. I hear shaving kits are good for death, death take one. Yeah, I need it for the pain I'm in. Uh, rag, bathroom scale, just if I want to see how fat I am. Um, right, okay. We will go E here. Get items. Aspirins 20. Did me medical gauze. It... This is a decent sized piece of cotton, sterilized and sealed. It is designed for medical purposes. Okay. It's a crap bandage. But maybe I take it? Yeah, it weighs nothing. I'll take it. That's, yeah, it weighs literally nothing. And then go into inventory. Aspirin. Activate or eat? Activate? Oh, activate's red, so I won't activate it. I'll eat it. You take some aspirin. So when I saw this game, which the series I've been watching is set from like 2016 or 2017, uh, pain was set with a number, not not what it's set now. Oh, what's go is that? Oh, interesting. Okay, there's like a second sub house. There's like a summer house in the back. Fancy for some. There is a non-zero chance I'm going to run into a zombie though. Oh, there's no... Who has a bedroom and no curtain? You have one curtain and you're like, ah, you know, I like the sun to shine directly on my bed. I could sleep here, but I'm a heavy sleeper, so I could very easily die. Alright, this does it. <laughs> greed. Greed! Banneric greed. Ah, oh, we're only... After last night, we're like three subs away from my second sub slot. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright. What is going on? Boxes, briefs, pit, poor boxes. Another headlamp. This is an LED headlamp with an adjustable strap, so as to be comfortable worn on your head or attached to your helmet. Use it to turn it on. So how do I know if this headlamp has a battery? Like, it is it because it has no number next to it? Does that mean it's empty? We're going to beat Ninja at this rate. Mate, I'm going to be Ninja rank 2. I'll be, they'll call me Ninja because I'll be the... I'll be the mouldy I don't know. That joke landed pretty... Pretty badly. Thomas Mora. Light Plutonium Fool for a headlamp. Okay. Oh. Oh, light... Light Plutonium Fool battery. Light battery. Light... Okay. Maybe I should pick it up. Okay, I can't hold it because it's slightly too cumbersome. I just want to pick it up and see if I can empty it because I've already got one. And if it's got batteries in it, I would like that. So I'll do that. Dispose of my cudgel for now. Drop item. Wielding the headlamp. Go into the headlamp. Uh, I can't unload it. So I guess that means it's empty. Shame that. Uh, Crudgel, pick up, wheel Crudgel. Also, hello, Thomas Moroa. Good to see you. Do I want to go in the basement? Do I want to go in the basement? Well, that is the question. Do I want to go in the basement? I'm not at all stalling for time. Uh, basements. Man's best friend. Alright, I'm gonna have a look in the kitchen first. We got a chopping board. Cutting knife cut chef's knife could be good. Carving knife. Bread knife. Lots of knives. Paring knife. Steak knife. 
vegetable peeler. So if I go examine, get items. Which one's probably the best? So eight butchering, one cutting, one fine cutting. 22 butchering. Uh, I want to see steak knife. Where is my steak knife? Carving chef knives. 10. Two pairing knives. 10. Steak knives. 15. So carving knife is good at carving. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, if I take that though, I will go... Oh, I can fit that in easily. Well, not easily, but pretty well. So we'll take that. I feel like I should try and take another knife. Like the steak knife. But the steak knife sets me over. So maybe I take... Maybe we just take a chef knife for now. So we have what, like two separate knives for, for knifing. And not knifing, I guess. Oh, okay. Oh, I can see why uh, can of tuna fish you've been telling me to, uh, to come down here. That's just one fridge. Nice. Jar of pickles. Jar of pickled meat, is it? What is wrong with you? Um, that fridge is in a corner, but hey, we'll, uh, we'll deal. We'll deal. Why is it red? What does it, oh, I have an allergic reaction because my character is allergic to, is, well, is a lactose intolerant. I cannot eat anything like the milk or the yogurt. Which makes sense. I could eat the bacon. So I'm going to take, I'm very hungry, which I did not see before. So we're going to take, apparently the peppers are going to put me over capacity. Can I, if I'm, I think you said it was capital E. And can I just eat from, yeah, I can. Okay, we'll do that then. Uh, I don't want to eat a whole pineapple. Shelf life, three days. So let's, let's start from here and eat. Eat the pineapple. Eat the pineapple. Eat the pineapple. You're full. Okay. I just shove pineapples. A lot of calories. Hey. I'm going to be doing a lot of moving. Uh, the cast iron pot would probably be very valuable. I get large fire extinguisher or pot. So I have to come. I have to go back home, unload all my stuff and come back here because a lot of this stuff is quite valuable. Um... I'm nervous about... I haven't heard anything outside, which is good. Okay, we're going to go in the basement. I said I'd go in the basement. We're going to go in the basement. I've got my cudgel. Cudgel. Yes, I'm wielding my cudgel. I'm in the basement. And we've got immediately in front of me a survivor's map. And a zipper bag with crack. Okay. I've got some crack. Because, you know. How about that for... How about that for calories? Eat them. Right. <laughs> right. I want to... Can I just read the map and then drop it? Take down... No, no, I don't want to do that. I just want to read it. I literally just want to read it. I guess I have to hold it. Well, I guess I have to drop my cuddle for right now. Go into my inventory. Look at the map. Activate the map. You should read your survivor's map when you get to the surface. Why do you say it like that? Why do you say it like I'm about to get... Is this because there's no light? I feel like this is because there's no light. And he can't read, so I don't want to compare. It's too dark to read, yeah, okay. So maybe I do want to load the mobile with batteries again. Or... No, 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 I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. We'll just go downstairs. I really shouldn't be wielding a map as my... Got it. Close, drop item. We'll drop the map. 
We won't collect the crack just yet. We're going to have a quick look around to see if I get... Wow, this basement is spacey. Damn, America. you got nice... Outer candy sticks. Okay. We've also got... Small plastic bottle with calcium carbide. And a baseball cap. I may take the baseball cap. And that looks like it's a baseball bat. Ooh. Let me guess. Baseball bat is, like, amazing. Let's have a look. No. Why do you keep... Why do you really want me to take down the cardboard box? So... It is... Uh... Oh. I know what I should do. I should actually use this menu for once. Let's do... No. No, don't. Yeah, that's a cudgel on her. So let's go to... How do I cross? Okay, you have to go that way. Uh, baseball bat. And then... Nope, don't do everything. And I'm an idiot. And I'm in the wrong menu. So we want to go that way. Baseball bat. That way, cudgel. Okay, I finally got there. I know this is probably very painful for anyone watching, but... So, this has 19 bash, plus 3 to hit bonus. Um, volume, it's lighter than my cudgel. Um, techniques when wielding, precise strike, stun to hit, crits only, rapid strike, 50% moose. So... Hmm... They're both as easy to repair, neither of them conduct electricity, as a weapon, this is well made, as a weapon, this is well made. Um, I mean, the cudgel's only worth $10, so, just saying. And the baseball bat is heavier. A sturdy wooden bat makes a great melee weapon. I feel like just the bash alone means that I should be like, wait, we're doing the baseball bat. So, how about... Man, you're obsessed with that box. Yeah, wield it. We'll drop the cudgel for now. Alright, Mibs. 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 How's it going? Um... Hey, yo. Got some uh, shorts in the washing machine. Apparently they were doing a load before the world ended. A laundry basket in the washing machine. At work. Fair enough, Mibs. It's all good. Um, so, I've indicated that there's nothing in here, which is great. My baseball bait bat looks a little bit stubby, but, you know, whatever. And then I want to hit A. Headlamp turn on. Is there a way of reading the map without picking it up like is that a thing like is there like a examine but like read without picking the map up because i don't really want to drop the baseball bat to then read the map to then pick up the baseball bat uh, and then drop the map can i like just examine from like adjacent tiles or is that not a thing um, I might check in controls just to see very quickly. Um, I don't know. Oh, Mibs, by the way, we got three followers today. Thank you, everyone who's followed. Um, and apparently 22 of you are enjoying my horrible, horrible content. Going, works, good gang, good luck at work. Toverish seven dash seven dash seven. I'm very confused. I think you've wrote. I think you've wrote. What? <laughs> You're scaring me. Woo! Free followers. Hey, I'm excited. Maybe I peek. Uh, look around. List. Drag. Grab. Smash. Advanced inventory map menu. Pick up, examine, or interact with nearby world objects. Maybe it's closed door. Read a book or magazine. Can I do that? 
try a, a try for activate or a also check percent menu okay thank you curse to wit appreciate it uh, I need to get chat back up Ooh, your red curse to it uh, try for activate which is a I um, need to click on the game uh, oh no nah. too big to pick up that's fine. I don't want to pick it up. I just want to read it. You can read from the floor. I do not believe you cannot read from the floor. I will not fight you. Gary. So we'll try capital A. You can't do anything interesting with that. Also check the percent menu. Uh, try R. Capital R. I can only read the book in my hand. It's going to make me pick it up. Okay, that's fine. We'll just pick it up. We'll just pick it up. We'll just do it this way. It's fine. Maps don't use R, but books do. How weird. Activate. Why is it obsessed with me being on the surface to read the map as well? Because the one thing I don't want to do is take this... T I want to read down here. I mean... Let's go... No, not E. Let's turn that off. Uh, let's go upstairs. It's a game function programming thing. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm not going to I'm not going to have a go at the game or anything. Uh I'm going to I am going to cl close these curtains there. There is no curtain on that. And now he's trying to pry it open. Damn Z levels. That's fine, that's fine. You do you game. Apparently there was peanut butter on the can I eat peanut butter if I'm lactose intolerant? That is the question. I know, I know, I sound dumb, but... You know. Uh, he seems fine with it, yeah. I'm still very unhappy. Because I butchered a human corpse. <laughs> Great. Um... I'm thinking we... That debuff is still there. Yes, g -dem. Not that I blame you. Right. Let's go... We're hiding in the toilet. Because, as you do, to read a map. No, I don't want to do that. I want to activate my headlamp. Turn on the headlamp. Shine the headlamp. Go to inventory. Go to the map. Activate the map. Activate the map. Okay, it was loading. I was wondering what... Uh, I was like... It's all good. Don't worry, Judah. Hey, it, you gave me some... You gave me some drama in the game. Drama is the spice of life. You've added roads and possibly supply points to your map. Okay. Town is big. Oh. Holy moly. Holy moly. Should have made a bone here. Holy. What the? There's also another evac shelter along that road. Interesting. That could be a very valuable evac shelter. And there's a radio tower. I have no idea what radio towers do. I imagine something cool. Uh, oh, Derry looks quite... North hero. Hmm. Is there a south hero? Washington. Oh, we found Washington, guys. We are in DC. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Americans freak, freaking out at my terrible geography. Yeah, you can loot a town for weeks if you're taking your time. I mean, my goal, as I said, is to get to the... Uh, refugee center. 
that is my character's that's his like in game he's thinking i've just seen a computer it's told me that the the center is over there refugee center seems like the place to go because he's smart and there's no one else nearby unless they've changed that again I, i've been watching someone play through this game in from 2016 so they may have changed the game slightly between now and 2016 i don't know um I don't know. I don't know. Is that a school down there? It is a strip club. Okay. Open sewer. Uh, what's up here? Small wood wooded trail. Small wooded trail. Okay, so this area seems pretty good. Like this little alcove here. I might want to like lock in for a little bit around here. Though... Hmm. Wait, what's that? Riverside Dwelling. I know mansions, if they still exist, are like awesome. So there's a river, and all around the river there's river banks, and then there's just some dude dw dwelling on a tiny island. I don't know if there's anyone in there, but that's crazy. <laughs> Just imagining like a little hut just on this tiny island and there's just a dude in there with like a little shank and he's just like Stay away! Stay away! Sounds like Mr. Bean. Right. Well. That's cool. Let's turn that off before I leave. Unless I kill myself. Let's. Uh, we've used it so we can drop it. I love how it says used. Let's go downstairs. Go downstairs. And E. Baseball bat. Take. Wield the baseball bat. Cool. Right. And zip back. So there's crack in this person's basement. Fair enough. I mean, you have fun. And there's neck Neko wafers. And aspirin. I'm very curious here. No. I like the box. A small open plastic bag, essentially trash. Contains Neko wafers. A handful of candy wafers in assorted flavours. Orange, lemon, lime, clove, clove, chocolate, wintergreen, cinnamon, and licorice. Yum. Um, yeah. Go you. Right, I'm going to take that. And then I'm going to go to... Someone told me the menu. I know. I seem dumb. Consume item. Got it. So they got it in one. Then I'm going to go over to here. And I'm going to say... Eat the wafers. Because I'm slated. So I might have flaked. Found some crack and heroin. Um, I ate it? I could eat the crack. I don't want to eat the crack. Now it's just a plastic bag. That's fine. And in here is powdered candy sticks. And I already looked in these. Plastic bag of peanut butter candies. Um, glass bottle of dentured alcohol. A lighter, which I really need. Kind of the whole reason I came out. So I could build a little fire and cook my meat that's probably rotting on the floor now. No, I don't want to take the bot. Don't know how affected drugs are. They were nerfed, apparently. Eh, fair enough. Let's have a look. Small plastic bottle of calcium carbide. So it was capital E to consume. Let's eat the pat. I don't mind because I'm slaked. And it will affect my mood. And I'm full again. I was peckish and now I'm full. You can definitely odd though. OD. Oh, I was like odd? I'm debating whether to take the crack. I don't think my dude's into crack. But hey, you never know. It's the apocalypse. <laughs> you do weird things in the apocalypse. Uh, baseball cap. I might take the baseball cap. 
Take it in case of emergency. Okay. Uh, is there a quick wear button? There probably is. Controls. Quick wear. Wear item. Wield item. Capital W is wear. But is there some like wear from ground? Ground. Ugh. Maybe it's just W. Use or apply an item. Eat, drink, consume item. E. Wield item. Hint. W. Reload item. Okay. Big streamer. Hello, hello there. Oh, Emperor Vanson. Oh, hello. You and Gdom had a had the same name, and it confused the hell out of me. Color name. I mean, I haven't even checked how many people are watching, but it's probably like two. Oh, there's 18 of you. Nice. Hey, guys. I think I checked earlier, but I'm so engrossed in the game. I mean, if you're enjoying, guys, you could always click that follow button. Set off my follower alert down so you can uh, shock and impress Emperor Vanson. Right, anyway, what am I doing? I'm playing the game. I don't want to consume. I want to wear. Wear baseball cap. Ah, that works. Perfect. You can just wear, wear straight from the ground. Interesting there's like seven different menus for like interacting with things around you. Seven is that I'm being hyperbolic, obviously, but uh Warp 5 Bash Cut Acid. Just wear it. I don't think I've got anything on my head. You put on the baseball cap. Follow for amazing British content. Yes. Uh I need to go to the at plus menu to see my armors. So If I remember correctly, colours me green is what you want, yellow is like, oh, this is a bit encumbering. Baseball cap and headlamp. So the cap is first, and then the headlamp is over the cap. Yeah, that makes sense. Knitted scarf around the mouth. Cool. So he's got a shirt on and a coat. Yep. Yep. Wrist watched. Yep. Brish. Brish. So he's wearing boxer shorts first, then leg guards, then jeans. Probably want that the oh, probably want that the other way around, right? You good, bruv? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Socks and then boots. Yeah, that's fine. And then armor. Bloody hell, mate! God damn, Bermia, you would not fit in. Bloody hell, mate! You sound too nice. I do sound too nice. Nice. Nice, baby. I don't know. Right, I was about to walk out the front door, which is not what we want to do. Um, Check my inventory, if I can drop anything. What's up, Emperor Vanson? Are you, are you shocked and appalled by how complicated this game is? Is your little brain blown? Let's take those and drop them on the ground. I don't need to be carrying rocks right now. Inventory is... Bloody hell, lad. Uh, it was E. Yeah. And I want to grab some food. Anything that's going out of date soon. Uh... But I can only see that from this menu. Outer world something. Rim world? What world? Looks like other, that other game you play. Yeah, rim world. You're the second person to say this looks like rim world. I'm pretty sure this came first. I don't care about the milk or the yogurt because I'm lactose intolerant. I should probably take the pineapples, tomatoes. I'll just try and take as much as I can. Pineapples, tomatoes, pears, okay. Can you please take pineapples? Yeah, you can. Tomato? Okay, you can't take that. Essentially, we're just taking some pineapples. That's it. We're leaving. <laughs> Though, I really would like a pot to boil water so we can have fresh water. Because 
That would be nice. That would be nice. To cast Iron Pot is probably incredibly heavy, heavy if I'm guessing correctly. Yeah, I am. Cast Iron Pot. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What about a normal pot? A nice friendly. Start a fire. Mm, no. Cast Iron Frying Pan. La how? Okay. Okay. I have to drop two litres worth of volume. Uh, what is the... Is that the menu? Yeah, here we go. So this is the inventory menu, right? And I want to move over to this side. So... What's my heaviest thing? Uh, the rations are pretty heavy. Uh, first aid kits. I'm not dropping first aid kits though. Pineapple's not heavy. Uh, probably shouldn't have come out with so much stuff. I was hoping to find a bag. Maybe I still will find a bag if I look around a little bit. There's just a hammer in there. Hammer, scissors, permanent marker, plastic straws, pliers, duct tape, corkscrews, an exact exacto knife. What the fudge is an exacto knife? The candle has a hundred charge. How does that work? How does a candle have charge? How do you charge a candle? This is a small sharp knife. Designed for making precise cuts to textiles or crafts. It could cause decent damage, but it is difficult to hit things with. Its small sharp blade allows precision strikes in the hand of a skill in, in the hand of the skilled. It is too small to butcher corpses with. Okay. Okay. Duct tape. Which I know I know duct tape is valuable. Hmm. And string. Hmm. Let's just see. No, de don't deconstruct. Oh, I didn't check if my if I leveled up from in fabrication. I probably didn't. Slowby water blindfold. Tinder head headlamp. I makeshift bandage. Tailoring. Fabrication. So I would like to... I guess it's in armor? Storage, yeah. Makeshift knapsack. So maybe I make a second bag. Because there's a lot of good stuff here. And it's pretty easy to do. Yeah, maybe we do that. Plastic shopping bag, spindle, hide bag, pin, painted hide, leather belt, makeshift sling. The knapsack, the knapsack has volume of two. No, storage volume of five. Not very good. What about a swag bag? Uh, I need a canvas bag. 15, nice. Uh, the makeshift sling, 10. But I would need a blanket. I could get a blanket. I could make that like almost immediately. There's a blanket like right here. Yeah. Why was I looking at the wrong thing? I don't know. Yeah. Grab a blanket. Okay. Yeah. That's very heavy. Uh, dispose of the bar. Yep. Fine. We'll go downstairs because I'm going to have to turn on my light. And then let's go to activate. Okay, apparently he didn't want to activate. Turn on that. Crafting. Makeshift sling, which is what I want. Make that, please. Wielding two makeshift slings. Perfect. Uh, turn off the light. I've used one battery, or one charge of battery. And and there's three rocks there. 
Because, you know, why not? Let's... Let's not consume food. Let's wield the baseball bat. Wait, oh, okay. I need to actually... Where? The torso is very encumbered. Dodging a melee is hampered. Okay. That's fine. I don't imagine we're going to get into too many fights. I think I just put that baseball bat into my inventory. But I'd rather wield it. Go with minimum pain. Maybe I should take another aspirin. Eat. You take some aspirin. Okay. Um, chopsticks, corkscrew, drinking glass, fork, spoon, steak knife, fork tool, knife, bottle opener, drinking glass. No, don't super care. Gallons of bleach, ammonia, rags, small cardboard box with detergent, scrubbing brush. I need a washboard. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Right. Let's grab chili peppers. Don't really care about those. Mustard never goes out of day. Orange. I I built this to make a to pick up the thing, didn't I? Yeah. It's fine, we'll just take all the food anyway, tomatoes. Because I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Right. Potato salad. Zucchini. Bird eggs. I'm to pit. Hmm. That'll be fine. I know you need bird eggs for. Bird mutagen. If I want to be that person. You see three rocks here. Good for you. Get items. Apparently it really wants me to start a fire. So that I can carry that. Or do I go heavier? Craft items. No, get items. It's very it's so much more heavy, but it does more. Like it does it just does more. Let's take it. Why not? And then I could do some quick deconstruct furniture. Two yeah, okay, never mind. I lied. I lied. Ooh, books. The other super valuable thing. Beauty magazine. Okay, never mind. The person who lived here did not like reading. Maybe they did, but only beauty magazines. Well, I don't think they live here anymore. I don't think there's anything else that I super should grab. Sponges. One of you said that a sponge would be good for cleaning this belt. I think that was you canned. Canned goodness. Ham tuna. Ham something. Can I craft items? I guess you don't use the crafting menu to clean. I guess that's an action while using the sponge. Okay. Craft as long as possible. Hmm. Two sponges. The fact that you're still alive, you're doing way better than me when I stay. Oh, thank you. I mean, I have, like, as I've said, I've watched someone play through like, a series of this, so I'm literally just doing, I'm emulating what I've seen, asking you guys for help. Um, I'm doing my best. It's kind of like Gary Barlow isn't me. Gary Barlow is us. Let's all avoid our taxes together. Not a bad way of doing things. Need to start out somehow. Yeah. 
even if I'd run out and died, I would have still learnt. Mainly not to run out. Uh, I want to go into inventory. I want to find sponges, which I think are in other. Nope, they are in spare part, no? Sponges. Oh, nice one, softbot. Shoot from the hip. Softbot that takes no prisoners. Am I dumb? I did pick up those sponges, didn't I? Yeah, so where are my sponges? <laughs> like, seriously. Want some cash. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm like tripping out because I've lost my sponges. Oh, they're there. Okay, they're in tools. I swear I looked at tools. Activate. You can't see to do that. Okay. Nope, don't do that. I still haven't figured out how to actually open and door do close doors without using the mouse. So, uh, yeah, get used to that. Because one of the things in the video I was watching that was telling me was saying, don't use, don't use the mouse to do things. I don't know why. On. Inventory. Go sponges. Activate sponges. You have nothing to clean. Do I have to go tool belt? Or is it saying I have nothing to clean as in I don't have any items that would need cleaning? Cleaning seems like a weird part of this game for me. Uh, or do I take off the belt? Take off the belt. Find the belt. Drop the belt. Go to sponges. Activate sponge. You have nothing to clean. Hmm. How do I clean you? Clean you. Or am I still going to need that board? This item is filthy, worn around your legs. Oops. Be upsized or downsized. It cannot be up refitted, upsized or downsized. Okay, so if I get really fat, it'll explode. Hmm. Let's just turn the light off for now. We'll figure it out. Figure it out. Can't pick up sp spilt liquids. Okay. Um, you were literally watching a man freak out in a random person's toilet trying to clean a tool belt that he ripped off a zombie. It's also is very encumbered. Maybe I shouldn't wear it. Maybe I should not wear it. Fine. So many people watch watching an ASCII game. What is this? Hey! They came for the ASCII game. They stayed for the banner. Yes, I refer to myself in third person. Either that or they're all AFK. Because I got hosted by someone else. Which I greatly appreciate, by the way. Uh, I got hosted by Existence. Streaks. Streaker. Streaker. Not Streak. So, yeah. That was very nice of him. Now I'm leaving. We are heading home, guys. They came for the ASCII. They stayed for the maps. Mate, I've got that soothing British voice. Got these here, everyone, by the way. Uh, bird food. Blueberry seeds. Cucumber seeds. Tinned food. Onion seeds. Dried lentils. I was hoping for a bag. Uh, Boxing monthly. That could be good. I'm going to take that. And we got Liverlicious Recipes Your Kids Will Love US Weekly. Wow. Oh, but US Weekly, weekly news about a bunch of famous people who are all undead now. So I probably won't take that one. 
I should look into this game again. It's been a while since I played it last. Oh, I mean, I'm having a blast. Everyone here is, as I've indicated in my first playthrough tag, everyone here... Oh, a USB. Is that the USB the guy wanted? No, I swear that was like... Yeah, maybe it... I swear it... No, it's that house there. It has to be. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he doesn't care which USB I give him. Um, my favorite thing is still making fun stuff out of fridges and lawn man. I haven't got that far. I'm barely, I'm barely living at the moment. I'm crawl, I'm like a, I'm a grub worm. Slowly crawling across the floor. Withered plants. There's an onion over there. There's some wheat. There's a pumpkin. It's not too much. This house is quite good, though. It's done us, done us well. Maybe if we clear out the area nearby, we'll be all right. Moving on to the picket fence is slow. Yeah, I would think so. This is where we walk into, like, a zombie hulk and I die. Right? Right? Be careful. Closer I get to what is that? It is a stereo. Okay. Yeah, earlier, sorry, you missed it where I climbed up onto the roof and uh, couldn't get down. And if it hadn't have been for Judem, I would have jumped to my death. Uh, apparently, a phone book. Well. I guess all the windows are locked, which is smart, I guess, if you're trying to live your life in a house. Alright. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to get in here without making noise. Wait, that window maybe. No? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I saw that. Uh, cat or dog that is ignoring me. Okay. I actually thought that was a zombie dog there, and I was like, uh-oh, I'm dead. Apparently my response to everything is, uh-oh, I am dead. I mean, that's a good thing. If you start with... I'm going to act... I'm going to eat another aspirin. If you start with, uh-oh, I am dead, if you don't die, it's just upsides from there. Can't open, can't open. Definitely can't open, can't open. Well, that's fair enough. Let us take the same route that we took here back and head back for now you see a casing okay all right let's keep going Oh, this place. Yeah, I discovered this. Sorry, uh, the fog of war is like very fun to just kind of get rid of. But uh, I discovered this place. Let's zoom out. I get my zooms in, zooms out confused. Like I, when I was first, like when I was like testing, I just went up north and had the quick look. And this place is just like small huts. The fixer upper for sure. It's not even on the map apparently. Just abandoned, like, huts left on the edge of town. And some planks. I really should do more crafting, as you guys were saying. Let's have a quick look, see if there's anything I can craft quickly. Uh, 
Washboard. And it's fabrication. Can't see to craft. That's fine, because if I go up here... Sorry, I just clap. I realize I clap really loudly into the microphone. Uh, if I go here, then I go... Nope. A. Headlamp. Turn on. And then I... Go... Here. And then we go... What am I using? 12 planks. One item. Put it down and start working. Am I done? You craft the washboard from memory. Cool. Where is it? In my inventory? No. How heavy is it? Probably... Oh, I can carry it. Nice. Headlamp is off. We'll close the door. Don't want to be rude. There's a fat zombie around here somewhere that I need to be very careful of. What is that? Newspaper page. Ooh. Uh... Riot is mutating. Eyewitnesses from the New England disaster area have claimed that the al allegedly psychotic rioters are displaying inhuman qualities. I swear to good, one of them was the size of a tree, said one of the panic survivors. There are also reports of afflicted individuals with acidic or electric properties. CDC officials could not be reached for comment. It's fine. Doesn't mean that there was anything weird going on before the world ended. Just, just Chinese spies. That's, that's... Oh, Bigfoot Tech, 132. Thanks for the follow. Man, I'm loving my new follower, Jingle. I'm loving it. Right, we're going to head back to the evac shelter. That's probably the best thing to do. What is this? Oh, yeah, it's a dead person. Wait, is that the butcher dead person or just a normal dead person? You, Gary Barlow. Oh, no. That's the person g asked me to butcher. That's g food there. It's fine, it's fine. Right, we're back home? We're back home. Oh. Hello, hello. Yep, I'm home, honey. I'm home. Uh, I'm pretty sure honey is... Honey is... Weirdo over here. Yes, Quinton Weirdo Street. I did ask, when I started, I did ask him for items because he asked me to do a mission. And he said that he had literally nothing. Which isn't true. I can see he had things, but apparently he's just very selfish. He could have given me his boxes. Come on, dude. Or the leather backpack. I was a bit like, maybe I should just like kill him. But I'm not playing a psychopath, so I thought maybe not. Character probably wouldn't have liked that. Um. So yeah. You want you want a guy to part with his boxes? You, hey, hey. He asked me to get a USB from the center of town. So, and by center of town, I mean town. Use item. How do I activate the? Here. E? Here. Start a fire. Will this start a fire or will this start a fire? If you know what I mean. Like, will I burn the forest down or will I start a fire in the fire pit? I mean, I'm just going to find out. There's nothing to light here. Hey, I put kindling in there. Whatever. We'll just make more kindling. Tinder. See? I can't craft. Oh. God, jeez. Oh, or I could just take that. Bigfoot, need wood as fuel. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, what about splintered wood? I'll try it. Uh, uh, 
lightweight lawnmowers. What can I make out of them? I don't know, you have to ask Sobby. Splintered wood. Let's go and take splintered wood. I'd love to clap a lawnmower blade. I mean, I really don't think you'd want to. So if I drop the inventory... Splintered wood, which is in other. I don't want to compare because I've hit capital I because I'm an idiot. And we drop. Cool. And then we go here. We go E. Start fire. Nice. Then I want to go to... I know you get too hot if you stand near a fire, right? Isn't that how it works? Or maybe not. Uh, I want to... No, I want to go to this menu. And I want to go to food. And I want to do that. You put... Uh, you put the in-progress cook scrap of meat on the ground crafting spot. You start working on the progress, cook scrap of meat. You craft cook scrap of meat from memory. You can get hot st standing too long, but the weather is pretty cold right now. So yeah, I'm comfortable. So I've gone from cold to comfortable. So at the moment, my character's like, yeah, this is fine. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you, Bigfoot. Also, the Bigfoot. Welcome, welcome. Always good to have a celebrity in here. The Bigfoot. Um, so where is, uh, did I drop the scraps of meat on the floor? Yes, I did. Uh, so if I go capital E, consume, yeah, there we go. And I, it'll last one day, so I'll just eat it now. And that made me peckish. Sober Nova, thank you for the follow. Um, good to see you guys here. Good to see you guys here. I appreciate all the follows today. That's great. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I should... I mean, the rest of our food is fine. Like, it'll last. Uh, I wanted to see if there's anything else you can craft by a fire. Uh, nail bat. Ooh. That could be good. I might make that. Six nails out of 800. Why? Uh, cook scraps of meat. Oh. Hmm. I guess you hit batch. Okay, yeah, you hit batch. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. Um. Right. Maybe not that, though. Man, these, hot, these hotkeys are... Interesting to get my head around. Tinder washing kits. Washing kit from a washboard. Cool. And I need one of... D okay, perfect. We'll make that. You craft a washing kit from memory. I am warm, falling. That's fine. Um. So I'm still peckish, so we'll go through capital E. Cook scraps of meat. There we go. Still peckish, okay. Uh, maybe I'm like, maybe he's like eating too many carbs and he's just getting peckish. But yeah, you can craft a sword from lawnmower blades. In fact, you can get two blades from disassembling it. Okay, good to know. I don't know if I'd want a lawnmower sword, but you never know. Um, I mean, I don't know how long the fire's gonna last, so maybe I'll. You can bring your unarmed combat skill to one. Oh yeah, because you have to read it once to kind of get your head around it. And then... I know there's like the read menu, which is capital R. You can bring your cooking skill to two. Requires level one to understand. I don't think I have level... Yeah, I can't cook it. I can't, I can't do it yet. Let's do... Un I think unarmed combat, getting it to one would probably be quite valuable. 
Because at the very worst, I'll punch things. Let's see if we've got early game sword goes. Two by four, two by sword, cover it with scrap metal, rocks, and you get a crude sword. Read until you gain one level. Okay, fire went out. 20% though. That wasn't bad. Um, so I'm going to need more light. And I'd rather not start another fire. So how about instead... Huh. Huh. Is there anything around here that I could burn? Because I can't be bothered to... Light my... Yeah. Yeah, there is. Uh, wooden panel. Probably useful. Splintered wo wood. I can imagine splintered wood not being that useful. And we'll take the plank as well, just in case. Oops, went out the window. Tear down the curtains. Nope, don't want to do that. I usually go quarter staff until I can get a halogen bar or a fire axe. I've heard the fire axes can do some good work. Um, so if I go on this, am I going to get hurt? No. E to drop. See, he's learning. He's learning. Oh god, he's learning. Why are we teaching him? Uh, how about some splintered wood for now? And then stand here. And then salmon. And then start a fire. Nice. Nice, nice. And then I want to go here. And I want to go... Throwing stick. Nail board. Nail bat. I want the nail bat. Uh, nail bat would increase my bash from 12 to 20. Um, yeah. And I think it increases pierce as well from 2 to... F I think it adds pierce. I think that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. You craft a nail bat from memory. Apparently, in my in Gary Barlow's early life, he was going around making nail bats. Whatever the life he lived before, I can't tell you much about Gary Barlow other than he likes to avoid tax. And being smacked by zombies, apparently. Wish you could make a decent makeshift machete without duct tape. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Screwdriver, sponge, stone hammer, stone nut. I mean, our only other problem is going to be water soon. I need to have a drink. Just drill through the blade with metal drill and temp tip. Dang it. Activate. You drink your clean water. Thank you. I'm still incredibly unhappy. My morale is still terrible. I think in experimental version, duct tape is now very common. A lot more common, yes. Interesting, interesting. So I want to go... E, interact. Craft. So I've got... Hmm, wood ash. I could make a... Uh, my fabrication has risen to one. That's how I could make the uh, washboard, which is cool. My cooking is 15%. My survival is 15% is zero. Bashing weapons is one. Melee is one. Um, I am thinking... I really want to use the washboard to clean my belt. But I guess I also need soap, right? So I'd have to grab some soap. I swear I have soap downstairs. There you go. There you go, buddy. So yeah, Nana, what are you thinking about this game? Or are you just enjoying watching? Um, E interact there. 
just want... I don't want all the soap, but I guess I'm taking all the soap. Am I going to need... Do you need water to clean with as well? Or can you just... If I stand here, can I clean my pool belt? Activate. You have no reason you could activate the tool belt for. Never mind. Okay. Eh, no. Activate. Use item. Wash board. Wash items. There we go. No item was select. Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> Wait. You needed... Oh, never mind. You need 14 charges of water or clean water to wash these items. So did you just go into my inventory and use my clean water? No, you didn't. Okay. That's fine. Go here. Go here. I'm not wielding anything. Oh, because I made the baseball bat and didn't do anything with it. Well... Do your laundry in the toilet. Hell yeah. Bigfoot, you're speaking my language now. I'm pretty sure I picked up the washboard. Yes, I have. So I want to go A for activate. Use item. Uh, washing kit. You can't see to do that. Of course I can't. A to activate, headlight, turn on. I'm starting to think you're right, Gideon. I should have just kept the phone. Uh, and then washing kit. And then activate. Pull belt. No item was selected because I'm an idiot. You washed your items. So now I have a pull belt that is fine. No longer dirty. Perfect. Now, hopefully someone can answer me why I can't put... Uh, my screwdriver in my or my hammer into my tool belt. I was hoping it was because it was dirty, but that doesn't sound right. Uh, activate. Maybe I have to activate it. Tool belt, tool belt. Tools, tool belt, cell phone, potassium, aspirin, matchbook, screwdriver, light. No. Is it going to be a case of? Your tool belt can only hold very specific tools. So, tool belt. And uh, leather, where's you wear it as a yeah, it's a belt prepared with can be activated to store a number of items. Try activating the tool belt. You have no items that you could put in your tool belt. How can I not put a screwdriver in? I don't understand this. What, what weird ass tool belt am I wearing? Because at the moment it's useless. I can't put my pocket knife, screwdriver, my hammer. Like the hammer I would have thought would be. Maybe it's because it's a stone hammer. I'm just confused by that one if I'm honest. weird yeah I've got a makeshift crowbar as well it just doesn't do anything I got it off a zombie it's, a, it's technically a tool belt like oh yeah I guess that is what we're talking about I don't know pocket a common belt with pockets and four small belt loops widely used as by handymen and electricians uh, yeah, I'm not playing on experimental. I'm just playing on the stable one. I'll wear it again. You're already wearing that. Because at the moment, I don't think it's doing anything for us. Uh, where are you, tool belt? Uh, yeah, it's got a storage of one. And it's encumbrance of ten. So I might as well just take it off if it's not going to do anything. Uh, and then we're going to go in here and we're going to go to the D menu. And we're going to... Tool belt. 
you can come off. Oh, yeah. Multi drop. Why are you having an issue with the weightage if I do that? Uh, I don't need all these knives. Uh, sponge. Uh, I need to put that cast iron pot on top of the fire. Uh, matchbooks. Yep. Pocket knife. Yep. I guess technically I don't need like all these knives. Uh, I'll keep the crowbar. I'll keep the screwdriver. I don't need the washing kit. And the pot I'm going to put outside. I don't need to hold the cell phone. Lighter I'll keep on me for now. I need a fridge. Though I don't know if that works in this game. Maybe it does. Um, potassium, iodide, tablets, soap bars. We don't need to hold all that soap. Don't need to hold the planks. Don't need to hold the silver. Don't need the super glue. Plastic bottle will be good to fill up for water. Okay. Enter. So, now I go to inventory, we are holding a... Well, we're not actually holding that much less. I was kind of hoping it'd be like... Just like, lobs everything down. So my, my next question is... I want to drop this... Uh, not the stone hammer, though I should have dropped that. This cast iron pot, I've got two. Ooh. I want to drop them, but I want one on the fire. Is that possible? Can I drop adjacent rather than drop on the tile I'm dropping? Like, can I, like, put it over the fire? Because that's essentially what I want to do. Just put the pot over the fire. Or do I have to, like, do a whole thing? Like, do a little dance. If apparently if I hit one, it will drop one. No, okay. Press capital D to do a directional drop. Although don't drop it on the fire; it will burn. What the cast iron pot? How does the pot burn? It's made out of like heavy iron. Like, like it's like a proper. Like the bot, the bottom would probably get scorched in real life, but. What does that matter? It'll get hot. Or do I have to put it next to it? it it'll damage it a bit, I think. Oh, okay. Drop where? To the right. And one of you told me how to drop one item, not two. So do I have to make like a rack over, like a metal rack over the fire before I can have like a... Because I just want to boil the water. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we'll just have two pots here. That's fine, right? Cast iron is a real life for warp and bend and ultimately break if left on an open fire. Yeah, I mean, long term, but you're going to be able to use it. I don't think I'm going to be here long term. I don't think I'll just cook it in one fire and it'll all... Uh, e. Pour it into container. Plastic bottle. No, 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 I don't want to. Don't have any suitable carrying. Okay. And then. Because obviously I want to cook the water to purify it. Um. So, E, right, let's consume item, E, activate, it's not long term, all you need is to let it get high enough heat. So is it alright to cook water right next to the fire, or is that going to be weird? Because I want to put my plastic bottles of water... Or can I just activate the fire, like... 
Get items. No, I don't want to do that. I'll burn my hands. Open the crafting menu. And go to food tab. Okay, that makes sense. Clean water. Wow, that was smart. Is that because there's a pot nearby? Nearby fire. Okay. And one tool with boiling of one more. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot, Bigfoot. Um, clean water 0%. You start working on the clean water. You no longer have a nearby fire. Nice. Nice. Apparently, I've got the word crafting over me now. It's like a sensor bar. Luckily, I had a plank of wood somewhere. Mate, you're not allowed to look at my private parts because apparently I'm crafting. Uh, examine. Get items. Can you give me the plank? I will take the plank. Cool. Crafting. Crafting. Stand here. D. Oh, wait. I can do capital D. Let's do it the right way. Drop where? Cool. And clank. Don't hit that button. There we go. E. Activate. Start a fire. Perfect. Go to the crafting menu. Clean water. You're in progress trying to store it in your inventory. Wielding and activating in progress. Clean water. 0% to start crafting. It, you've successfully light a fire. Or do I need to be here? Okay. I made the clean... Okay, I got five bottles of plastic clean water. My character's now in a permanent state of crafting, apparently. I don't know if there's something I need to do to get rid of that. Uh, no, E-equip. There, get item. Nail bat. Never mind. Uh, yep, yeah, because I'm an idiot. Yeah, I am... I am never going to get used to that activation method. You're holding the clean water in progress. Just activate it. Okay. Inventory. Oh, wow, I am. I guess I'll consume it, because I don't have anywhere to put it. Um, right into container. How strange. I could... We could do some cooking. I think we could do some cooking. Apparently I'm warm now. Uh, let's cook the pineapple. Everyone likes cooked pineapple. Yeah, consume it. Why not? And now I'm peckish. Is peckish like where you eat and you're like full, but you're kind of wanting to snack? Is peckish a bad thing? I feel like it's a bad thing. Cooked wild vegetables. I'll take those. And what are these down here? They are a bunch of other stuff that I can cook from. So maybe we'll do some more cooking. Cooked fruit. I went too far. Cooked fruit. I was hoping to cook from the ground. Maybe I need to... Cat's tail fresh. Okay. Okay, so peckish is bad. Ignore peckish, is what you're telling me. Peckish is... My brain being naughty. Got it. Cook fruit. Can I cook any of the other stuff I've got in my inventory? No. Fair enough. I cannot make cooked cat's tails yet. I've got to get better at cooking. That is not the controls. That's not how you move the game. I'm still not tired. I was hoping to... Maybe I am tired. I am tired. Okay. 
Never mind. Um, welcome in. We like to keep... Why did it... Pick... Oh, it's because you said hey. I was like, why did Softbot start freaking out? Right, what are we going to do now? Mm. Well, this dude really wants me to get his... His, uh... There's a mission here, or is it this one? Wait, where is his mission? Oh, it's like here. Right? No. Where is his... I'm very confused where... He had a... He told me he needed me to get his... Uh... You just eat butter. Right, okay. Oh, this is for my active mission. I need to go to the missions tab, which is... I have absolutely no idea how I see active missions. No idea. Absolutely no idea. Probably something very simple. Say, uh, commit suicide. Capital Q. Maybe don't do that one. Apparently, it says on the website to do, to to remove that key behind me. <laughs> Just want to see missions. Uh, I always pick fast metabolism, so I eat twenty times a day. We could do the same way. I used to have a fast metabolism and then got old and it slowed down. I don't even really care about this guy's mission, but now, now I'm determined to figure it out. Access list of all actions. Wait, I know what to do. What am I doing? I'm getting old soon, don't you worry. So, shift... Question mark opens key bindings. There we go, look at that. I made a character with a bad temper trait. Just trust me, Q became very useful real quick. <laughs> you were just like, no, I hate you. End. Stop functioning. Nothing wrong with eating several dozen units of butter. No, it helps lube the food down into your throat. Um, uh, if I type mission, view mission, capital M. See, I'm figuring it out. Retrieve software. Uh, active missions. So that's my now active mission. So if I go to the map, it's 20 tiles away. It is actually... There. Okay. Okay. So it's one street down from where we've been pillaging. Hmm. Hmm. How was the town? The town was fine. The town is apparently huge. The town is like massive. And I'm doing a mission for a dude because, hey, maybe he'll want to be my friend if I do his mission. Even though I haven't asked if he wants to be my friend. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a little bit more confident now. I've got a spike baseball bat. I've got a tool belt that doesn't do anything. I might want to light a few houses on fire. Okay. Okay. Good to know that that's a strategy. Didn't know that. Do I still have the stupid belt of uselessness on? No. But I do have two slings. So maybe I should go into plus menu and go to here. So they're both on the outside. Maybe I want my slit. Maybe I want my coat. No, because then that just makes... Yeah, that makes... How to get pipes and nails using only a match burner house down. I mean, that 
does sound like a plan. I feel like I'm wasting this fire. That's fine. We're just gonna continue reading until it runs out. Okay. I read a little bit more. Cursed wit. Checking out the radio that ra radio tower. Is there value in that radio tower? I don't know anything about radio towers. I mean, I don't know if I feel more or less confident crossing the forest. Remember the wire fences. I swear I saw some like pliers somewhere. But I've also got the prison Gedum, so if I wanted wire fences, I could go down to the prison. As long as I took the prison from the far left hand side. I probably wouldn't run into the police bot. Maybe? Maybe? Apparently I'm still really unhappy. Angrished memories of butchering human corpse. And I'm cold. Could smash the fence with something that has enough bash damage. I mean my... Yeah, it's still there. It's still there. My dude absolutely hates butchering people. I I did it as a test to see how bad it was, and it's bad. It's bad. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty damn bad. Damn vegan. I'm not even vegan, I can eat meat. Should have taken cannibal trait. Alright. My baseball bat has 20 bash. So I don't know if I should be using my baseball bat as an item to smash things build maybe killer drive or psychos are great fun but yeah I, I put nails in it because you know I thought why not so we're just gonna walk down So I guess after time, the uh, the like the sepia like memory of where you've been disappears. Right. Oh, make a barbed wire bat. You could have. Uh, from the south, you hear universal curfew is in effect. Please retain to your home. Return. Retain. Please retain to your homes. Please. Back away from the bot. So I want to do this far away from the robot if it's still around. Please retain your bodily fluid as bullets penetrate your body. Okay, that worked pretty well. Uh, I don't think I got anything from that though. No. Maybe I'm sp maybe you want me to go there and deconstruct furniture. It's too dark to construct right now. Okay. Okay. Would it be better to just deconstruct it cuz I could do that I'm pretty sure, right? Especially if I examine. No, that's examine. Sharp simple. Takes a long time. Okay. We got... You hear a crack. I got a pointy stick. You hear a crack. The robot gets annoyed. Bob, what? Those are some different offences, I assume. They're bar barbed wire offences. So I'm grabbing barbed wire. Uh, carefully pick up the barbed wire. And then go to the crafting menu. Uh, I can't... There we go. I need one baseball bat, which I don't have. Because I made a nail bat. <laughs> hmm... I was kind of hoping 
you could just could you disassemble it? Maybe. Uh, what is this? Pointy stick two. Okay. Uh, the s no, I was about to say the sun's starting to come up, but it's not. It is not. I could probably disassemble. No, why would, why would you ever want to do that? All right. Hey, dude. <laughs> Sunflower freaked me out for a second. We'll head back. Wait, I need to double check. Uh, I was hoping these fences would have more wire. The ones at radio towers do that. Uh, the the other ones would probably have more wire. The ones closer to the prison. But the problem is, if I break those, then. Uh, I give the robot an an, en an e entrance to where I was hiding. So I screw myself over in the long run. I'm going to have to deal with that robot at some point. What am I looking for? I am looking at weapon. And I wanted to see bashing, barbed wire bat, just one. Yeah, that robot like did a lot of damage to me in a couple hits. Zoom out because I don't like being this zoomed in. Even though I can't see anything, so it doesn't really matter. There's one weapon that could deal with the bot would need to craft it. Robot goes wee woo wee woo wee woo. Hold on right there, criminal scan. I will now disable your vital functions before taking you to custody. I don't think they care about the custody part anymore. I think they're just dealing with rioters or what they consider rioters. So let's try disassembling the baseball bat. I cannot disassemble it. Okay. Rioters. Ri Chinese rioters. <laughs> Chinese zombie rioters. That's a shame. I couldn't disassemble it. Maybe I needed the tools? Maybe? Portland edition. I mean, well, you know. No, don't want to use it. No. No, I can't get the nails out. Maybe if I... Do I still have my makeshift hammer on me? No? Okay. Uh, inventory. Stone hammer. Yeah, I still have that on me, which I should probably drop. Stone hammer. Drop. You are... You're not that heavy. Uh, well, you are heavy, but your volume isn't that bad. But I'll drop you. All right. Let's leave Weirdo to chill in there. And let's... You guys are saying radio tower. Screaming radio tower at me. Pointing up to the sky. I'm having a drink, so now we're going to keep infinitely scrolling, apparently. That was fun. You guys are like, get to the radio tower. Okay, okay. That's fine. We can do that. Alright, there we go. So my one question before I venture out to the radio tower, other than the fact I'll probably take a nap, is, uh, do I go through the forest or try and go round through town? That is the question. That is the question. Through town, or, well, around the edge of town, or through the forest? Pick it. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I might see Bigfoot in the forest, so I'm leaning towards the forest. If I meet a pack of wolves. Yeah. Or a bear. 
or a moose. I, unless they changed it. I heard moose are like devil animals. I never get too near a moose in this game. An owlbear. Hmm. Right. So we'll take the nap. No, that's not how you move. It's not a WASD game. I need to nap somewhere. Can I make a makeshift bed or anything like that? You never get too close to a moose in real life either. Mooses are tanks on still. Wait. Um, I want like I should probably make some improvised lock picks. Let's do that. I hear improvised lock picks are quite good. I am trying to be quiet, by the way. Wait, what? Where are my improvised pop lock picks? Oh god, game, game. I've got, apparently I've got like scrap metal somewhere. Oh, it's probably in there. No, where are they? How was I able to make them for a second and now I can't make them? What's that about? I was standing here and then I could make them. What? Yeah, I know. Why can you make them here but nowhere else? Is it literally if I can? Is, I guess it's because I can see them all the way up there. That's fine. That's fine. If you, if my dude wants to work that way, we'll work that way. What the hell's a tree spile? A hollow metal cylinder which is inserted into the tree crust in order to slowly harvest its sap. Okay. Um. I don't want you to wield them though. Are they really heavy? I don't know. I'd use a cell phone in the basement. Like, oh god. Mate, I'm greedy. Though I have used a lot of that battery now. Right, nail bat. Let's actually equip the nail bat. Let's equip the nail bat. Oh. Wield. Right, here we go. Wait, no, I need to have a nap. I'm doing like 20 things at once. I need to have a nap. My character is tired. Alright, I don't think he's going to want to sleep on the metal. Is that a blanket? Sheep. Okay. Maybe I... No, he's going to hate sleeping on a locker. Maybe. I don't know. He's chilly, so I'd rather he grabbed the sheet. There you go. And how about you sleep downstairs? In this corn corner yeah why not close help too too late so now the question is how do i sleep right that's the one thing i actually do not know how to do like at all i would imagine it's zed 
Nope, because that's zooming in out. S. Nope. Dollar sign. Ah. Uh, where is dollar sign on my keyboard? Because I have a pound symbol. It must be pound symbol. No, it is not pound symbol. Oh, wait. No, I do have a dollar symbol on my keyboard. Uh, yeah, and save the game before sleeping. No, I don't set an alarm. Just sleep until you're fine. You're having trouble, Stuart. Try... Stop trying. Continue... To Got a blanket, mate. <laughs> Too late. I've committed. I've committed to sleeping on the floor of this toilet. With the toilet next to me and the sink to the other side. Wait, wait till you wake up. Game is like, death is upon you. You feel well rested. Okay. Don't know about that one. Probably wouldn't have said that myself. Let's drop the sheet. Just hit the D menu instead. D for drop. Oh, yeah. Alright, that's our bed for now. Nice toilet sleep, mate. Toilets are where, you should, where it's at when you want to have a nice hangover sleep. Hey, dude, it's daytime. How's it going? You're looking like you also have a... Feeling well rested is an illusion. Apparently, I am still affected by that. Life is constantly being tired. Soddy, you could write poetry. That's beautiful. I am omnivore. Voice audio is a little liar. My own voice audio, or because if I move it up any higher, I'm I'm going to be peaking. Like. I'll be booming. I mean, I can move my microphone slightly closer to my mouth if you prefer. But other than that, you, sir, phone is Max and you're a whisper. Hmm. I don't know what to say then. Oops. I don't know what to say. Anyone else having issues with microphone volumes? So, yeah, by the way, the plan is I hear most other stream as well. Okay. Maybe I just have a sultry voice that drops. It is a bit low. Okay. Well, I can go up. Let me know. Because that's me. I mean, my voice isn't too much louder. But that's me increasing it by much obliged. That's all good. Hey, I'm streaming to be entertaining, or at least to give entertainment. If you can't hear me, that's not very entertaining, so... It's always good to let me know. I just don't want to peek if that's the only thing. Um, but that's fine. Right. So yeah, I'm going to go around town, I think, not through the forest. So we're going to take this road, and then take a beeline down. Maybe we'll sit, hit some houses on the way. I would like to find like some sort of storage. I love the com commentary of this game, and you have a nice voice. I very much appreciate that. Uh, it's always nice getting a compliment. Uh, so yeah, you just pull up a seat, you enjoy, you sit back and relax. While I probably get murdered in the next 20 minutes. Uh, so, the first time I came up here, because I literally came from the shelter and was like, let's follow the road. What could go wrong following the road? There's a zombie child somewhere hanging around. Now, I know the zombie child have a secret surprise which is when you kill them your character unless they're a psychopath absolutely hate killing children because they can't get the whole idea of killing a child out of their head because even though it's a zombie they're like i just killed a child so with that in mind i have to remember i'm going to take another hit to my morale if i see that zombie child that zombie child sometimes drop crack ah uh, i didn't know that okay so there he is or she i don't know let's have a look Shift B. Uh, it it was only a child, a little, and little is different about it now, aside from the hungry look in its eyes. You'd be hard-pressed not to feel like you were killing an actual child by putting it down. 
Alright. So, I might want to... Yep. Yep, you definitely see a zombie child. I'm thinking about avoiding the zombie child as much as I can. That zombie. Okay. Well, I don't want to... Okay, so the fat zombie's up there. It can probably run you down, of course. Uh, stumbling as it moves. Yeah, I've read this one. This corpse is an overweight human. Human regards its surrounding its... Yeah, yeah. It's fine. So I've got the choice of a fatty or a child. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to try and beeline it between them. Saving game. This may take a while. Oh, it's done. Crawling zombie. Okay, I'll take the crawling zombie. There is a lot of zombies around here. I don't care about the crawling zombie. Neither of them seem to have seen me. I always... Okay. We're just kind of... And we've seen something else. No, I'm hitting Z, not um, the other button. Shift D. So, fat zombie, child zombie, zombie, crawling zombie. So, essentially, pretty bustling around here. I'm going to zoom out. Because that doesn't help at all. I'm going to zoom in one. Okay. I'm essentially just watching the map as I slowly move it through. Definitely drop your bag before you fight. I don't intend to fight. Playing with you it takes ages to sleep on mobile, so I'll be right back. It's all good, don't you worry. So, if I move slightly up... Oh, there's blood up there. That's not good. That is... Blood splatter. Pop corpse of a zombie. That wasn't me. Hmm. Hmm, someone else is around here. So, a pair of firm or electric... Okay, they're all poor fit. Bike helmet could be good. Bike helmet could be very good. But I've got a baseball ball cap. Oof. Did I drop my washboard, by the way? I did. Okay, so I can't clean it at the moment. Moving in the long grass takes time. That's fine. That's fine. Spotted a zombie to the east. So he's... He's just over there. Okay, that's fine. And where am I on the map? I am... Ugh. I'm a lot higher than I would actually like to be. Because I want to get along this road. And then down. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, the zombie. Okay, so I want to head, like, straight down. Spot a zombie. Yeah, good. Okay. Different zombie. Spot a fat zombie. Spot a zombie. There's, like, how many zombies down there? A lot. A lot, a lot. Oh, there's a bike, though. Hmm, town may not be the best play, but I'm honest, maybe I retreat. So I was exploring up here. Hmm, I don't know, maybe I should fight some zombies. I haven't really killed anything this since you've watched me, and I have this amazing baseball bat, so hey. Maybe I will drop my... Uh, drop it. Remember where it is. And where's the other one? Right, they're both there. We're hungry and thirsty, which is great. That's just what you want. So I want to... Capital E? Eat. Let us consume the... Cooked wild vegetables. And... We will have a drink of clean water and i'm still thirsty there we go right we're ready now there's no dilly dally i'm thinking we're going to take on the zombie okay these zombies how many are there probably one and 
two. Two over here. Okay. That's fine. He's coming. He's seen me. Yeah. He's, yeah. Here we go. Come on. Wait a while. Uh, I'll just... Is there a way to wait, like... Just, like, wait, like, a... Like, a second, or a, an action in-game? I don't want to wait a while. I want to just wait a tiny, tiny bit. Uh, press. Okay, thank you. I turned a corner into a night stalker last night. Never met one before. Panic when it started throwing me around and forgot to drop back. Nearly had it, but encumbered. That's a shame. But hey, at least you learn. Night stalkers. Uh, spot the zombie. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Damn encumbrance. If he's coming, he's not... Oh, it's safe mode. Here we go. Come on, dude. And... There we go. Easy peasy. And we smashed up his body. That wasn't too bad. Uh, male carry. Oh, so I killed a postman. Uh, fur bikini top. Okay, so maybe not a mailman. Hoodie. Boy shorts. Stockings. Leather trench. What the fuck? The hell was this person? Uh, yeah. Right, let's zoom out because this is it feels slightly claustrophobic. It gets even crazier in experiment as I start to properly model pockets. Mm. Mm. Okay, spotted zombie. I think I'm. I think I can have made a bit of habit of atting before combat just in case. Oh, you guys have a little chat, all three of you. I love it. Anyway, let's stop. Come on, dude. Yep, yeah, you spotted another zombie. Well done. I'm very proud. Oh, you spotted a fat zombie. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Game really likes telling me about zombies. Maybe I should turn safe mode off. For make sure you don't fight with 60 torso. Don't worry, I've taken the bags off. Unless you're seeing it say 60 torso encumbrance somewhere else. Uh, come on, dude. I'm ready for you. There we go. Okay, he got a bite. He ripped my boxer shorts. Yes, I've seen a zombie swimmer, which is bad. Zomb you battle the zombie, the zombie claws at you. Okay. And he's dead. Okay. The tactic I was taught was you want to get him stuck on like an encumbrance like an encumbrance item so that the slowed down. So I pulled him onto the wait, is he wearing a Camino? Oh my god. Uh, and a tuxedo how does that work? Uh, so yeah, I pulled him onto the rocks. Um, I pulled him onto the rocks so he'd like have less chance to hit at me and then I just started battering his head in. Um, maybe I could have backed off, gone round, done it again, done it again. But there are now what looks like two more zombies coming for me. Uh, yeah, and they've both seen me. Okay, so maybe this might be the time where I back off. The game will teach you everything if you pay attention to the log and read everything. Yeah. So yeah, I've just been reading through, just trying to see the damage he did to me. He clawed at me, but obviously I don't get to see the numbers of what he does to me. Uh, and I think he ripped my shorts. He ripped my boxer shorts. 
used to set bushes on fire and then walk the enemies into it. Nice. What's the tucked away info? Most of do 10 damage or so. Okay. But from I'm not in pain at all, so that's good. Um, so maybe it was a grazing hit. I am, however, going to back away. Because I don't want to fight three zombies. So I'm going to, like, try and dupe them around the rocks. Uh, I've still got two zombies following me. Put the fat zombie to the west. Okay. So I'm going to move up and around. And there's a... Graken to the north, but Grakens don't seem to do too much. And then I'm going to hope that the zombie sees the Graken and ignores me. Cool. Zombie and the Graken are having fun. Shall I pit fire can kill zombie, a zombie hulk? Good to know, good to know. And then I've seen another zombie... Right, that's fine. we got to get back to our stuff, but that's fine. It's only 10 a.m. Alright, where are they? I know there's, there's no way he caught that Graken. That Graken was like... Hulk. Wait, they're not... Wait, what? I don't believe it. Give me a second, sorry. Shift V. Zombie. He ran the Graken into the building and killed him. Wow, nice. Proud of you, dude. Mate, wait, no, the Graken's still alive, isn't it? No, he killed the Graken. Okay. 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 Saving the game. Yeah, good for you. Moving into tall grass. Good for you. Spotted a zombie somewhere else. That's fine. Spotted a zombie somewhere else. Spotted a z Stop telling me. <laughs> yes, fat zombie. Cool. Game. Game, please. Right, so now we're going to wait for him to come along. I was preparing... Pyrotechnics way out. Spotted zombie, yep. Come on. It's time. Come and get me. I'm nice and tasty, I promise. Yep, what are you going to do? There we go. He did a critical to his head. Another critical, and he's dead. Nice, nice, nice. Playing it safe. Right, and an air spectra, cool. He's good. Ripped his body apart. So let's have a look. All fit. Got some ankle socks, dress shoes, tie clip, wool scarf, union suit, pulped corpse. That's fine. Nothing of super interest. I'm way higher than I was before. I've also got to try and get my bags at some point. Are those my bags? Nope. That is a body. Swimmer zombie. Okay. Let's ignore that. Swimmer zombie. Man. Oh, fuck. How did I... Oh, I ignored him and... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So fat dude's going to chase me for a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't actually see him there because I was ignoring him. Man, you got... Chat's going a mile a minute at the moment. You guys are having fun. So he should be on small boulder. I think I'm going to try killing the fat zombie. I just imagine it being... 
He's probably going to be a bit tougher, but that's fine. Spotted fat zombie. I kind of know, man. I kind of got a thing going on here. He's going to have to climb over his compatriot. And... I missed. What's the point of fighting? You swing mild wildly and miss. What's the point of fighting? You sp swing mildly and miss. I've never seen that message before. You whack the zombie. You critical the zombie. He bites my left arm. And I'm dead. He's dead. I'm dead. No, don't save and quit. My mood and focus is too low. This is how we learn. Uh, blood stains, fat zombie, tie clip. Motorcycle helmet could be good, but it's filthy. Uh, leather sandals, leather gloves. Uh... No, don't hit that. I did not want to do that. Uh, so I want to see morale. So my morale is still terrible. So my total morale is minus 39. Uh, yeah, so... Foc focused. Uh, so yeah, that's from butchering that one corpse. That one human corpse. Apparently, my character really hated that. Eat one. You take an aspirin. Right, that's fine. I just want to see what items are here. Uh, shift B will show me everything. So we've got a wool scarf, union suit, dress shoes, ankle socks, tie clip. So really what you're saying is I need to go back down to my bag. You did fuck me over. It's been a day. It's been 24 hours since I butchered that guy, essentially. Apparently, he really can't go. This is why I avoided the zombie shard, because I was like, my morale is just going to keep dropping. It wasn't so bad when I was eating all that food, because he liked it, and it was making him feel better. But now, the benefits of eating cooked pineapple are not helping outweigh the detriments of butchering a human corpse apparently and there's a dude out there yeah yeah i wanted to see how bad it was and i saw how bad it was it was bad uh i want to go to he doesn't know where i am bookworm is perfection so, like, I'm imagining zombie swimmers are, like, more tough. A slick and glistening human body. Its hands and feet are webbed and it's clad in swimwear. Like, needs some cigs, booze, drugs, music to start pooling against. Okay. Music and books. Well, I do have some books I could read. But... Zom spotted zombie where Shifty. down there okay that's fine ignore it for now i really hope that zombie swimmer doesn't get spotted fat zombie yeah i've heard it like listening to mp3 players are good that move that 39 is a lot down i love it when Always hold batteries. Also, yes, I've heard hold, holding batteries is always very good. Uh, I need to figure out again how to wear from ground. That's very important. Wear from ground controls. Is that capital W? I think it's capital W. Capital W. Yeah. Okay.
Cool. Apparently, I've now... Oh, I dumped all my stuff. What? Apparently... Oh, I guess... What? That's annoying. And I need to keep an eye on that zombie to make sure that the zombie isn't. Okay, the zombie swimmer has seen me. Why did I dump everything on the floor? Why did I dump everything on the floor? That is the question. I don't want to consume, I just want to... Hmm. I'm going to move off. While the zombie swimmer comes for me. I should probably also... I mean, the bags are empty, so... How do I check my encumbrance? My encumbrance is listed in... Uh, this menu? Yes. So my torso encumbrance is 50. That'll be because I'm wearing two empty makeshift bags at the moment, which is quite annoying. Uh, drop. No, don't drop any of that. The bot's finally turned on these after a while. Right. There we go. That's fine. I um, guess spotted zombie swimmer. I'm aware. I am waiting for him. Spotted zombie swimmer. Really? There's a zombie swimmer right nearby. Okay. Thank you for alerting me, game. Do it. Do it. Okay, don't do it. And there we go. Oh, critical his head. And I missed. And he grabbed me. He bites my right arm. Okay. Um, the, the thing I'm worried about getting... I've got bitten like three or four times now. The what, thing I'm worried about getting bitten is... How do I know if my arms are getting infected? Like... Is there like a like observe your body menu so you can like I've not seen anything like that. He's got a bikini top, a pair of swimming trunks, and that's it. Okay, she, I guess. That's what I wanna know. It'll turn blue. Okay. Okay. No blue. And it'll say deep bite, might need cleaning. Okay. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for that. No, I don't want to... I want to wear them. Bitten instant... Bitten equals instant rip or... Trusty knife in trusty hiking pack. Okay. Let's do capital W... Wear... Capital W... Wear... That's what I don't get. When I wear the items, everything gets dropped to the ground. Alright, I'm probably going to see some zombies. Yeah, there's a zombie. Yeah, take everything. Uh, comma all. There we go. I usually pick up boxing or hammer. I realize they're not that needed. So three points. Uh, so. Issue I was having was with my morale. And I'm t a tiny bit hot. I took my run from doing AK to freaking Rambo's hat. Hmm. Right. I really think we should head down though. Or at least through. I think I killed enough of the zombies so we can head directly to the right. And it changed the attacks out of the best part. Hmm. 
So it doesn't matter if I turn you into killing machine. Get to that. Get to that. What the hell is this? This is a... Pool. I guess that makes sense. With the zombie. Swither coming out. Probably going to be more than one in there. They have wrecked that house. It looks like there's bandages. Uh, no, they're sheets. Okay, ignore me then. How bad is this property? Okay. Okay. It's all in the hips, baby. It's all in the hips. Sue what? Clothing. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you for the follow. I am an averse. Omnivore. That freaked the hell out of me there. Just for a second. It's all in the hips. Right. Let's have a look at food as well. We have quite a lot of room at the moment. And I didn't... I didn't... I just wanted to scout out the... Uh, I literally just wanted to scout out the radio tower, but apparently we're also going to be looting. Uh, apple cider. Didn't you say that getting slightly drunk improves my mood? So we'll take that. Uh, I don't really want the ketchup or the horseradish or the jam or the mustard. Car small cardboard box of onion rings. Take more pineapple. Soy sauce. Okay. And anything else? Let me guess. I didn't take those items because I hit the wrong button. Yep. Uh, plastic. Okay. What else do we have? We have fake knife for kitty spoon. Kitty, yeah, ceramic plates, chopsticks, cork screws, bottle opener. Uh, let me guess, bleach. Yeah, ammonia, bleach, scrub brush, rags. If you like your rags. What, a giant wasp? Where is the giant wasp? It's south. Okay, ooh. There is a giant wasp in the premises opposite the house I'm in. I can't imagine a giant wasp being nice. It is a giant, uh, gigantic, slender-bodied wasp with an evil-looking, evil-looking, let's specify that, evil-looking thing protruding from its abdomen. Its exoskeleton, ex exoskeleton glowers with glowers with ominous red markings. Glowers. I don't think that word's right. I think it's supposed to be glows. Glows. Press X to look around. Okay, so it's just, just kind of, just kind of chilling across. We can just see it. We're looking out our window. It's not our window. I am not going to fight it, though it is in the direction I want to go, which is annoying. Uh, I imagine it doesn't get on very well with zombies, so I'm hoping it and the zombies have like a bit of a tussle. The fact that it's still alive and we saw a bunch of zombies kind of indicates to me that it's pretty tough. Um, the question, the real question is, has it seen me? It has not. Okay. That's fine. We're just gonna go over here and... Yeah. Okay, cool. It's gone. It's gone. It, it, it no longer exists. We can't see it, so therefore it no longer exists. Uh, I think I checked this book. Top Gear magazine. Probably great. The door is locked. It's a bit worrying. Uh, hey, dude. How's it going? Spotted brainless zombie. Uh, you going to leave me alone? No, you ain't going to leave me alone. All right, we're going to, I guess, wait. 
Okay, he doesn't seem to want to come and get me. Uh, a zombie like any other, except that its fe features and skull have been devastated. It's uh, unclear what caused that damage, but between the scraps of flesh you can see, and its face and brain are gone. Though its ears are intact. Okay. It can't see me. Okay. It probably heard that, though. It's fine. We'll just back away from the door. We can go out the front, but we're not going to. Okay, there's something in that room up there. I don't know what, but there's something in the locked room. So I imagine what happened here was, you know, the, the old... They ran home to wait out the apocalypse. One of them got bit on the way home. The other one kept them locked in a room, and they slowly turned, and then I guess caved in the head of one of them? I don't know. Yeah, the story deteriorates from here. There's something I've not... Oh, okay. You are a fat zombie and it's aware. I'm going to leave. Pretty fast. Yep. I'm out. I legged it pretty fast from there. Does Mythical or Experimental Branch already add quite a few martial arts? Did they not add MMA style? Kinda? Right. I wanna- I just wanna kick the crap out of this fat zombie. Right, okay. Come on, dude. You're so close. Come and get me. That zombie bites your torso. Claws at me. Okay, I took a l Oh, he's not dead. I took a lot more damage, that one. Let's see. He had... Compression top, sweatshirt, briefs... Wool socks, straw hat. Hmm. Hmm. Fair enough, fair enough. There's a little... Is that... That's a sickle. Is that a good weapon? Would a sickle be a good weapon? I'm curious. Nope. I guess it's a gardening implement, and that's about it. Good tool, though. I mean, I guess I could go over and it. What is this? Barley seeds. Good at killing wheat. Oh, the, the infamous wheat. Uh, let's examine there. Sickle is seven butchering. Wow, that's high butchering. Wait, no, I've got something with 20. And one cutting. Yeah, it's not very good. It does have high cut, though. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. How about we... Take the barley seeds, why not? Can I open it? Okay. There's an open window, which is good. I do have to be very careful. The hell is that? A fur hat. Pico a purse. Okay. I mean, I could take a purse. Spotted brainless zombie. Where? To the south. So there's three of them. Just chilling. Okay, there's four of them. Just. So we got zombie, zombie, tough zombie. Uh, yeah. None of them have seen me. But they are to the south. Yeah, they're like in the street to the south. Yeah, I was never going to make it around that 
reach safely, was there? But let's... Let's just... And can I get away with that? No. How about now? This, I have no... There's no curtains on that window. That's fine. Spotted zombie. Safe mode. Control V. He hasn't seen me, but he is pretty close. That door is locked. Spotted zombie. Still haven't seen me, but there are loads of them out there. What the hell is that? A camo tank top. A mo motorcycle armor. Poor fit. Hmm. Have a look. Uh, a suit of armor used by dirt bikers and motorcyclists. Cotton Kevlar. Ooh. It's got bash resistant and cut resistance. It can be reinforced. This does not conduct electricity. Won't let you... F this clothing won't let water through. It can be refitted. Does this work for this game too? No. No, it does not. <laughs> what? Spawning bombs right next to me. Yeah, that'd be fun. I'm thinking about wearing this. Wheels. No. Where? Yeah, here we go. I can wear a lot. Oh, there's binoculars. How did I not see those? Or are they somewhere else? Um, let us wear that. Your torso is very encumbered. Okay. Might be too encumbered for what I'm doing. Let's have a look at my torso. Torso? Torso. Torso. Okay. So the shirt, the jacket. I could probably take off the winter coat, I'm pretty sure. It gives me... I can't... S uh, it gives me free storage. Maybe not. I... Th hmm... I have 660 points. Save them up to a noise stream. So you only get them when you watch, by the way. Trees equal life. But, um, yeah. Don't worry. I'll play noises soon. I'll probably play it this evening. In an hour or two. I'm just learning this game. I didn't mean to stream for this long, if I'm honest. But, hey. Here we are. Here we are. Um, let's see. Let us see. I want to see encumberments is in, here we go. So my torso is pretty effed up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I should be wearing that leather jacket. I think I should take off that leg of the leather jacket. Um, I mean, it's... I'm in the wrong menu. It's high encumberment, but how much encumberment do these cause? Can I see that stat? Encumberment is 15. So that's 30 from the two bags. So it's, at, it's 80 take away... So it's actually 50. Hmm. Let's see if I can get my bags off in time. Right. And then I need to go shift B. Okay, he's getting very close. 
Where are they? Okay, they're further down the street, but he's getting very close. Like, very close. So I want the binoculars. I saw them for a second. Terror binoculars. Where are they? Just straight ahead of me. Okay. There's a huge pile of stuff just ahead of me. Get items. Yes, there's tons and tons of, like, socks, earrings, tons of earrings, collar pins, ankles, whistle. Fast draw holster. Hmm. Let's take that. Let's take the binoculars. What? Why are you, like, saying what the fucking lol? What's up? Sheaths. Oh, I slammed the door shut. What are you doing? <laughs> Two sheaths. A leather sheath for holding knives and other small blades. It is easy for you. Sorry. Um, was all of this in one room? It's like right in front. It's all sitting in front of me. There's like a pile of all of this literally just there. Like, it's literally all of the items you see right now listed are literally like in one pile in front of me. And I, I didn't do that. They're just sitting there. For whatever reason, sheaths. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff. There's a headlamp. There's socks that fit. There's... I've got a headlamp on. Maybe I take a second one. Um, sheaths. Thinking about taking a sheath. A leather sheath for holding knives and other small blades. It's easy to use without much practice. Activate sheath, draw blade. Um, sunglasses. Harmonica with holder. Maybe I'll take that because you said playing music makes you feel better. Ankle sheath. A so I can just have knives everywhere. Take out the lens to make welding goggles if you don't. Uh, ah, you're talking about the sunglasses. Okay. And air elbow pads seem like a good idea. Fingerless gloves. Poor fit. Extra long white binoculars I've taken. And I don't... Alright. I think that's fine. Sapphire, I don't think I'm going to need anything money-wise. Maybe we take... No. Right. I need to keep an eye on where that zombie is because there's a chance he's just going to get a sight on me and leg it towards me. Oh, he's seen me. Yep. So now I need to leave. Yeah, okay, we leave. Spotted decayed zombie to the south. Yep. That's fine. We didn't like that building anyway. It was a crap building. The building sucked. Fat zombie to the south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine, dudes. Spotted zombie to the south. Yep. I'm running the wrong way. That's fine. I'm way too zoomed in. Way, 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 way too zoomed in. But that's fine. Fine, 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 fine. Right. So, I would like to... I can't see anything at the moment. And I'm pretty sure I can get away with it. But I would really like to... Um... So is a carving knife a small knife or a large knife? Uh, where? You put on your sheath. And then carving knife? Activate? No. Maybe I activate the sheath. Activate? You have no items you can put in your sheath. 
So, sheaf, 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 sheaf. Sheaf for holding knives and other small blades. It is easy to use without much practice. Activate sheaf, draw a weapon. Okay. Is this going to be like a thing again, like the tool belt, where uh, I have a carving knife, but I can't put anything in? This is a light, long bladed kitchen knife with a thin, slightly curved blade. Uh, it can be stored in ankle sheath. Okay, I have an ankle sheath. That's fine. I'm not so annoyed then. Put on the ankle sheath, weapons, carving knife. Activate? No. Okay, I've probably got to go here. Ankle sheath left. I also got two two holsters and an ankle sheath. Uh, activate. Carving knife. In it goes. You sheath your carving knife. Right. That's fine. I got a far. I got a fast draw holster as well. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really have a gun at the moment. But my encumbrance is starting to... Starting to fill up. That room was a gold mine. What the fuck? It was a gold mine. And now it's got zombies in it. <laughs> but I took most of the stuff that I thought was valuable, what I could find... I knew I could probably spend no more than like five minutes in there because I knew that zombie was just getting a whiff of me. I could I, I don't know why I went in this menu. Um, I want to go into plus menu because I want to see my encumbrance listings. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just want to like oh, it's listed there. Um, I just want to set the order of right. Uh, to make sure that I'm not like, yeah, that's fine. Wrist, wristwatch, yeah. So yeah, and I'm wearing the sheath outside of everything else. That's fine. Oh, it automatically sets it. Okay. Okay, yeah, and the pair of lard head is lard log lager. So we're gonna move away for a second. You know, getting to this radio tower is gonna be pretty hard going this way. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I want the apple. I'm going to drink the apple cider to improve my mood. Let's get a little bit crunked. Used to be terrible. Now it works well. No need to micromanage most of the time. Fair enough. Thank you very much for the tips and tricks. Tips and tricks. Um, I guess I could technically go... Straight through, and then down, and then we cut way down. Though that was the swimming pool was an issue, and so was this building here because it had a giant wasp. Oof. So if there's a giant, my question is: if there's a giant, quick question though, why the heck do I always get larvae under my skin? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you're just that popular of a person. You know, you're the larvae of the party. That was a terrible joke. Um, I'm really trying to think of a good pun, but unfortunately, I ain't got nothing for you. Um, let's see. I'm really trying to think what would be the best route here. Am I hungry? No, I'm hydrated. I've never seen it say hydrated before. Uh, I'm hoping that getting drunk made me feel a bit better. Yep. Tiny bit better. Tiny bit better. Being slightly drunk made me feel alright. Stay hydrated. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, I don't have anything to drink. I'll have to go get a drink. I'll get a drink later. Um, later, later. Later, later, later. Like, way down... Um, yeah, let's keep going, though. I'm thinking... Um, maybe I should stop thinking. That seems to be my biggest problem. Um, I'm thinking... 
Like, I don't want to get... Okay, apparently I just clicked on a random part of the map. I don't want to get too complacent, because I'm killing things all right. I've taken a bit of damage. Yeah, stop, stop examining everything. Yeah, yeah, my... I've taken a bit of damage. I need to find some bandages. I imagine I can make bandages. Probably. in Chemicals? No, other? Armor. No, it wouldn't be armor. Shoot, that was one of the best feelings that is honestly still going for me. Learning what could be disassembled, smashed, deconstructed, or some of them. Man, this game. What, me now trying to, like, going through the game and trying to figure out how to do things? Uh, F? B A N D. We'll just put ban. Turban. So I needed sewing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, when you get that dizzy and breath, breathe heavily messages, you are relatable, you're not drinking enough. I haven't heard much of the zombie smashing everything. Where did this long string come from? My curtain's gone. Wait a second. God bless curtain. It's such a good material. I'm just like reading out chat now. Right. That's fine though. And wedding dresses. Ah, give me all the tips and tricks. Sorry, lady. So yeah, what I was saying is I don't want to get too complacent on... On beating up zombies. But I'm doing quite... I don't want to toot my own horn, but I feel like I'm doing quite a good job. Not, not too shabby, baby. Yeah, it was like someone raided me with 33 like a few hours ago, uh, four hours ago. And uh, yeah, I got a lot of lovely people in here. There's 20 of you now, that includes you, BD. Death not too shabby. I mean, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy all of you here. Need to work on that focus. Do you mean actual focus or do you mean game focus? Focus trends towards 54. Make a spear spoon soon. Cause I'm st I am very much still trying to get to I promise, I'm still trying to get to that radius tower in game. Well, you said focus is improved by. Um, it says focus. Why does it say focus 30 up here, but it says 54 here? Hmm. Is that just. Yeah. I've never commented on your post per, post focus. Yeah. That mood. Yes. Yes, G Dum. How did that happen? How did that happen? <laughs> I'm never not going to get over that corpse that I butchered. Many things improve focus. I'd say watch your focus every time you do anything and you'll learn quickly. Bye, Lil. <laughs> Legs it out the door. Um, but yeah. For all 20 of you following, if any of you do want to... Uh, not following, watching. If any of you do want to follow, there's been plenty of you, but if any more of you want to follow, that'd be nice. I'd appreciate that. I love hearing my follower jingle. Uh, let's have a look. So I just went into the building below. Now I want to go into the building next door. That's not a building though. That's a... I mean, it is a building. They're all buildings. That is a... Candy shop. I fucking love candy. More improves focus than I initially thought. It's a neat little puzzle, me think. Drugs are a great focus. <laughs> you know what else is a great focus? Spotted giant wasp. Is that the same giant wasp or a different giant wasp? So I may hopefully... Okay, I, I freaked out there for a second because I thought I was set still on enemies. And I was like, wait, where's the giant wasp? And then it just targeted this rock. I was like, what? What? Okay. So, I think that's the same giant wasp. I think it's just patrolling. The problem where it's patrolling is it's patrolling where I want to go. It's literally on the road out of town. Because if we go back, look at there, it's like... Wait, no, it's here. Okay. So I should... 
I'm not fighting wasps until I make a spear out of 120 level patches. Well, it's good to know that's how you make a spear. So the wasp is here, I think? Yeah. Okay, I'm a bit confused on the map. Yep, that is a giant wasp. Yes, I am going to leave the giant wasp alive. And I'm going to back off and around. I cut a lot of cloves. Thank you, thank you for the tips. Alright. Anything else going on? Nope. Nope, nothing at all. What happened out there? It looks like two cars collided. Uh, I'm mildly peckish. Had to make a washing trip to a pond. Got Kevlar leather free to clean those roots. When I was watching someone play through this game, cleaning leather patches was a nightmare because apparently they had to like constantly clean one leather patch at a time. Is that being fixed or do you still have to do it that way? Um, I want to observe. It's just one zombie. It's fixed. Okay, good. He's seen me. Okay, that's fine. Pretty sure I can take him. It's just him at the moment. I'm going to get him on this fence, I think. Spotted a zombie. Yeah. I know. Getting saved, which made me a little bit worried. Hey, dude. You hear a wham. Why do I hear a wham? Hey, dude. Oh, he claws at me. He ripped my baseball bat cat, and I'm having trouble hitting him. Oh god, he's doing... Okay, so he tried to grab me, I batted him away, he batted the zombie foot aside, he collapsed and just dies. Yes, I should have cut that guy. You are right. I'm getting too complacent, thinking I can get them stuck on things. I'm going to butcher that guy. That is a big problem. Right. Uh, tank top, pop cops, fresh, ski pants, pop shorts, briefs. So he didn't really have anything. That's fine. Spotted a zombie way, way, way over there. Uh, okay. Okay, I found something bad. I, I know that zombie technicians are bad. I know that they're quite bad. So anyway, still wearing its work clothes and hard hat, this zombie likely used to work on a power lines or other electrical equipment. So I think zombie technicians are the ones that have like magnetic pulls, or am I thinking of zombie engineers? I think there's a difference. I won't be going that way then. So it looks like they were doing some work and got zombified. Um... Right, I'm going to not go that way then. So where is that in relation to everything? Like, because I thought, okay, yeah, it's up there. I've heard pole arms are very good, like things that you can poke things. I mean, I've never even contemplated the idea of traps, but that sounds like a good idea. They're uninjured, and they haven't seen me. Nailboard trap gang. Okay, I'll keep an eye out on nailboards. Best for early game. Okay. Okay. Alright. Maybe we go back round and through the house. Might be a good shout. Yeah, zombie technicians. And there's something else above as well. It's a... Brainless zombie. Eh, okay. That's fine, I don't care about the brainless zombies so much. I know, there's two, there's two zombie technicians over there. You've already shown me this. And a fox.
Yep, I'm still aware of the zombie technician. Oh. Oh, okay. How many zombies is that? That is... And the giant wasp as well. Which can also see me. Okay. I feel like I'm out of my depth here. I feel like I should leave. Yeah, they're all uninjured. I'm gonna... I'm gonna back off. I'm gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna peace out for a little bit. Let's just back away. Backing away. It's a shame. I'd like I'd like it if you could see like climb a building and then look over a larger distance because you've gone higher. Or like see more around you. But I don't think that's how the game works, at least not at the moment. I would like to try and get in the candy store if I could. You can see more on the map. Okay. It's just like, I'd like to see, like, actual vision. Not that... Not that that is... Not that big as could be choosers at this point. Okay, I've got a pipe in this bin and nothing in the other one. Okay. Now, the real question is... Spotted zombie to the south. And a feral runner. I don't know what a feral runner is. Sounds lovely. Shift B. So if that feral runner sees me, I'm I'm imagining he'll get to me very quickly. So let's leave. Let's just leave. Fucking hell ooh. Is that in response to seeing the zom the feral zombie? Zombie runner? Spot zombie. All the way over there. It's 3D really buggy. Wait, this game's in 3D. I know there was the isometric mode. Like the 2.5D isometric. Um, I haven't been brave enough to try it due to a few comments by other streamers. Can you, like, let me through? Thank you. It'll let you see different Z-levels from any Z-level up to a max you set. Yeah. 3D is in the level are so connected instead of not being able to shoot off of different elevations. So you can be on top of a building and see the parking lot and zombies. Ah, yes. Well, that comment that I saw earlier that said that you could see, like... Yeah, like, yeah. That comment I saw about uh, being able to do that. Interesting, interesting. Okay, there's this fat zombie. And he is... Okay, I'm also being followed. Fat zombie and fat zombie, and they both see me. Okay. I think we can dupe them out, though. You'd use the tile set, but activate the 3D settings, and it'd be different. A bit different. Uh, I'm using the... Oh, well, I think you, you guys seem to play the game more than me, so you know what tile set I'm using. Um, let's go north, I think. North? North. I haven't tried 3D either. I tried looking for the iso isometric mode that I'd seen before. Um. Uh, but I couldn't figure out how to get that set up because it said that it was dependent on texture packs, but every texture pack I tried to use to get it to work didn't work. Just play with the medieval mods so I can make shields. <laughs> Surprise shields aren't in the game. Fat zombie. Still following me. I'm very hot. Okay, so I'm getting really afraid. Sheltered starts giving me an extra point over large buildings. So far I'm starting out with a lot of clean water guns, ammo stoves. Like, where's the unholy juggernaut type thing hiding out? Why the heck can't you make a shield by default? It's beyond me. Yeah, like, I would have thought... Game seems to have everything. I'm surprised no. Oh, hello. Man, 
all of you guys that are in chat and now I'm like now I'm like getting all the bots coming in trying to make me famous trying to get me all the subscribers telling me all the secrets that fat zombie's still following me it is winter Bigfoot, read up once and it'll actually be hard to code up fields. That is so that is also semi-realistic. Fair enough. Oh, two of them are following me. Perfect. Perfect. That Kraken did that Kraken live in the end? Maybe. Kraken is around. Maybe I can duke him with the... Alright. How about you two fight? Yeah? Yeah. See? All good. Now the Graken is following me. Why is the Graken following me? Wait, that's not a Graken, is it? Yeah, the Graken wants a piece of me. Okay. Kind of thought that I would... Uh... Duke it. <laughs> right, so let's zoom in. Yeah, this Graken that I kind of thought that would be fine. This is some form of eldritch monstrosity. Monstrosity. An uncouth black being with smooth oily skin and an unpleasant horns that curve inwards towards each other. Tail and thin and shadows cling unnaturally to its vaguely defined humanoid form as it shuffles along. Its hands twitch and spasm rapidly as it appears a little more than a black blur of claws. Gazing upon its disturbed form fills you with an unspeakable terror. Um, I would like to not fight you. Can you leave me alone? How about we just go to run mode? Yeah, how about you leave me alone, dude? Yep, you're gonna get tired. And we'll go back to walking. And swiftly to enemies. No enemies. Okay. That's not too bad. We're just gonna trundle along. Man, that noise is annoying. Uh, right, well we made it home, which was totally my goal. I'm apparently very hot. Apparently it's very warm outside in the middle of the day. So my goal of going to the radio tower ended in... in... Spectacular failure, apparently. But hey. Could be worse. Could be worse. Right. Let's wait until we've rested. Because that's going to get annoying, otherwise. Cool. You finish waiting and feel refreshed. Um, I'm thinking, hmm, what am I thinking? I'm thinking, I don't think cutting through would do us any favours though. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. Do we have anything we want to drop off? Yeah, we have a bunch of things. D drop. Okay, so we want to drop the harmonica. Wait, actually, I want to test something. Inventory. Harmonica. Activate. You need to hold or wear the harmonica with a holder to play. Okay. Harmonica. Wear. You can't wear that with other headgear. Okay, game. 
So I'm going to take off the... And I'm then going to find my harmonica. No, I don't want to compare. What? Activate. You need to, yeah, 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 yeah. Where? Go over to the harmonica, because I imagine I'm wearing like some sort of harmonica harness over my mouth, which is weird. Activate. You start playing the harmonica. So if I now go to my focus, which is 29. So I'm very loud. I'm making 10 sound, which is not great. But if I go into the basement for a second. Down into the bowels of hell. And maybe sit in this corner for a little bit. And then... Nope. Wait a while. So if we wait an hour while playing the harmonica, look at them chipping along. And then go V. Hmm. So my focus went up. Uh, it looks into because it seems simple. I understand that having code in left and right hand for wielding, but for wearing it's simple. Oh my goodness. They keep giving me good stuff. I don't know if it's lucky roll or work. I'm about to squash my ass. Also, I wish there was smart enough code in two separate hands. Yeah. Use that luck. Don't fuck it all up like me. Alright. So I'm a little bit peckish. It sounds like there's something awful around. I think that's just the fact that we're underground. Maybe the dude likes me playing music. Or maybe he absolutely hates it. I don't know. I would imagine he'd hate it. Can you imagine being trapped in a uh, evacuation shelter and there's just one dude in the corner playing harmonica? Well, that's me. That's me. Right. Let's have a look. Uh, matchbox. Do I want to keep playing the harmonica? Keeping up the morale in the, in the... Hell yeah. Um. So, I think the last thing I'm going to do is, like, make a beeline for the shelter, I think. Is that the last thing I'm going to do? Maybe. Um. Give me a second. I just need to click around a little bit. Yeah. All good, all good. Go here, go to the channel. Uh, oh no, where did you guys go? There you are. Um, yeah. So I think I should stop playing the harmonica. Soon, soon. Wait another hour. Apparently you guys saying getting my focus up is very important. I'm very hot. Hey, we'll just go downstairs. It's nice and cool down here. In this weird... So it's... It's almost 2pm. Maybe I'll wait one more hour and get my focus a little bit higher. Yeah. I'm hoping it goes up there. Yeah, look at it go. Shoes up playing this harmonica. You finished waiting. Okay. So I'm about. So my negative morale is now 31. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. 
Sorry, I'm very distracted because I'm just reading something about what I want to do. Let's have a look. Okay, so yeah. Probably going to stop playing the harmonica now and head out. Um, because why not? Because why not? So let's see. Let's drop the harmonica. Maybe I'll go for another hour. I think. I think it's also helping. Maybe another two hours. I think it's also helping. I'm hungry. I think it's also helping with the. Uh, very hungry. Okay, and I'm upset. So maybe I should. S okay, let's drop all the way down to twenty-seven, and apparently I'm less bothered by it by one point. So we'll go grab. I think I've got food on me. Yeah, okay. So we'll eat some pineapples. No, we want to cook the cook plastic. No, oranges. Yes, eat the orange. Eat. Uh, capital E to consume. We will eat some pineapple. We're full. I ate way too much. Why would you buff melee when it... Omega... Omega scent. Yeah. Interesting name. Interesting name. Uh, so we'll just head. No. Up. And. Uh, oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> now my emote thing is broken. Uh, thank you. Wait, no. Thank you. Oh, okay. It's anonymous. I was... Oh, God, it's breaking. I've not had anyone gift multiple before. But that's cool. That's cool. Thank you very much, anonymous person, to gifting to... Uh, Dance Streaker, uh, ex Existence Streaker, sorry, Existence, Dobanova, and Rock W. Joe. I mean, yeah. Cool, cool. Thank you very much. Nice. 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 I thought that worked by, like, like when people gift, like, to the channel. I thought that worked like it went to the most talkative people in. I guess that's not how it works. I guess it's just like a bag and it just like shoots them out. Anyway, sorry. I'm going to go to Jeden. Thank you, Anonymous. When When's... Ah, oh, Sobernova. Look at that. Look at your lovely little bee. Alright. Anyway. Uh, I am now one emote away from... One subscriber away from an extra emote slot. That's That's awesome. I very much appreciate it. Sorry, I uh, don't usually get subscribers, so when it happens, I'm a little bit taken aback. Um, anyway, I want to drop some of these things that I'm not using. Uh, cap no, normal D. I want to drop this, 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 and this. Just because why not? Um, oh, I realized why my announcements haven't been being displayed because they're lower than the game on the game page i was wondering why people when you guys have been following and subbing i haven't been able to see it on my obs and i just found out why because i didn't layer it properly because i'm an idiot but hey you live and you learn just like playing cataclysm right anyway uh, crowbar i probably need the crowbar won't i if i'm going down 
Maybe, maybe not. The crow... Do I need to be, like, a certain strength with the crowbar for it to work? Like, am I too weak? Because I keep going up to doors trying to use the crowbar and it keeps saying that you can't get the door open. Or is that just because the doors are too secure? Like, maybe I'm thinking crowbars work differently, but I would have thought with a crowbar I could just go up to a door and just, like, done. Like, pop it open. Um... I don't know, you tell me there. Because, yeah, that's what I was thinking would happen. I don't know. There's a hat outside because I dropped it for the harmonica, which I'm still playing. So, probably going to drop the harmonica. Um, yeah, harmonica. Right, harmonica, activate, drop. Sorry, dude, I know you like playing your harmonica, but it's now on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. Right. I don't know, I don't know. Did I just disable chat or something? Where did you guys go? Man. You get three subs and everyone disappears. Um, pair of winter boots. Maybe I shouldn't be wearing winter boots. And maybe the motorcycle armor is a bit too much. Just because, like... I don't need to be carrying this money. But then again, you never know when you're going to find a vending machine. I still have in-progress clean water on me. How weird. Uh, inventory, in progress, clean water. Store in inventory. You're doing great, son. You no longer have a nearby fire and you can't continue crafting. Okay. Still alive despite my dumb. Hey, your advice has been great. Uh, in progress, clean water, 4%. Can I go into it and drop it? Drop it onto the grass. Okay. A little bit weird that. That just says that the in progress, clean water. I don't know if I can pick that up now or I've completely screwed the pooch. As in, my, oh, hey, hey, we both wanted this, I didn't want to activate the baseball bat, I wanted to wield it. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm peckish, but that's fine. I mean, dumb advice would be telling me that it's a good idea to go through the forest, which none of you have done, but I'm probably going to do. I haven't read that book. Read. Okay. Can you get your tailoring skill to three? Um, requires intelligence of four, which I have. A chapter of this book. This book contains 45 crafting, a pair of hard... Oh, wow. Look at that. Uh, and I will enjoy reading it. No, I... Yeah. No, I won't care. So I'm going to read until I get to level one on that. Because it will also... In but it will lower my focus. Which... Uh... I am omnivore was saying is very important. So maybe I shouldn't do this. And now it's night time because apparently I'm crap at reading. Which is just like me in real life. Damn it, Gary Barlow. Me and Gary Barlow, way too similar. We both have impeccable talents when it comes to singing. Right. Anyway. I would imagine it's a terrible idea. I'm going to have some pineapple. Probably do shift E and eat from this menu because it seems a lot better. Uh... Right. I'm fine. I feel... I feel strong-ish. 
but um yeah i also feel that maybe it's a dumb idea but i'm thinking that we beeline it or we go round i'm guessing the marshes are worse than or the swamps are worse than normal forest we loop around and get hit the road and then we kind of have a look in this evac shelter here and then we head down to the radio ta tower i'm thinking that'll be our goal like our last thing for the evening and then we hit the radio tower maybe settle there maybe not i've still got this guy's mission but i'm not i'm not in a super strong place like i can handle one or two zombies but i'm not like i'm not like running in like rambo and like smashing everyone's heads in so let's get as empty as we can only take the essentials uh let's do capital d drop it there um i'm just really glad i feel i feel like you know when you like smart always cautious cautious is best yeah um you know when you like start something and you feel like you're very slowly learning and then you get better and better well i feel i don't yeah it feels awesome okay i've got a, I'm, the fact that i've been able to we'll drop the barley seeds might keep the plastic bottles for now. I'm not using the elbow pads for some reason. Uh, medical gauze I don't need, even though it weighs nothing. Put potassium ionide. If, I, if I'm getting radio iodide, if I'm getting radio radiated, I'm being an idiot. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what I was just trying to say there, but I imagine it was something along the lines of it feels awesome the like how I'm picking up the game. Uh, I don't want to drop that. But I do want to drop those. And then I want to go into my inventory and I want to wear those. Your left arm is very encumbered. Your right arm is very encumbered. Range combat will be hampered. By how much? Is that V? No, that is at... Uh, uh, arms. Arms. 51. Plus two, 41. The best part, the feeling goes on and on and on. It's incredible. Still getting it in powerful doses. Didn't even feel bad about having to restart. Cool, cool. I mean, I've been feeling that. I've been playing Noiter a lot at the moment as well. And everything I've been discovering in Noiter. But the more I discover in Noiter, the less there seems to be to discover. Not the... And the fact that I play with like Twitch integration means that Twitch chat kills me a lot. Which is fun, but also, you know, dying when you're on an awesome run, because... Yeah. So my dodge is down 10%, roundabout. My melee attack rolls are down 80%. My arm encumbrance is 41. And my legs are... I've got armor on my arms and legs, you see. And I've got the... my chest... Too good. Right, let's cut through. Restarts do be fun. Is that... Do you get restarts when you play on Experimental? Or... Yeah. Okay, you guys are my scouts. If you see anything bad that I don't recognise as bad, even though the game will tell me, then you tell me to run? Just spam run in chat. Am I running still, by the way? No, I should be walking. I'm slaked. I'm a bit peckish. I'm warm. It's nine o'clock at night. I can't get through this way. That's fine. I'm hoping the woodlands opens up a little bit. I guess not. The map is very much interesting. Always watch that stamina. The great equalizer. Okay. So, how bad can the things in the forest that I could run into be? Like, on a scale of one to dead. Like, how dumb is what I'm doing now? Like, I feel like... I'm aware of one thing that lives in the forest. Which is the Jabberwock. 
which I know if I run into a Jabberwock, I'll probably die almost immediately. Uh, I'm not seeing much around, which is nice. Uh, probably knows that better than myself. My best experience is trapped inside a very large building. <laughs> I mean, you got to start somewhere. All right, let's keep going, creeping along. Creeping along. I'm hoping that wasn't you, Mibs, by the way, that donated those gift subs. You've done way too many already. Way too many. Okay, there's a bunch of sticks here, which makes me nervous. Uh, I've got to keep heading down. What the hell is that? A newspaper rag. Okay. Page, rag, whatever. So let's examine the newspaper, because I like reading these. Portals. Reports of shimmering gateways opening around the US have been corroborated by our own reporting staff. One reporter witnessed a creature the size of an apartment building taking a direct hit from an Apache helicopter. Weaponry and continuing to fight. Government officials could not be reached for comment. But a local pastor spoke to our reporter in the field. There can be no longer any doubt she was quoted as saying. These are the end times. I mean, that's scary. I don't want to fight things the size of buildings. I didn't even know there were things the size of buildings in this game. But I guess I'll avoid that. All right. Seems like the world... Okay, I'm walking into the swamp, I've just realised. I don't want to walk into the swamp. But I usually run five tiles, walk two, etc. if I'm trying to run away. Okay, good to know. Just keep going. Moving... Okay, I'm past the swamp, so now I can keep going to the right. I mean, the swamp probably has less trees in it. I, f I feel like I'm tempting fate awfully by doing this. That'll be the swamp. Really step into Raspberry Rush? No. No. I do recommend you do that. Just run if things get hairy. Don't let stamina get below two bars. Okay. So if I'm running and they get below two bars, is that like... I guess that's like you're getting like damagingly tired to yourself. When it's red, it's already too late. Good to know, good to know. Is that... Is that? Do you mean it's red, and then if I get pulled into combat, I'm just I'm just gone? But what if it's red, but I get away? Is that all right, or is that just still too dangerous? Oh, another newspaper. We can find out what happened, guys. I'm liking the law. Your bug out bag. In this issue, we focus on tips and tricks to packing your bug out bag. Whether you're near an urban center or in a small town, if you aren't. If you don't already have an emergency kit, you need one while supplies are still available. Don't be the one person caught without a lighter when you need a fire. Okay. Hmm. As long as you get away, you're good. Just survive. I climb to roofs to get stamina and cities. That makes sense. That does make sense. Where am I? I'm very close to the road, comparatively to where I've come from. And we haven't seen any dangers. We haven't seen any dangers. I feel like I'm tempting fate. Horribly tempting fate. But hey. 
Fate seems to be on our side still. I'm like four tiles away. It is something I don't see at the moment. It is a long rock. Oh, it's just rubble. Oh, it's rubble. Is rubble that? Nah, it'd be fine. There's rubble in the wild. There's rubble everywhere. There's Fred rubble. No. Barney rubble. That was it. Rubbly rubbly roo. He's coming for you. Am I through? Almost. I'm so close. We almost made it, guys. We're so close to the road now. And we didn't get horribly attacked. Parkour expert plus indefegible plus fleet footed helps a lot. Definitely not needed, but I like to have a few safety nets. I know I know that CBMs are a thing. I would like to test experiment with CBMs. Though I hear installing them is like an art of pain. Right, we're on the road. That's good. Zoom out. Right, well we we did it. We can see nothing. That's fine. Please. Just get to the evac shelter. It'll be fine. Maybe we'll sleep in this evac shelter so we can wait till day. How? Okay. This is the graffitied one, which means... It's not in the worst condition in the world, but it's not... Okay, this one looks worse than the other one. And there is some wreckage and syringe. It looks like they were some people were using it as like a a drunk a drug den before the apocalypse. Looks look for young trees to smash to get stout branches for spears. Okay, I will keep an eye out for that soon. Okay, smashed windows, smashed windows, all good. What are these? Okay, they're like smashed lockers. Okay. Someone smashed into the roof. So we could sleep on the roof. Is syringe a good thing to take? Maybe I'll take it for now. Maybe we'll find some like mutagen serum and inject ourselves with it. Uh, no, that's eating. Pick it up, it weighs nothing. I know. Tell me about it. These knapsacks or whatever I'm using have not been great. Have not been great at all. I have seven. Everything, everything I've been, all my, all my storage has been built. I've, I, the most I saw was a purse. Okay, I can take some protein rack. Rations and glass. Oh, I love a bit, good bit of glass. You're doing great with those crap bats. Yeah. I'm pushing them as hard as I can. They are encumbering me quite a lot as well. Also, me picking up all of the rations is also doing it. I don't want anything else. Alright. Anything else? Good. Are they all empty? They look all empty. And there's only one computer. And no downstairs. Weird. I've not seen a lab where it, there's no downstairs. You can't go down. I can go up. Though. Okay. So you said that this makes my map vision go better. Oh, okay. Apparently I've been on that other roof over I guess because it's night time. So, yeah. Is there anything in this place? Or is it just completely useless? Uh, I was hoping for an evac, like, blanket or something. But I guess not. Okay. 
Well, I guess... I guess I'm going to sleep upstairs. You said it was pound sign. I'm not even tired. That's the annoying thing. Cursed wit. There is a basement behind that door. Ah, okay, thank you. I want to know... Um, I'm in it now. We'll find out the hard way and get back to it. So. A wonderful suffering evening. Are you off now, Jedem? Or are you talking to... I am Omnibus. So there's... Oh! Thank you, Cursed Wit. Look at that! Look at that! Maybe there's some better stuff back here. Uh, more rations. Copper, a candle. More rations. He's doing winter. Ooh. I don't even think I'm going to be alive long enough for winter. Let's take that. I don't really want an empty bottle at the moment. I probably should take it, but I don't want it. Apparently that bottle, the bottle sprite shot up. Um, and I want... I think I'm going to take the candle. And then... Any tailoring books. I found one. I still have it on me. For some reason, I didn't dro drop it. Uh, but I think I need to be... Uh, it's too dark to read, yeah. I think I need to be at least level... Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I need, might need to craft my backpack. Maybe there's one right through this door. Okay, maybe not. I swear I just had a zombie. But it didn't indicate there was any sound around me. Ooh, first aid kit could be good. And another first aid kit. Okay, and some paper. Up to f level 3 tailoring is easy. Easy! And nothing in the bottom one. Okay. So let's, have, let's peek our head out. Anyone around? No. Literally no items either. So there's that. So I want to try something. Uh, I'll do. I don't want to burn the place down, but I do want to take the candle. Activate the candle. You light the candle, and then I want to. Drop the candle? Okay, so there's a nice candle there. What the hell is this instant crafting? I got way too used to the game calculating 500 runs while I do things. Right. Uh, and then I want to finish reading my boxing book. Read until I got the level. Apparently, reading by candlelight is bad for you. Your unarmed combat has increased to level one. Apparently, I shouldn't... And I can't... Apparently, the sewing book won't give me anything. Hmm. Difficult to read fine details right now. But difficult. To, so maybe I should... Stop. How do I stop? Stop. I command you, stop. Okay, I can't stop, apparently. I'm stuck now. I'm stuck reading. A fate worse than death. Your turns ever start chugging, even when it should be fast forward. You are near lots of Zeds nearby. Good to know. So, I can't stop reading. So, I'm doomed to read until he... My character decides reading is no longer what I want to do. Is there a cancel read button? I don't... Five stops reading. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you again, Cursed Wit. That was embarrassing. I'm pretty sure I didn't do a very good job reading there. Uh, I'm going to take... 
the pineapple and all right, I'm going to go back and the back and go to the eat menu and eat from the eat menu because it's a lot better. And then I'm going to drink some more water. I'm running out of water pretty fast. Still incredibly thirsty. Still incredibly thirsty. I'm engorged and thirsty. That's not great. I'm tired. It's 4.53 p.m. What? Did I just read for a whole day? I think I messed up. I think I... Messed up? Yeah, I messed up. I like read... I just read that can like by candlelight the whole day. Not great. <laughs> not gonna lie, not great. I guess what happened there was he just was so engrossed in his book, he was like, I'm gonna keep on reading. Just can't put... Still learning that, <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm sated, which is good. I'm thirsty and tired, though. So how far away is the radio tower? Just to the left here. I can't see any enemies. I'm scouting the building over. Cool. How about we go around? Uh, there's a cougar there. Aware of my presence. I don't think he cares. He's ignoring me. Okay. Is there anything else nearby? A chipmunk and a giant fly. Ugh. Where is the... I want to have a look, quick look at the giant fly. Okay. It's literally just a giant fly. Oh. There's a naughty magazine in there. And lots of Coca-Cola. Transporting the circuit. MP3 player. Hell yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna... I don't know if I want to break the fence down or climb it. I know, GDM, you were saying that it, there's some value in the wiring. No. Oh, it's open. Oh, oh, add Nivim Lol. Hey, Goldblum. Is that you? Oh, oh, the giant fly, yeah. That's some imagery and a half right there. Oh, I've got a little garden area as well. So, I've got a dust mask, a hard hat, a pair of rubber gloves, steel toed boots. Pair of wielding goggles, work pants, wielding goggles. Didn't you say they were rare, Jeden? Um, why did you say rip as if I'm about to die? Tool belt, a different tool belt. And we've got a outdoor adventures. So I think that's survival improvement. That cougar seems to be getting a bit pissed off at me. Um, right, I'm going to grab... No, oh, that's capital E. Get item. Oh, a glossy magazine about surviving and hunting in the wilderness. There is an exciting article about a bear attack in the back pages. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. I like bears. So give it a quick read. 
I know there's a read menu that I should be using. Uh, can get my survival skill to level one. Requires intelligence of five. Easily read. Reading this book affects your morale by two. A chapter of this book takes eight minutes to read. This book contains 19 pages of crafting recipes. Bird shot. Black powder. Black powder. Dragon's breath shell. Black powder. Shotgun slot. Black powder. Lots of black powder. OO shots, black powder, scrap load, signal trace, cattail jelly. That's good because I didn't have anything to do with my cattails. Fish bait, fishing rod, hobo stove. I think the hobo stove is very good. I might be wrong about that. Dandelion tea, chicory brew, pine needle tea, tea, copper, copper axe, stone axe, grappling hook. These things seem good. Maybe I'm, I'm wrong, but these things seem good. I'm not going to read it just yet. I am going to take it. Why? Did that tell me how to make rifles? Or are you... Mm. Oh, give... they did give me rifles. Ah, I see. I was like, rifles? Already? Right. Grab the... Let's grab the Naughty Magazine. We got four Playboys. Just for fun. It can be understood by beginners. Oh, that's good. Can make guns, kind of. Yeah. Uh, let's try instead. Get items. Oh, I'll take the lighter. And the dark cola. And then I want to see what's... RC controller. I don't know if these things are important. A remote control for RC cars. With joystick for steering the car. Colourful buttons that don't seem to do anything. Perhaps they were for the Deluxe model. Uh, yeah. Can make an RCXD. What the hell is an RCXD? So they do evolve, eh? Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds awful. And apparently Softbot would like to clap it. Um, I have to think it's... So we'll go there and we'll loot down there. Get items. We'll take the USB drive. I don't know why. Uh, we will E-examine straight down. That is a radio control. An RC with C4 on it. Uh, uh, it's good to know that a C4 in the game. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to take examine where dust dust mask I don't know if I want to wear work, work gloves I know I want to take the heart of the tool belt and I'm hoping the tool this tool belt works there isn't a horror around every corner wielding gobbles please And so let's try putting the where is it? Tool belt. Uh, where your your torso is very encumbered. Okay, but can you? You don't have any modified tools. Okay, so maybe I go in and I... I think you said that I activate the tool belt. You don't have any... Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to, like, dump the tool belt here, then. Because it's still not doing me any favours. So it's warm outside. It's bright. Okay, that's fine. I'm tired and I'm full. And we are going to climb. Oh god. I didn't know what I was looking at at first. Oh god. How weird tall is this? Oh my god. Oh. 
so I look at the map and I see... How do I toggle go up, go down? Okay. That's up, I think. So... Need M4 to get M4 smart. Okay, I can see a lot now. There is a huge field out here. This town is... These towns, man. These towns. What the hell's Q? A plantation. An empty residential lot. Northeast from... Okay, so there's some houses down here. This is actually a really good location. Because... There's like a bunch of buildings nearby and it's like... There's like a lot of stuff going on. But hey, hey. Anything else going on? No. Nah. Nah. So you're doing a well, winter start. I am omnivore. That sounds awful. Winter's the death month. The death, death season, I should say. That's where things die. Gives you an idea of where to head. And yeah, your view is giving you tons of information here. It gives you an idea of where to head. Lol. We're going to find out. If you find binoculars, it'll show you a lot more. I've got binoculars. Uh I had binoculars. I think I left them in my inventory. I didn't I don't remember dropping them. Maybe I did drop them. That doesn't make sense though. They'd be in tools, wouldn't they? Or would I I didn't wear them. Yeah, maybe not. I heard that binoculars improve your vision just just from your like inventory. You don't actually need to wield them. Like you just keep them in your bag and then they're I swear I had a b binoculars. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe I'll move around a little bit, see if I can Poke my head along a little bit more. So there's a also up in town, there's like a huge what is this? A building? Apartment tower block. Just on the edge of town. So I must have either I didn't pick them up because they were in that building, you know, the one where I almost got swamped by zombies. Or um I left them in the evac shelter, which would be quite annoying. But hey, it's not the end of the world. Are there any stop signs in the game? <laughs> There's no stopping. Can't stop me. Would love to make rough style stop signs armor. Oh, I see what you're saying. Isn't that like survivor's gear? Wouldn't that be the closest thing to that? What's the P? The red P looks scary. It is... Private park. Okay. Oh, the place is called Carol Plantation. I thought there was a plantation nearby. I'm dumb. All right, anyway. Devs don't like survival gear, apparently. Yeah. Too strong. I mean... Even in game, I'm like, I don't like height. So even in game, I was super nervous. Um, yeah. Too strong. I When I was watching someone play through the game, they definitely had a survival gear. Um, I don't know if I want to sleep up there. Maybe we go check out this. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine I was doing that. I do not like heights. I can just imagine being that high that you can see two towns over. Well, a town over. Clench those cheeks. I get that in Noita when it's like a hundred bombs get dropped by enemies. Spotted fat zombie. Okay, it was too nice to last, I guess. Just one fat zombie on the street. So if I remember... Okay, so let's ignore. Move over to the side. 
put our... Maybe I should leave it here. Swedish torture sim. Yeah. Um. Right. Let's have a look. Let us have a look. I should br uh, drop my bags. So the problem when I've been dropping my bags is all, everything in my bag just pours out. Oops, don't do that. And drop all of these items. So I want to drop the makeshift slings. Wish I could find a katana in a random house. Like, So I'll show you. Um, I'm gonna... Is it because I need to drop the items as well? Or does it calculate that if I drop the bags, it will drop the items for me? That's why they did the whole nested inventory update. Because it... I'm hoping all these items are stored in these bags. Because I need to drop these now to fight this zombie. So if I hit enter... And now my inventory is... Nothing. Okay. So I'm going to go fight this fat, fat zombie. So, GDM, you were saying I need to hit back off, hit back off. Is a good strategy. Medium boulder, that's too big. He's not going to care. Never found a playboy, yeah. Well, you know my dude, he just loves his playboy. But the fat zombie, yep, I'm well aware of the fat zombie. Come on, dude. Let's hang out. Chill out. Try oh, I thought you, I thought, oh, the reason I picked them up was because I was like, maybe it'll make my guy feel better. I did not realize you could not read them. Fair enough. I guess I'll just drop it. This isn't Metal Gear Solid. I can't drop it to distract the enemies. Okay, so I'll hit him and then I'll back off. You can at night. Hmm. And then back off. Oh, he tried... Oh, okay. Wait. Hit. Back off. Hit. Back off. Hit. Back off. Hit. There we go. That kind of worked. I don't know if that was better or worse. And then E... F... Smash. That felt alright though. That felt alright. Hulk corpse with a fat... I've got a smartphone with a UPS. Yeah. Is that good? Game watch. Permanent marker. Fanny pack with pebble stink shot. I wish one of these zombies had a bag, by the way. I want the mobile phone. Don't know what the, that does, but hopefully it's good. Universal positioning system. So there's a... What is that? A moonshine still out there in the distance. Okay. This river is huge, by the way. Or if it's a or if it's a lake or a sea, it's massive. Absolutely massive. I cannot see across it. With with drunk master, that's a lifesaver. I guess and that's a perk. So I want to what's the dollar sign? Dollar store. I guess that makes sense. I want to keep heading on. I'm hoping that's the only zombie we see. I doubt it's the only zombie we see. Tough zombie. Okay, well, I'm not fighting him. <laughs> don't ignore enemy. I don't know why I said that. Okay, so he's all the way down there. Maybe I can avoid... 
moving into long grass, which seems to make me slow. Spotted a fat zombie. My god. Still hasn't seen me. We're just going to go to this shack, apparently. I was hoping to find a... Spotted a moose. Uh-oh. I've been warned about moose. Meese. He's neutral. Just chilling. An eastern moose, the largest living species of deer. While they aren't aggressive unless angered, the mating season can make the bulls quite ill tempered. Wow. Well then. Uh, I'm just going to move past. He's very far away. Spotted another moose. Probably the same one. Half these doors are boarded up. Nails. Okay. Leave the moose alone. Okay. Don't get my moosey ass kicked. They did change moose, but damn, they used to be terrifying. Yeah, I... I heard that they used to be, like, murder units that were just, con like... With very... If they ever got attacked at all at any time, they become angered. So... If, if something tiny hit them, like a rat or something, they just become angered. I yeah. The the I I did it interpret it like a very meme -y thing, but still. I, I'm I'm wary of the of the moose, the meese, the mice. This building is huge. What is this? It said it was a house. M. It is a house. These are two giant houses. I want to get closer, but I don't want to get zombied. Spotted brainless zombie. I don't care about him. Spotted zombie cop. Many Avenger ended by grim cowl of moose. Meese. Mice. So where's the cop? So I've got to deal with the zombie who's seen me. Zombie cop who has not seen me. Brain the zombie who won't see me. And the zombie swimmer. How many... How much is around? Like... Can you examine cars from afar or do you have to be next to them? That is my next question. I was going through one fight with one character, one of my first characters, and Tosca beat me to it and just stomped that tough. Right, I'm going to back off. Let's back off. I do not want to get my ass kicked. I don't know if they're still following me. I am still tired. So what is this? A drain pipe? Wooden privacy fence. Impassable. So I can't climb it. Is what you're telling me, right? You said I couldn't climb it, but you lied. Also, I've... Okay, maybe I couldn't climb it. I seem... I seem to have climbed in the worst possible point, which was between two adjoining points of fence. And now I'm hitting all the buttons. How do you climb? E. I go up to something and press E and it lets me climb. Whoa. This game. Yeah. I can read a children's book. Do you think that's good? Moving in the sandbox is slow. Spotted a decayed zombie. Where? Where are you, decayed zombie? He's destroying that car. Good for him. I'm going to do that. No, not that. 
do that and ignore him. Oh. Uh. Bot of culture. Raise the emotional support alarm. The alarm sound in this room from Gachi. Alright. Need a pipe. Lawnmower. Apparently they're good. Sewing kit. Okay, I know that's good. I don't know why you keep a sewing kit in a chest, but hey. Uh, yeah, I'll take the sewing kit. No, that's not how you take things. Oh, my, my inventory can't take it because I've left my bags. Because I was just scouting out. So that's bad. We have to drop something. What weighs anything? How about we eat a pear? We'll just eat a pear. There we go. The pear was probably incredibly heavy. I can't imagine a pear being any more or less than a sewing kit. Yeah, there we go. The pear. I know there's a way you can do notes with the map, but I don't know too much about it. Okay, I've got to be very careful. Very careful. Spotted a zombie. As a, zomb a zombie has spotted me. Okay. Spotted decayed zombie. So now we're just gonna jump over the fence. And we're through. And we're gone. Press N to and write stuff. Okay. Cool. I like notes, especially of houses that have crap loads of loot that I need. So, spotted moose. Yep, that moose is back. So I've just explored these three buildings, but maybe this cul-de-sac is even better. Cul-de-sac. There is a L O L M O E shelter. Is that good? What's a loam shelter? Worst feeling is when you don't play for a while and you forget what you were doing. An L M O E shelter. What does that stand for? Can I open that up? Last man on earth. Is that good? Best shelter. Oh, okay. That is good. Huh. Hard to get into, but amazing. Okay. That's what you started in. Why would you ever leave? Thank you again. I love how Cursed Wit is like hanging out in the back, chilling, lurking, but pops out every now and again to give me some good advice. I appreciate that. Appreciate the popper. What a zombie. Okay, that's not so good. True, uh, I'd never leave. Yeah, I mean, if you make a, a shelter that designed from the sound... Okay, I'm hitting the wrong buttons now. Designed for you to like live out your days in... Post-apocalypse. Why would you not? Moving through this grass is long. I've got to remember my bags are on the road. My bags are on the road. Map. Okay, I'm in between the houses. That's fine. Uh, there is a corpse of a human. I'm not going to butcher this corpse. Oatmeal. Just all the oatmeal. Don't you even need seeds? Leather belt, t-shirt, compression shorts. Balaclava. I don't think I want any of that there. You don't need to butcher human corpses, do you? No, you wouldn't, because if you did, then... Do you need to smash human corpses? Can they turn into zombies as well? Or is that not a thing? Oh yeah, I wanted to check my... Okay, I'm no longer... Okay, 
Thank cool. Good to know. I'm no longer upset about the fact that I had a corpse that I... Alright, Mibs. I got three anonymous gifters, uh, gift subs. I hope that wasn't you, Mibs. Uh, but someone slammed in some gift subs. I'm now one away from another remote. Awesome. Your curse has ended, Jaden. I can... Not you. Perfect. Don't worry. Love to clap a curse. Yeah, we're all, we're one down, one away now. One away. I'm not sure the guilt went on and on. It, it was just never ending. I kept every time I'd look at my uh, morale menu, I would just be reminded by Jedem. Be like, that was Jedem right there. He goaded me. I, I don't have personal control. Spotted fat zombie. Where are you, fat zombie? You're there, and you've seen me, which is not good, because you're going to smash through the window. I guess I'm too cool and edgy to care. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure if I have to have 15 people sub in one month, or if it's 15 people sub in total. I hope it's in total, because otherwise, when the month runs out, then I'll have to get more people to sub to get another sub. I don't know how it works. Twitch is weird. Twitch is weird. Zombie child, brass knuckles. Ooh. Right. I want to ignore the enemy for now. He's going to come for me. And I will hear a horrible smashing sound. And he should have lost me. I can still see the fat zombie. I've lost the fat zombie. There are two mounds ahead of me for some reason. I don't see any mounds. Wait, what the hell are these? These are the mounds. They are chipmunks. Okay, that's what the dots are on the right. Okay. Yeah, I I will say the reminder once, but I hate saying this reminder. If you do have Amazon Prime, you can do a Twitch Prime sub for free, even though you're paying for a service, so technically it's not free at all. But yeah, I'll get into that one. Um, and yeah, that's the end of this desig de designated um, sponsored section. It was about 10 seconds long. It was just as painful for me as it was for you guys, but it's over now. Amazon is not the best thing in the world, especially if you work for Amazon. But hey, we won't get into that. It's not on an Amazon platform, eh? All right. What is going on? Spotted decayed zombie. Where? That's an item. That's the fat zombie that I ignored, and then because I ignored him, he's now coming for me. Okay. Probably gonna have to fight this dude. That's fine. We're gonna back off. And find some rocks, or a shrub, or something. Fun times. Uh, zoom out. Z with Z. Oh, there's a bunch of rocks up there. We'll head up there. Got to remember, I have no storage still, so I've got to remember that one. Something I do like, I don't mind reminding people because it's completely free, is if you want to follow the channel, if you've been enjoying, you can be like Gdom or I am Omniverse. I'm just going to call you Verse. Oh, no, Vor. I'm going to call you Vor. And Sober Nova, who got a gift sub, which was awesome. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. Come on, fat zombie. Come and fight me. Distract me. Kill me. Make it fun. Mumvor, for sure. Probably not Vor. Oh, yeah. Vor means the bad thing. Mibs told me about Vor. Mibs en enjoys Vor, apparently. Don't you, Mibs? She's all into that weird thing. Mumvor. No, it, would it be worse or better if it's Mumble? I don't. That is false. <laughs> oh no. I oh yeah. I've got to stop hitting the button. Come on, you fat ass. Depends if it's American Mum. Could be worse. 
Right. He's really slow. Okay. So you hit once, and then apparently back off. And then you wait. Then you hit once. Then you back off. Then you wait. Then you hit once. No to win. Soon trees equals low. My mates call me dickhead. I mean, that is a name. You hit once. No, I accidentally waited there. And then you back off. And then you wait. And then you wait. You hit once. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. Wait. Wait. Hit once. Back off. Back off. Back off. Wait. Wait. Hit once. Dead. Okay. Friends aren't friends if they aren't a little mean to you once in a while. They used to be... <laughs> S smash. Saving the game. Paperwork wrapper with chewing tobacco. Mm, probably don't want that. Matchbook could be good. Cash card. Yeah, okay. Okay. Panties. Mm. Okay. Oh, apparently the auto mod hated the word... Those words. Oh, there you go. I don't know what any of those words mean, but apparently they're offensive to the bot. The auto bot. Matchbook. Was he holding another smartphone? Okay. I didn't see that on the list. I'll take those two and then I will hit you. Huh. Bet bitch, basically, I think. Ah. Okay, apparently Twitch just hates... I mean, apparent. Yes, is that... It, it says it's on the floor, but I don't think it is. You pick up the smartphone. Apparently it was. Um, now I have two smartphones on me, right? Yeah. So I want to... Activate. I guess I can't empty the batteries on it. Apparently, the bot now hurts the word that. What? <laughs> yeah, that's how you pronounce kayak. Or like, like the boat. So, yeah, the bot yesterday hated the word bish. B I S H. I guess it was because I. Summarized, it's because little kids try and get around saying bitch by saying bish. But yeah, that was a bit weird. Oh, good old bot. It's the, it's not, it's not a uh, soft bot, it's uh, the auto mod. Yeah, appar apparently none of this is being flagged up, g -dum. Apparently it was just that one word it really hated, fat zombie. Is there another fat zombie? Yes, and he's seen me again. Ah, oh, okay. And he's uninjured. I swear I was going to the last man on our shelter. I am. I am. Auto mod is some word that not being none of this is being flagged up with their naughty word. Spotted fat zombie again. And hit the wrong buttons. Right, and then we'll do some... Waiting? Wait, now we'll head up to our... Zombie choke point, apparently. Yeah, I doubt the bot knows Hungarian. Yeah, there's no, there's no Hungarian Twitch. Apparently the zombie lost me. Yeah, he lost me. Okay, what's he going to do now? I can't wait by looking at him. Okay. He's just going to kind of meander around. That's fine. I guess I'll just leave him be. Where are we? Okay, head straight down. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. There's not much going on now. From moving through the tough grass. 
spotted zombie. It is over there. All right, back to work, lurking but not typing. It's all good, Mibs. It's all good. You lurk away. You lurk away. Good luck, Mibs. See, we're all wishing you best. Enjoy. Enjoy as much as you can from work. Um, okay. I don't mind if the enemy comes. I mean, the enemy. The zombie. The enemy. Is that a graveyard down there? Uh-uh. So, let's examine the newspaper. The soldier of the future, at last. Military's latest pow powered inventory exoskeleton has been released for widespread non-testing use. Although numbers are still very limited, official sources say that within two years, every infantry unit will have access to two powered exoskeletons for heavy operations. Within five, light exoskeletons will be the standard issue armor for the US ground forces. This is going to put our military so far ahead of the rest of the world, it's like we have guns while they have spears, General Alex Findlay said in a press release. The new armor is powered by proprietary full cells developed by the military and hope to be ready for civilian distribution between the next few years. That seems like a terrible thing to give the wider pop population. Like an utterly, utterly terrible... Yeah, there is definitely a graveyard there. Probably avoid that. Yes, exoskeletons for everyone. Hey, guys. How about some robot legs? Every American gets one. Two, apparently. And a light one. Where are you? I know. Spotted zombie. Can you stop spotting the zombie? Okay, there's two zombies. That's why. Okay. That's fine. Zombies are scary. We don't like zombies. Still don't like zombies. How many zombies are we... Oh, okay. Okay. There is one, two... Okay, there's like six, six. Six enemies over there. Okay, well, that's not great. Just going to back away. I uh, spotted firefighter zombie. Sounds great. Let me guess. He hasn't seen me. A decaying human body clad in tattered firefighting gear. It staggers aimlessly, reeking of smoke and decay. Oh, just sounds like a heavy chain smoker. So I feel like what I'm doing is slightly dangerous. But a tough zombie. Where is the tough zombie? Tough zombie is like over there. Okay. Let's just back away from the zombies. But it's another tough zombie, or maybe the same tough zombie. So the last man on Earth shelter is apparently... Like... I don't understand where it is. It says it's like... Oh. Is it in that? I guess it is. Hmm. Okay. That was me thinking I was just going to find a building that I need to get into. Spotted zombie. Has the zombie spotted me? No. None of them have so far. They're kind of just meandering about. That's fine. Don't mind meandering the zombies. Uh, ignore the zombie. For good reason. I guess, yeah, that makes sense that it would be hidden in bushes and... Though, it does have, like, a sh shish kebab of zombies just hanging out. Chomping at the bit. Okay, there's a shotgun shell outside. That's always a good... ...sign. Okay, I've spotted a feral runner. Okay, I don't like the sound of that, so I'm gonna... Uh... How... This recently risen body moves quickly, darting its head back and forth and gnarling its at its hands. I don't think I want to fight that. I don't think I want to fight that at all. So I'm going to 
kind of back away from it. I think I'm out of range of its vision. I feel like what I'm doing right now is bad. No? Okay. Spotted zombie. And they probably now spotted me. Yes. They have. 100%. 1000%. That's not the worst thing if it's just the two of them. I could probably use that to my... God, okay. As you can see, I don't know if you can see if you're watching the right hand side, but you can see when I press wrong buttons a lot. Okay, there's three zombies chasing after me. Okay, that's less good. Um, yeah. Hey dudes, how about we don't chase me down? How about that, yeah? Less chasing after me, maybe? Okay, I'm losing them. Oh, there's a newspaper here. What does, it, what does this newspaper say? Unless I read it. They are not riots, according to head officials at the Centers of Disease Control. Functional MRI studies of rioters have fit all autopsy data that suggests these people are under the influence of some sort of mind-altering agent causing erratic, violent behavior. A source inside the CDC who did not wish to be named informed our reporter it's not just the rioters. They're the heaviest affected, but we've scanned our own brains and we found out it's everyone. It's in me and you and in the government, the military. God help us all. Lovely. Things got good. Okay, they can't see me anymore. Yeah, I'm enjoying the lore. I love the, I love the bits of newspapers dotted around. That's great. Very good. Uh, are they still coming? I imagine so. Okay, one's broken off, which is fine. I'm happy with that. And he's seen me, so I'm just going to wait. And then I'm going to look around very quickly. There's a shrub here and some rocks. I'll use the shrub and rocks to kind of... Good man actually taking the time to invest in it. But I mean, you know, that's, that, that's like the game. Like... You, the game, you can play a game and just like use it at surface level, but the more you like put yourself into the game, the more you can take out. And I love that with games. Good story investments. Um. Okay, is he still following or is he giving up? He is still following. I don't mind that though. He can come along. We have a nice little party. You coming? No, he's not coming. Yeah, now he is. Okay. Spotted zombie. Really? Spotted a zombie out here. Oh, I'm so surprised. Okay. Okay, let's back up. Let's back up. And we wait. That's the wrong button. You don't press that button to wait. You press that button to wait. Come on. Spotted zombie. I wish it would stop doing that. Come on. In. To the bush. And walk away. And wait. And... Oh wait. Wait. Hit him. Zombie tries to grab you, but you break the grab. Walk away. Walk down. Smash. Walk away. Okay, being grabbed. And I smashed him in the face. Was that as good for you as it was for me? Wait, wait. I, thought, I think I just saw a bag. Telescopic umbrella. Okay, no. I didn't see a bag. I saw a bag of potato chips. Oh, backpack. Filthy. Nice. Backpack. Backpack. And a vibrator. And a flyer. And a fly shot? I mean, and a telescoping umbrella. Okay. Okay. Why not? Why not? Right. 
Let's take the backpack. Oh no, let's stop capital W and take and where now now you can really start to set the mood. What with <laughs> just just running along and because you know I am now wearing the backpack. I now have twenty six bag space, which is less than um before but i'm probably less encumbered so i probably it probably works out better in the long run which i can probably check by going shift okay my encumbrance on my torso is 56 and it was up to 80 i think with both of them so this is a nice middle ground i think um and i want to go here and here I want to... I definitely want... Okay, I need the vibrator. I know that sounds weird, but I need the... Hold on. I need the vibrator. Just for a second. And the pressure... What? Pharmaceutical flu shot designed for mass vaccination still in its packaging. I don't know if that's useful, so I guess I'll take it. Flyer. Joe's Diner. One half pound of meat. Three toppings. Your choice. Ooh, a side of freedom fries and a big gulp size pop. Yeah. Won't be taking that, but hey, you never know. Anything else from their dirty, dirty body that I'd want to take? No. Cool. And I want to... What? Enter... Unload. You unload the vibrator. That person must have died awfully if they still had their um, uh, vibrator on them. Okay, and now there's a vibrator just sitting on the ground. Okay, that's weird. So if I head slightly down, there should be probably a zombie. Yeah, there is. I've already read that newspaper, I'm pretty sure. Okay, there's two of them. One seen me. Okay, that's fine. Yep, he's coming. I'll let him get a little bit closer. I'm still tired. I've been running, I think, almost two days now with no sleep. I don't know what I don't know what turquid means. I think that's a good thing though. Tur turquid. Turquoise. Saving game. This may take a while. You drop your vibrator. It's not my vibrator game. On the dead grass. I wish it would stop saying it's my vibrator. There's the zombie. Drink some water. I do need to get a drink. Probably when I switch between this to Noita, I will get a drink. Don't worry. Uh, don't worry, Tree. I will be sw swapping soon. I just want to get into this Last Man on Earth shelter, and I'll probably wrap it up for the evening for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I have a really bad habit with Cataclysm, calling it Cataclysm... Uh, what's the thing I call it? Like... The f Amnesia Dark Descent. Yeah, I call it Dark Descent for some reason. Just a weird brain... Fungal I have. Come on, zombie. Spotted zombie. Yeah, that is a zombie. Get a drink now. I'm scared you'll pass out if you stand up too quick. But that's the fun of things. Okay. And back off. And that way. That way. And hit. And... And there we go. Oh, I got a bag, by the way, Judem, if you're around. If you were around, if you weren't around for it. So briefs, checker pants, chewing gum, pack of cigarettes. I might take the pack of cigarettes. It's not fun. That almost happened to me. I did love my outfit. Yeah, I got off a zombie. 
you know, I didn't find it. It was just a zombie walking along. Chewing gum. I might. I think chewing gum makes you feel all right as well. So I might take both. No, I don't want to eat. I want to take chewing gum. Yeah, and the pack of cigarettes. I don't condone. I don't support smoking in real life, but in game, it probably chills you the right out. I mean, I've been streaming almost seven hours, so when it hits seven hours, I'll go get a drink. Okay, last zombie. I might just rush at them. Oh, hey, dude. I didn't actually think you were that close. Uh, why don't you follow me? Why don't we go on a jolly walk? I know I keep taking them to these rocks, but I feel safe with the rocks. Okay. So wait, 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 wait. Yes, there is definitely a zombie there. Seven, seven hours. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I got raided by existence. Uh, streaker, and that just like a bunch of you guys just came in. It was great. And back off. I think you can get two hits in when they're on the rocks. And then we run for the second rocks. Like, I think if I get them on the rocks, what I should be doing is... Go on, go for the rock. Ah, oh, you butthole. Go on the rocks. There we go. Okay, he's... He, I guess I knocked him back. And I killed him. Two turns. Two turns. Perfect. I am right then. So let's see what the zombie had on them. They had a pair of ankle socks, a skirt, raincoat, and a barrette. Barrette. A barrette. They weren't wearing any knickers. Okay, that's weird. A raincoat, a skirt, a barrette. I think a barrette is a hat. So they were a topless zombie with no knickers on and a skirt. Okay. Okay. You do you, zombie. You do you. Maybe you could team up with the vibrator zombie and, you know, become a duo. The dynamic duo. Kinky Zeds. Yeah, I have walked into some weird-ass town. And then the other, the second zombie had cigarettes, so I guess he just watched. Just chilled. Maybe not. I don't know. It's like... How are we... <laughs> I'm starting some sort of... Oh, there was slight like shooting over here. And a dead zombie that had... That's not a zombie, that's a person. A pair of glove liners, cargo pants, copper hairpin, pair of arm warmers, pair of thermal electric socks, trench coat. Okay, probably not collect anything, but apparently that person was around. Oh, I sh I'm going way too close to this building, by the way. Like, I'm way too close to the right. I need to realign. Yeah, need to come down from this side. Oh... A tough zombie. It's tough zombie. I don't know. Let's have a look. We've got zombie, zombie, and then tough zombie. Okay. Question is, can I sneak in here? Can't answer that question. Spotted decaying zombie. I'm just seeing zombies everywhere. This is annoying. Can any of them see me? No. No, they can't. So am I... Okay. What is that sound? 
Why is there a really awful sound? Like, what is... I feel like that, that's so, the game is telling me something bad is about to happen. That feels like the you're about to die sound. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna walk away. Okay, it stopped. The awful sound stopped. Oh, I just walked over a rock. Okay, well, I didn't like that. Just probably a little bit of dying. I am still quite tired. That sound freaked me out, man. Uh, let's have a look. We've got... Two zombies following me. I mean, I wasn't getting any notifications that I heard explosions anywhere. So it didn't seem like anything was exploding. Uh, yeah. Probably just going to keep running until the two zombies become one zombie. There we go. You can still follow me, right? Come on, dude. You can see me. Come on, you can see me. Six o'clock at night. Okay, you can see me now. Man, that sound freaked me out. Okay, we're in, we're in Blood Cavern. So the moon is starting to rise. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Spotted zombie. I know. I brought him here. Hey, Zombo. Spotted zombie. I know. I'm hit. My encumbrance throws me off balance. Uh, I should probably drop my bag. That's fine. Wait, wait, wait. Hit, hit. Move away. Back off, back off. Wait, hit. Back off, back off. Wait, hit. Back off. Back off, back off. Back off, back off. Wait, hit, dead. Man, G Dem, you gave me the you gave me the keys to the castle with that tip. Right, what we got? Oh, cowboy hat, tights, bra, boy shorts, and a cowboy hat. Okay. Okay. Put a zombie. I know. Maybe the zombie's far enough away I don't have to fight it. I'm probably better off like rounding them all up and trying to run away. That tactic seems good, right? Just like, oops. Having like a horde of zombies just like banging pots. Just like, do you remember that scene in Shaun of the Dead? Where he like, they're, at, they're outside the Winchester and he goes, hey, and gets them all to run away. And then they all go away and they don't ever come back. And he's at, cheered as a hero. Remember that scene, right? Good scene. Probably just a little bit of dying. Oh, hey, dude. Well, I might do that. I might do a Shaun of the Dead. Take them over to Blood Rocks. Why not? Wait a little bit. Get a warning that there's a zombie nearby. Yep. Wait a little bit more. Another zombie warning. Come on. Come on, Eileen. Back away. Back away. Wait. Hit, back away, back away, back away, back away, back away, wait, wait, hit, 
Back away, back away, back away, back away. Here, dead. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, MP3 player, off. Pack of cigarettes, permanent marker. Powdered candy, fresh. Cell phone, SD card. Oh, what's on the SD memory card? Mate, SD memory cards, I'm like, if I ever find one, I'm like, ooh, what's on, I feel, what's on that? I feel like such a... Permanent marker has 500 charges. This is a king size, industrial strength, permanent marker, about halfway between a typical marker and a can of spray paint in size. You, wait, what? That's huge. And can never lose the fascination and you'll never, and you'll do well in this game. But the, the marker, the marker, I'm more curious about the marker than the SD card. What? Half the size between a typical marker, which is like maybe half an inch. All right, Crockster, how's it going? I'm seeing a lot of numbers. Yeah. Got raided uh, four or five hours, no, six hours ago now. And uh, a lot of people were stuck by since. Like, and even more people have followed. Um, but yeah. Uh, I've been meaning to play more Noita, but uh, I've been really enjoying this game. Cataclysm Duck Days Ahead. And uh, yeah, I even got some subs. Uh, Cataclysm Duck Days Ahead. It's a... Think of it like... The best way to explain it is it's like RimWorld, except for you control one person. So you'd enjoy it, Crockster. But it's also quite... Got quite a lot of UI, so I don't know if you'd enjoy that part of it. You seem like... You seem like you wouldn't enjoy the UI intensity elements. Pack of pack of cigarettes. I'll take the one cigarette. So yeah, like um, you play mostly with a keyboard, and uh, I'm using the numpad to walk around, which is weird if you can imagine it. Um, and then yeah, like lots of different buttons. It's very. I wouldn't say realistic because of the zombies and, you know, like, augments and mutations, but it's very, it's like a simulation type thing. Game looks pretty old. The game does have support for TKL keyboards as well. Hmm. Uh, the thing about the game is it's got a very specific style, but you can get different mod packs, so... Yeah, it's very... It makes me think a lot of... Um, not Rimworld. The other thing. Dwarf Fortress. Apocalyptic Dwarf Fortress. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, you can hang around for a little bit and get an idea of what I'm doing. It's indie, open source, and focused on depth, like Dwarf Fortress. You actually have to use separate tile sets and sound effects. Yes. It's very like a build-it-yourself build it kit for a game. It's very interesting. I like it a lot. And, Crockster, because I got free subs, free Twitch, free anonymous Twitch subs today, I'm one away from getting another, from, yeah, another amount, which I'm very excited about. Just a very, I'm overexcited. I've had too much sugar. Actually, you do need a drink. I'm going to eat the... Did I not pick it up? Powdered candy sticks. Yeah. Very excited. Eat. Oh, capital E for some reason. You eat the candy powdered sticks. Bouncing off the walls. Bouncing off the walls. Oh, I need to be in the eat menu. Yeah, so like as you can see, it's quite complicated because there's like like five or six different menus to do very specific things. You can do things in other menus, but there are specific menus to do specific things specifically. If that makes sense. I shouldn't really be eating that, but hey. So at the moment I'm there's a last man on earth shelter here. Which is like a shelter built. I guess by someone who thought the world would end and the world has ended. So I'm just trying to have a look in it. So, and the zombies that I was beating the crap out of to a pulp. 
Also, thanks to everyone that followed today. I know, subbing is exciting, but it's the followers that become your nice spaces. I have nice... I've had five or six followers today? That was awesome. What year did this game come out? Uh... I don't know. I would imagine 2014, 15? I might be wrong about that. I know... Uh, Mum, uh, Omnivore will tell us. Hopefully. That's, that's an assumption and a half, but... Omnivore knows. Um, I do have the wiki open on the second screen, because I need it, because there's so many... There's so many key bindings, Crockster, that they use... They use cap locks, case-sensitive key bindings. But 2013, yeah. Yeah, pretty old. It gets... It's constantly being updated, though, Crockster. Like, constantly. Like, I think it gets updated every, like, yeah. Like, this game is, like, in active development. They're always developing it. Adding new things, changing things. Spotted zombie. Okay. Is there an ending? Uh, I think the ending is to try and survive, because you can never, you'll always die. Should be considered alpha still. Fair enough. There's no ending because the game get like scales and difficulty. You get to a point where it's you just yeah. From what I'm aware, you'll just end up being overwhelmed and killed eventually. I mean, you might be able to build like a really strong base, and that might never happen. But there are deep lore events and incredible stories that can play out. Ala, Rimworld, and similar games. See, Omnivore has a better explanation than me. This is my first time ever playing, by the way, Crockster. Um, and I only streamed it as a... I wasn't even... I was not going to stream this game. I was just going to play it on my own. And I was like, oh, maybe one or two people will enjoy watching me. Is it free? Yeah. Yep. Just download it. If you need any help installing it, hit me up on Discord. And I'll, like, help you with any, like, texture packs or anything. If you want to go for anything specific. It gets to be very difficult. And starting out as a new... Yeah, it's got a steep learning curve. Very free and easy to set up. Yeah, I'd say the most difficult part of setting up was like finding different uh, texture packs. Um, because there's like... Yeah, there's... Anyway, what am I doing? I'm staring at that zombie and that zombie's staring back at me. Where do I download it? Uh, I like playing games blind. And that's essentially what I'm doing now. I watched a few videos, but you know, just for the key bindings. Uh, you just search up Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead and you should get a link to it. Am I able to link? Yeah, you're able to link. It shouldn't not allow you to link. I might have it set to followers only can link, but you're a follower, so it's fine. Uh, I just talked a lot there and now I'm slightly out of breath. I sound like a very fat person. Oh, you should work on getting Nightbot, Baron. I've got Softbot. Softbot's like Nightbot. He's bit stranger but yeah there you go softbot doesn't he's he's a very offhand bot there's two zombies down there yeah they're just chilling so i i need to get in that little shrub there softbot just chills i don't pressure softbot too much and he doesn't get too aggressive um, so I want to get past these zombies, but I'm only going to be able to get past them if I aggravate them. So, uh, I, I found out about this game because, um, I like watching Dwarf, Dwarf Fortress videos on YouTube and there's a, an amazing Dwarf Fortress YouTuber called Krug Smash. And one Halloween he played this. And I was like, this is really weird. Is it just like a Dwarf Fortress mod? And then I researched it. And then I watched a few other videos from a different YouTuber called Rykon. And then I was like, oh, I'd really like to play that. And then I started streaming. And then I was like, oh, maybe I'll stream that. And I was like, I need to get good at it before I stream it. But then I just decided today that I'd learn stream it. So, hey guys. I don't want to fight both of you. I do not want to climb over the rock. Okay. So we're going to run. 
I don't want to fight both these zombies. Spotted zombie. <laughs> good to hear, good to hear. It's always good to hear more people interested in this game. It's very under the radar, this game. So, what do you normally stream? I normally stream Noita. Uh, oh! I've heard about these before. An error has occurred, written below. Missing item, def definition null. Or do you mean... <laughs> I'm the top person but only one. Oh, well, you know. I don't mind being the top but only. I stand alone in a sea. Spacebar to continue. Apparently factory dot item underscore factory broke. Okay, I won't. Okay, the whole game crashed. Okay, it's back. <laughs> I mean, again, I only got this many people. Oh, thank you, Ghost Frag, for the follow. I greatly appreciate that. Yeah, uh... <laughs> my emote slot. Um, my, uh, not emote slot. Yeah, no, no I didn't think it had crashed back. I, I've seen what happens. Where am I? I've, like, run way too far up. I know that for a fact I'll break the game the first time I play it too. I have a kind of knack for that things. Yeah, so Ghost Frag 82 I greatly appreciate the follow. I love hearing my, uh follow jingle so spotted zombies i don't think i can take two zombies on at once i think i'm gonna get overwhelmed but maybe not uh, maybe not right if i can find i'm really really trying to lose these zombies oh that was bad Spotted a fat zombie. There, yeah, that was bad. Okay, guys. Spotted zombie. Can you, like... I get it. I get it, gay. Okay. It's fine. We're just gonna whack them. This will end fine. If I get grabbed, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Okay. Okay. My winter coat was ripped further. Zombie bites my torso. The zombie tries to grab you, but you break free. You whack for 19 damage. You dodge, dodge. Okay, so I only got hit once. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good. For the OE3 download link. So do I download... Do I have to download everything there? Yeah. Yeah, OE3 is the most recent stable branch because you can play experimental, so you can like be on the cusp of everything they're developing, or you can play on stable, which I'm playing on stable at the moment because you know I hear that uh, experimentals crash a bit more, so I was a bit like maybe I don't want to, maybe I don't want to be on the crashing element of things. I mean, I still know that they're pretty stable still, but you know. When you're playing for the first time, you kind of want to play play it stable. Right. So E. And I'm going to grab the matchbooks and the cell phone to strip out the batteries and the caffeinated chewing gum. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So I'm up to 75 followers. Today has been a very good day. Curse work. Just, just the zip for, the, for your OS. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cursed Wit is the one to follow. I'm breaking it a bit as I go on. Nothing seems to corrupt. Saves or causes major issues though. I, it ju this will just seem to replace items. It loses consequence. Yeah, just zip for the OS. I think you're on PC, so I think you're fine. Uh, bra, scarf, fingerless gloves, stockings, and panties. Well, at least they had underwear. 
So I took a bit of damage. I'm generally damaged all over a bit now, but it's fine. It's fine, guys. And you'll need to Google CDDA sound pack. CDDA undead people's tire set. Yeah, the, unde the undead people's tile set is like just great. And grab those, follow the simple instructions to install. Uh, the sound pack I'm using, I think, is comes is uh, uh, comes preloaded with the game. Other people like others better, so just have fun with it. Yeah, sound packs I haven't really been able to find like too much information on. People seem to talk more about the uh, tile sets, but I I am interested in looking into other sound packs because. Not that this sound pack isn't unenjoyable, but hearing these same two songs over and over has been a little bit jarring. So that preloaded pack is very limited in actual sounds. If you get a pack, you'll have more. Yeah, okay. So I'll check out Octopack then. I'm going to search that. Search. Octopack. Ah, oh, sound pack, Octopack. Perfect, second link. Please don't play anything out loud while I'm playing. No, that's fine. Cool. Appreciate that, Omnivore. All right, where are we? This field has been a godsend, by the way. If this was like a tight little cul-de-sac, I just would not have been able to do it. Luckily, we keep on going. We keep on going. I need to add existence streakers to my uh, auto host list. Well, I extracted one that said Windows and press play, so I don't know about the other stuff you guys said. I'll just play, press new game. Uh, yeah, you'll get, you'll get like a thing where Windows complains because Windows likes to be like, hey, this person doesn't have a license, but ignore that because enough, what a decade zombie. Enough people I know have played this game for me to trust the game. I really need to, I'm in minimum pain, so I should also eat. A caffeinated chewing gum? No. Oh no, my painkillers were on my bags, which is still on the road back. Okay. Anyway, inventory. I need to go to the two cell phones, unload. Did I unload them both or just one? And unload. Two cell phones. Should just go to the drop menu, which is D. Yeah, I do recommend Crockster you having the if you have two screens on your second screen having the hotkeys page open from the Wikipedia. Fair enough. It's fairly bare bones to start with. Take your time and enjoy it. You and you can keep making it more immersive as you're ready. Yeah. I need to drop the other smartphone. Where is it? Hmm. I must have dropped them both. Strange. Spotted zombie. Okay, so that this I'm very slowly killing the zombies to get to this base. It's taking a really long time, and I'm probably going to die. But if I don't, okay. How many are there? We've got zombie, decayed zombies, tough zombies. It's the tough zombie I'm worried about. I've heard that if I start a fire, I could use that as a good distraction. But if I start a fire in a city this big, isn't it just going to burn the whole city down? Like, that's what I'm worried about. I start a fire and it just spreads like, like a wildfire. Like, I don't want to destroy the whole city. I have heard that, like, fires can jump very easily from place to place. There was a fat zombie in here, but I think I killed him. I may not have. That door is locked. That door is locked. From the southwest, you hear womp, 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 womp. So someone's locked in there. I have yet to see a wildfire, but man, I'm excited. Wait, there's actual wildfires in the game. Ugh. So I've got a new plan. I hope there's no zombies that have actually seen me. No, I'm all good. My new plan is just hope I have a vehicle to get away when it happens. Oh. 
I hope fires can't just like start in the game without even my interaction. Okay, so it's really hard to get in here. Feral runner. That feral runner is still nearby, eh? Uh, two feral runners. Okay, I'm gonna. No, not the. Oh, there's no monsters nearby. Okay. How do I get the get to finalize world button? Uh, you hit tab. Tab gets you across the super section. Figured it out. Okay. Yeah, the controls. The controls were in the menu section were the hardest part for me at first. I remember the first time I actually just like opened the game to look at it. Spotted zombie. Okay, I'm gonna have to come in from this way. Uh, I would highly recommend that wiki that I'm using, Crockster. M at times, V at times. Just gives you an, an overview of the controls. Oh yeah, and if you hit shift... Oh wait, well yeah, yeah. Shift slash. Question mark is your best friend. Yeah, I just find it easier to read off of the uh, Wikipedia. Alright. Minimal pain. Looks like my guy's name is Jeff Major. Well, there you go. Hopefully Jeff is doing alright. Man, I said I'd be playing Noiter at 9. Damn. I'm just so invested. Okay, there's a zombie, and that's it. Yes, great. You can see the zombie. Good for you. Spotted a zombie dog. Okay, that's new. Decayed zombie has seen me. Tough zombie has seen me. Zombie dog hasn't seen me. Okay. So now there's two... Where's the... Okay. Spotted zombie dog. Has the zombie dog spotted me? No. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This game has a way of pulling people in. I've noticed. Ignoring enemy. I want to see if that zombie actually comes up. That's fine. They're just chilling. They're just chilling. Where... Started in a mine. Oh, you went for a mine star. Oh. I don't think you'll make it out of that mine. Just gonna... Just gonna be honest. I know a few things about mines, and they don't seem like they'd be the best place to... St okay, that decayed zombie's coming. Spotted decayed zombie. I know. Okay, that's bad. The tough zombie's seen me. I am legging it. Spotted Feral Runner. Okay, I'm being a dumb dumb and running towards the Feral Runner. Spotted Tough Zombie. Yeah, I'm well aware of that. Spotted Decayed Zombie. Yeah, I'm well aware of this. Okay, the Tough Zombie's actually gaining on me. So I may hit... Oh, no. <laughs> Haven't tried that one. I had a... There's some very interesting twists that's involved. I'm going to lay it across the field. That's fine. That's probably... If I can get behind this rock. And then I... Oh, I ran too far. I'm now going to... Okay, I'm dead. Okay. I made a horrible mistake and I may be dead now. We're just going to try and walk away and get our stamina up. Yeah? I 
found something called a human snail. Oh. Oh, you ended up... I know where you are. Oh, that was... I didn't die. I didn't take it. Oh, I took a bit of damage to my head. There we go. And apparently you can't hurt it. Trust me, you can hurt it. So, smash that corpse. What did the cave zombie have on it? It had a cell phone, cash card, an electric cigarette, a flyer. Okay. And some disgusting things. So let's take the cash card. Cell phone has no charge. Not going to take it. Electronic cigarettes has charge. Take it. And then let's pulp this dude. Corpse is thoroughly pulped. I don't know. I don't know if I should tell uh, Crockster about pulping pulping corpses. Because. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll let him have that surprise. So we killed the tough zombie. And we killed the other zombie. So that's cool. That is cool. Just got rocked by this twisted corpse. Ah, I think I know where you are. Or at least I'm aware of the area that you're in. Are you dead? So you, you died. So you attack by moving into things. So like if you walk into something, you attack it. If there's any other way to attack, I don't know it. But that's how I attack. Well... Yeah, I would go with... Oh, yeah. I'm glad that you were punching a human snail and then you died. <laughs> um, so I had create a world, then custom new character. Yeah, evac refugee start is probably the best. Uh, for new players, as I've been told. As someone pointed in my direction as well. Zombie dog is still there. I can't go in by the left hand side because we're going by the left and I get the. Uh... Zombie dog. I'm going to do it randomized again. Fair enough. Fair enough. Or rock the random starts. Always interesting. Working with Tamitha Spear this time. That's a good last name. Is there a way. When you're on this main screen to know that the enemies has seen you does something indicate that enemy has seen you like because there's a d for dog a z a z for i'm not gonna say z a z for decayed zombie so does that change in any way let's put a decayed zombie okay shift v yeah shift v shows you this menu but i was wondering if in the main menu and then you can see if they got an exclamation mark it tells you that they can see you but I was wondering if there's a way to know when you're on the main screen. Okay. And then there's a zombie as well. Okay. So it would actually be great if it was night time. So there's another tough, tough zombie. Down there. So, so, uh, yeah, I, I just... Maybe I've never noticed, but I was wondering if there, an exclamation mark appears when you're on... Like, when you've been seen on the main screen. Tough zombies still see me. Maybe hide behind a tree? No one's seen me. That's good. I'm just going to ease my way over to this newspaper. Because what you want to do in a post-apocalyptic setting is read a newspaper. So, E. Oh, I think I've read it then. I've read what this... Ooh. Yeah, I've read this newspaper before. I can see the zombie. The zombie cannot see me. Or does not care to see me. Decayed zombie does not care. I'm really worried about the dogs. Zombie dog. Has seen me. Okay, so you don't get an exclamation mark on the main screen. Okay. 
later ta late later tile sets have indicators too on monster screen okay so yeah he's got a indicator there so he's gonna like book it straight up to me i'm pretty sure like i don't think i'm gonna be able to outrun that dog maybe i can but it might be a good idea for me to hold my ground here i'm gonna check very quickly i think there's some rocks maybe if i can get the dog up to the rock Okay, yeah, he's still coming. Yeah, I'm well aware of the zombie dog. Well aware. There he is. He is gaining on me proper fast. Yep, I have to fight him. That's fine. Let's zoom in. No, don't peek anywhere. Oops. Zed. Zed. Man, everything's revolving around Zed all of a sudden. Okay, here they come. What a zombie dog. Press to turn off. No, I'm fine. I like safe mode. I feel safe. Except for when safe mode doesn't work because I've ignored a monster and it gains on me because I wasn't paying attention. Other than that, though. No, you don't. There we go. Zombie dog bites your left arm but fails to penetrate armor. Oh, no. Okay, that dog was bad. I think I died to a turret. You think? It's a bad sign. Where did you spawn, Crockster? Or do you not even know where you were? I was in a bunker, apparently. Okay. Ooh. I left and went down the street. And I got shot. <laughs> You're definitely playing on hardcore at the moment. Pop corpse of a zombie dog. But you lasted 273 days. I don't know how you did that. <laughs> so that person, because I think, I, oh, she was in the bunker. I see. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Nice. Right. Well, come on, let's use our weight. Okay, I thought there was another zombie dog there for a second. Neither of them have seen me. I think now we can get in. You did do pretty well. You've played, you've lasted longer than I have, apparently. If I could stop. Okay, how many are there? None of them can see me because they're too far away. That's perfect. Tough zombie. I've seen either another tough zombie or the same tough zombie. It's the same tough zombie. Okay. I don't care then. How do I get into this place, by the way? I can see the door. No. Don't step on the shrubbery. Spotted decayed zombie. Uh, Decayed zombie has seen me. Okay. That's fine. The decayed zombie didn't seem like it took many hits to kill. Got my trusty baseball bat. We're just going to wait by this bush. I'm not waiting. Now I'm waiting. Hey, zombie. You coming? Have I lost the zombie? I... Th Either the zombie got... S okay, there. There he is. Spotted decayed zombie. That's fine. Hey, dude. You coming? And he's dead. Cool. Anything on the decayed zombie? There were... There was gun? Okay. With... No ammo? No ammo. So we've got a gun. That's pretty good. I could have a skirt and panty uh, and glove liners and stockings and a bra. So many, like, scantily clad. Oh. Hello. Put on the filthy bra, you whore. Uh, I think I won't. Uh, no problem, Croc. You have a good evening. I hope, you, I hope Cataclysm 
does you as well as it's done me. Uh, I'm not on the game, so... Nano, I'll leave the bra for you. It's the nano bra. Uh, feral runner is there. Still, those feral runners just don't want to go away. So I'm going to ignore the feral runner, and I'm going to head round this way. Uh, can't get through that way. Can't get through that way. Feral runner is still there. Spot a second feral runner. I don't know how bad feral runner. Okay, I made it. Omnivore, I made it. I don't know what these symbols mean, but apparently I can go up and down? How does that work? Okay, so there's like a there's like an entrenchment sort of thing. And I'm in. And I'm in. Last man on Earth shelter. We're in. We finally made it. Huzzah! It only took, what, an hour? Am I... Is that me making that sound? I think it is. Ooh, this place is nice. You got weights. You got... An ergometer. Don't know what that is. You got... Heavy punching bag. You got a sofa. Man, whoever was living here... High life. You've got utility shelf, folding folding knife, pocket knife. You've got. I should probably get in there and have a look. Oh, books. I can read a samurai novel, a crime novel, a war novel. I hope those mystery novel, sports novel, war novel. I wonder if I can learn anything from those. Uh, we've got. Ski pants, jerseys, long sleeve shirts, cotton hat, a bra. Oh, apparently I can't escape the bras in this game. Bravo. Shower? They've got a shower down here. Well done, you. Well done, whoever built this. Well done. Nothing in there. I should probably be closing the doors after I've been in these places. How do I get in... Okay, so we've got wood saw. I think wood saws are important. I can imagine they are. Spoon. Mate, that's the most important. Powdered eggs. Powdered eggs, guys. We got there. Um, then we've got cast iron, iron frank, steak knife. Uh, nothing. Nothing again. Uh, teapot. That's pretty good, if we want to boil water. And then... Pipes. Eight pipes. You never know when you run out of pipes. Uh, central air. Purifier. Oh, man. How do I get past? Or is that a wall? Oh, that's a wall. Okay. And what is this? It is a water pump. So can I just get water from the water pump? Is this like a proper little base? I could just like live. This could be like my base, my, my home, home base. This seems like awesome. Like these are metal doors, right? Wait, what is that? Okay, it's a hiking backpack. Ah, oh, screw you. Normal backpack. Didn't you say hiking backpack is where the game changed for you, Omnivore? And we've got multivitamins, because, you know, you got to keep healthy. Atropan. I don't know what that is. Small pack, bottle of cough syrup if I want to go to sleep. Purse. You know, the essentials. I'm getting the impression a couple lived here. Don't know where they went. That's the scary part. Gl glow stick, refillable lighter. I think that's really good. Flashlight. Folding knife, pocket knife. Medical tape. Sounds good. Refillable lighter again. Fire extinguisher. Yeah, I guess I could do something with that. Like, 
feel like we hit like the jackpot here. Maybe I'm wrong, but hey. W capital W where your torso is very encumbered. That's fine. Let's uh, take off the backpack because we don't. Wow, look at our volume now. 103. So it's going to get smaller when I take off this, but still. 82. I, I don't know what my encumbrance is. It's six. That's great. That's like the same as I was getting as the knapsacks. Wowee. I'm so happy about this. Like, mate, I feel like I like... What I'm more worried about is who owns this place. Like, what if they come back? That's what I'm worried about. Uh, I want to try and interact with the... Consume the water. I'm hydrated. Never mind. Okay. So I'm tired, but there's a bed. Um, There is a bed. Is it possible for there to be an NPCs that live here? Uh, I when I watched someone once uh, find not this kind of base but a base, and there was an NPC in that base, um, and they attacked them when they got there. So I imagine so. If they can do that with like a normal base, then I can imagine the, this place could have had someone living here who maybe was quite hostile. What is this room? Oh. 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 Okay. Okay, Dad. Boy, I'll tell you what. Okay, Dad. What do we have? We have pliers. We have hand crank charger. We have screwdrivers. We have a screwdriver set. We have a bunch of books. The big book of first aid. Army marksmanship manual. Close quarters combat if I want to do some punching. Self-esteem for dummies. Because, you know... Got to work on that self-esteem when you're trapped in a hole. Principles of effective communication. Cool. Light battery. Don't even know what I'd need that for, but I probably do need that. Jackhammer. We can do some home improvements. Water faucet, which I think is useful for a water tank. Uh, dust mask. Game really wants me to have a dust mask. A hoe. So we can do some growing. Growing. Ethan Lerma, there can be a hostile not at the door when you arrive, but that's about it. So you won't get invaded. Okay. So there's like, someone can be just like outside and be like, Hey, this is my place. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack you if you come near me. Kind of thing. That's cool. Screwdriver set. This is a set of screwdrivers in several sizes and blade touch. Guaranteed to have the right tool for press, press work. Awesome. Also, hello, Lerma. Ethan Lerma. Good name, good name. Um, so we got some books. Did I, like, miss anything in the darkness? What is... Is that... What? There's... What, there's just a chainsaw. I didn't see the chainsaw in the darkness. There's also randomized. It only happened to me once. Fair enough. Well, I'm glad. Heavy duty flashlight. I'm glad very much that that wasn't the case for me. Oh, brick kiln. If there was someone, they died to all the zombies outside, which I guess is good. Because... So what's a brick kiln? It... This portable charcoal-filled kiln. It is designed for filling... Firing bricks, but you could use it to fire anything made of clay. So it's like a little mini house starter thing if I wanted to, like, build... Okay. Okay. Screwdriver set, yeah. So there wasn't super amount of weapons. But I'm not complaining. I don't want the game to think I'm, like, complaining. Because <laughs> I am definitely not complaining. I'm going to close all the doors, though. Um, My character is very tired. Well, he's just tired. Um, I imagine that, uh, the, uh, oh, there's a, 
Oh, there's like someone was cooking in here. So there's like a wood stove here. By the way, do you notice an empty space in the northeast? Uh, northeast. What, like, the fact that it's a complete square except for there's a wall. Okay. Okay. So this is... Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, I know where you mean. Never... No, wait. Yeah. You mean down here? This weird hole? Broken generator. Impassable. So could I get that? So if I got the generator working, would... Standing tank. Standing tank. So you mean this weird, like, void... Because it's like a perfect square, except for... No, no, that base is square, all right. Okay. I get it. I get the hints, Lerma. Ethan Lerma. I get I get what you're saying. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. That was the father. Okay, okay. C to close doors, O to open doors if you want to avoid the mouse. E to examine should work too. Okay. Yeah, I usually do the... the the examining is just, for the mouse is just so I don't have to go into a menu, but I have been very curious, Cursed Wit, about how I open and close doors. So, thank you again, my helpful, my Wikipedia lurker. So I'm going to call you the human Wikipedia, who comes out from the back. It's like, here are the answers, walks back, closes his book. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. So I do have a jackhammer, Lerma, so I could break into that place that you're saying. There are also... Uh, oh, I can't look at the walls while I'm not in the walls. I want to know, maybe I should examine the... No, what? Dude, I want you to examine the broken generator. I call him blocked user now. <laughs> he literally just tells me how to press the button, Nano. <laughs> Whatever. Nano being nano. Um, so that, I guess that means, Nano, you very much want to play this game. So I can't do anything to the broken gener generator. Maybe if I go into this screen? No, I don't know enough about anything. Because I'm a dum dum. Yeah, you just told me how to open and close doors without using the mouse, and then I immediately used the mouse. It's so annoying that the open and close buttons are so far away, though. I mean, you. I guess C is just the one you want to hold. Oh, yeah. So... Wait, I just realised. I do know something. I think it's open source. I'm curious about adding to it as well. Oh, I think, every, I think everyone would be happy about you adding to it. As long as you don't just add bra, like, different size bras. I can imagine that being your contribution. I'm joking, by the way, because I know how annoyed you'll get by that statement. <laughs> so I want to... I want to... Look at the plank. Grab the plank. So... So... My question is... Shut up, so what? <laughs> Close your heart, open your mat heart, maybe your, your cheeks while you're at it. <laughs> You and that bot, man. Uh, so I want to light the wood stove. Can I do that? E to examine wood stove. Start a, If I start a fire on the wood stove, will it start a fire on the wood stove or will I burn the place down? Is what I want to know. Because I have a lighter. I mean, the depth of this game is amazing, so I wouldn't be surprised about different underwear. <laughs> I mean, I found some fat zombies, and it didn't indicate that they had fat underwear. The only way is to find out. Okay, we'll do it the nano way. There's nothing to light there. Okay. So, I thought that might happen. Is there a way to put items into the wood stove? Do I have to do it that way, or do I just put the item on the wood stove? Like, because I can go into my menu and find my... Spare parts, no. Tools. 
chewing gum. Why can't I see my plank of wood? Construction menu. You ideally want to establish a firewood source. Okay. So can I make next to it, put wood there? Okay. Okay. So if... Is that going to make it impossible for me to get over to the spoon? Because you never know if I want that spoon. Plastic bag of Italian seasoning. Okay. Doesn't at all sound like weed. So if I grab the items here quickly and remove them. And then you said go to the construction menu and go to make a firewood source. And have it there. And put wood there. Okay. Apparently I've just spray painted on the ground a big X. Uh, so then I want to... What do I want to do? I want to go to my... No, I want to press capital D to drop. Drop where? Um, and I want to find my plank of wood that I picked up specifically for this. That's all the way at the bottom. That's why I can't see it. Who's the real plank here? Is it me or the game? So now I put a plank of wood in my fire source. So if I then go over to, yeah, so I still need to light it manually, but if I E there, light the stove, not the wood. I think I'm doing that. There's nothing to light here. Okay, so I guess I have to have a fire going first. So I'll grab, I've got newspaper in my inventory, so... If I move on to the wood stove, or I don't even need to move on to it, capital D, drop there, and then I go newspaper, newspaper, drop, so there's a newspaper in it, and I want to set the newspaper on fire, but I don't want to set the newspaper on fire, character auto grabs next, next fuel from source as you do anything with it, okay, cooking, crafting, etc, okay, cool. So, I want to interact. I want to start a fire. I don't want to burn this place down. So, is the fire in it or on it? That's what I'm scared about. <laughs> like, I know that sounds like a dumb thing to say. But I feel like the game is complex enough to maybe... So, maybe if I go X. There is a fire here. It's going to go out soon with extra fuel. That's fine. So be safe. Okay. So if I was if I was to go into my cooking menu, which is and, and go food. So if I was to make clean water, which I can do apparently, because apparently I have non-clean water on me. Pour it into container. Uh, pour it into the teapot. So if that had you, if the fire had gone out while I was baking, he would have just then gone whoop, logs into the fire, which is cool. Uh, I'm trying to remember how you. Does that work with reading, by the way? Will he do that with reading, or is that probably more a case that I should just have like a candle or something? I believe so. Okay. And can I do it a tile adjacent? I'm trying to remember if it's near. Okay. So I want to push this chair. And I'm trying to remember how you push, which is capital G. So I'm grabbing there. And then I stop grabbing. So I want the chair near the fire. I'm going to go get a... Just going to go test. And I'm going to hit... God, this is like, I feel like, I feel like I'm, the space is basically the fuel tank for the nearby fires. Okay. I feel like I'm like cracking Da Vinci's code or something here. Grab is one of my favorite features. Yes. I, it's all also. Okay. Um, control V? No, that's the wrong button. E. No, that's capital E because I'm being a dumb dumb. And I want to grab here. Wait, no, I should hit. 
Capital V, go down, and then I should be able to grab what I want, if I'm correct. Uh, I want to read the Big Book of First Aid first. Can I examine? Capital E? Okay, it just examines it. Never mind. Um, I would like to grab... Uh, no, E, there. Big book of first aid, put it in my inventory. Okay, capital R. Capital R, okay. Ah, too dark to read. But if I go sit in this comfy chair near the fire, maybe I should rotate the chair, but whatever. Um, yeah, capital R. Flick through the... Can bring your first aid, first aid, skade, first aid skiller up to three. It requires intelligence of seven, which I have. A chapter of this book takes twenty minutes. It contains four crossing antiseptic, saline solution, makeshift stethoscope, and rehydration drink. Long term use of the stove will eat through fuel. That's fine. We've got a, we've got a saw, so we can get more fuel. So it's like, we, I can, and I've got trees around my base, which maybe I don't want to cut down because, you know, you don't ship where you eat. But, oh, he did it automatically. Look. The planks have gone. Um, so I want to go read again. And uh, it takes 19 minutes and I get no enjoyment from it. Read until you hit a certain level. I just want to read and see how much I can get out of this from the fire. I'm you're feeling tired you yes so now I'm dead tired okay that's what I was waiting for can I put the fire out is that a thing extinguish fire I can nice nice I don't know why I said can I do the thing when cataclysm seems very very competent in what it can do silly thing can I okay here's the one thing I want to know can I raise my strength by exercising? So there's a exercise machine here. I was wondering if I could like do some weights and raise my strength. Take a charge of one of your fire starting sources every time you start. Okay, it's fine because I've got refillable lighters here. Loads of refillable lighters. So we're going to close this door. How to naturally raise stats. Okay. Not implemented yet, but there is a plan to increase stamina in the future with exercise. Okay, interesting. Thank you, Lerma. You're very helpful. Just like... Um, I can't... First wit. Sorry, I usually check my like followed recently list to see who are the new new lovelies talking. Not that I'm saying you need to follow, don't worry about it. Um I, I'm very happy to hear that news. Yes, and save the game before sleeping. Oh Lama, you did not have to follow, but I appreciate it. Uh, don't set an alarm. Uh, I love that jingle. I just want I just want more followers to hear that jingle. That's it. And extra kudos if you know where that jingle's from. Even though I might get DMCA because I have it. So we've slept and I'm very hungry and still a bit tired. I guess that's because I like really knackered myself out. Uh, uh, I'm waiting till I wake up. I haven't woken up yet. Okay, sorry. I just like tried to like open my inventory while I was asleep. But I'm happy. I'm happy. Plastic bag of potato chips. Why don't you eat those, mate? Uh, no. I need to go to the eating menu, because the eating menu is a very good menu. Have the tomato. Peckish. Ah, tomato did it. He went from very hungry to peckish. With a, with a tomato. That's shocking. I'm shocked. I'm appalled. I'm horrified. 
Now, I'm going to have a quick break here and have a drink. And then I'll see how many people... So, if you want to stay around, you can stay around. But I'm going to go to my break screen quickly. Uh, I just need to get a drink and go to the toilet. I have been streaming eight hours straight, apparently. If you want to stick around, you can stick around. Um, I may play more of this when I come back. Or we may jump to Noita, depending on uh, viewer interest. I know there are a few of you, of you lurking who are waiting for Noita to come up. So this is your time to speak out. Holy moly, take a break. I will do indeed. I'm just really... The, mate, Omnivore, that's how much I'm enjoying this game. I, I just went from not understanding the game at all and feeling like quite sheepish at it to being like, Hey, I've cracked the, I cracked the code. I figured it out. It's a good feeling. Right, break screen. Break. I don't even know. You won't be able to hear the game from the break screen, but I'll mute the...
Sorry about that, I'm back now. You know, I just stretched the legs, went for a quick walk. Um, yeah, I had to get like a cold drink. So yeah, I don't know what people are interested in watching me play, but I know, I know Noiter is a big family favorite around here. Um, I don't know if any of the Noiterites are in chat at the moment though, but if they are, let me know if you want Noita. If not, I'm just gonna. Oh, thank you, Omnivore. Um, if not, if no one wants to watch, if no one wants to watch Noita. I can always play more of this. I'm having fun. You just gotta mention it. It's up to you guys. But yeah, I, again, very much. I've had a, such a nice day today. Very much appreciate everyone who's followed. Um, everyone who's um, subbed. There was three of you that subbed, or one person that subbed three things. Um, yeah, as I have said a few times now, but it's you know it's cool. Uh, one sub away from a new sub amount, so that means a lot to me because then I get to design a new sub amount. Anyway, no one's saying that they want to watch Noita, so we'll keep playing the Cataclysm. Why not? Right, I'll jump back to the game. There we go. There we go. So, yeah. Let's see. What are we even doing? I don't even remember. I, I, it's weird how much I've just got used to using the numpads to move around. Like... I am. I am. I'm I don't want Gary Barlow to die now. As you may be able, I don't know where you're from, Omnivore, but you may or may not know who Gary Barlow actually, who uh, Gary Barlow is actually. But I did not expect for him to be going for too, too long. But hey, these things happen. Now Gary Barlow is a apocalypse success. So Gary Barlow is a British singer from Take That. Which had Robbie Williams in. You probably know what Robbie Williams is. Maybe you don't, but hey, if you do. So Take That was like, got a load of them face, like a boy band that got a bunch of them famous. But Robbie got the most famous and became Robbie Williams. And now he's like, in really into aliens and stuff. Um, but Gary Barlow is like one of the singers. Gary Barlow's equally as famous for being a tax evader in the UK. He... Like he's a tax dodger, and it, he he got into hot water because of it. Uh, so apparently, he not only avoided taxes, but he also avoided the apocalypse. So good for him, good for him. So that's Gary Barlow now, and as you can see, I am definitely called Gary Barlow, Gary Barlow male. So yeah, the adventures of Gary. He's like a northerner, so he talks like Gary Barlow. I'm Gary Barlow. Seems to go that way so often, yeah. Yeah. Right, so this is like the utilities area. Um, so our, what are these things? Utility shelves. Okay, yeah, it is definitely the utilities area. So I probably want to inspect the folding knife. It's got 12 butchering, one cutting, and one fine cutting. I don't think that's as good as inventory headlamp that I still have on. Maybe I should take the headlamp off. Winter coat, that's really damaged. Um, boxer shorts. I want to check the ankle sheath with knife. So in it, it's got... How do I see what it's got inside it? Um, do I examine it? So yeah, I want to see what's in the sheath. Contents of this item. It's got a long bladed... It's got a car... There we go, down there. That's part of the title. Yeah. I want to see the stats for the carving knife. That's all. Oh, there we go. 22 butchering quality, one cutting, one fine cutting. So the but the carving knife is still better. And I've got a... If I didn't have the sheath for the carving knife, maybe I wouldn't... Maybe I'd care more about which knife I was carrying. But because I've got a sheath, an ankle sheath, I might as well just keep the uh, carving knife because it fits. I do have... Uh, this is a small folding blade with a locking... No, yeah, yeah, I don't care. Pocket knife, yeah. 
Uh, this can be clipped onto a belt loop. Okay, so that could actually be less cumbersome. Because then I could get rid of the ankle sh uh, thing. We shall see. We shall see. Um... And then we got these items up here. The dirty backpack, purse, um, small plastic bottle of cough syrup. Yeah, drugs section, I guess. Not a lot of drugs, not going to lie. But it's fine. Um, that's fine. So we were reading. One thing I want to check. Uh, so you got planks, wood saw, log. I should have used a log. Uh, maybe I'll... No, that's capital E. Log, grab log. Capital D, drop that where... Log, drop your log. Oh, yeah. You can't hit enter. I need to keep remembering, remembering this. Um... Yeah. Okay. So what is the goal for me today? Uh, just woken up. Um, oh, you've gone blue. I don't know why my text has changed. A to activate, then select the sheath to interact with it. Okay. A to activate. Then the ankle sheath. Then press select sheath to interact with it. Okay. So then... I can... Oh, okay, then it's saying, what do you want to do with your nail bat? Okay, cool. Cool. Thank you, Ethan. You're, st you're stealing an... Uh, uh, you're stealing... Cursed Wit's job. You two are going to have to fight it out. In some sort of Thunderdome. Next, you'll tell me there's Thunderdomes in this game. The Thunderdome battle. But yeah. Let's have a look and see. I want to... I don't want it... I doesn't seem to do anything. And I don't mean to do that. I want to... Can I interact from here? Oh, I'm not on the game, so it's not doing anything. Okay. So E to interact. Nine on the D-pad. Start a fire. Yes, please. F to start fire. Cool. It used a log as well. Um, at the moment, I'm not doing too much. That's fine. That's fine. We don't need to do too No. Don't want to do that. I want to go into my inventory. I want to pick up my big book of first aid. I want to read my big book. I could have also used the capital R menu as Ethan showed me. Or was that... Uh, was that instead... First wit who showed me. I can't remember. You guys are both too helpful. Okay, 14, 17%, 22%, 27%. How much of the day's going? Not much. I'm reading quite fast. My focus is going down. It's very dark because the fire went out and I can't read. I got I read about 50% on that book. So you're right, fuel is gonna be an issue. Yeah, definitely get to know the direct menu shortcuts. They're the best way to get things done. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I, I imagine going into separate menus doesn't count as actions, but that it might, maybe? Question mark. The main hurdle of this game is the same amount of shortcuts. Yeah, the biggest issue I've been having, especially as like I'm quite dyslexic, so D is multi drop is very useful. Yes, and capital D to drop things away from you is also useful in case. Because I couldn't figure out how to light fires. Like, well, no, like, keep fires lit at one point. And I was like, do I just have to jump into the fire and burn? But no. I've, I'm on wiggled, apparently. Capital G to grab and move furniture around. Yep, yep. Um, What is it? There's nothing in this fridge, is there? Just an empty fridge. Fair enough. What is this? It's a teapot of clean water. Did I do that? I must have done that. It is... a thing. That's fine. So, the question is... 
and you want to use advanced inventory manager mostly okay is this because it just tells me more information more clear clearly because like it tells me the weightage and stuff very easily right it seems to strip out the information about the items but then it kind of like i get a very clear list of weight and volumes which is quite nice like i'd use the it looks like you use the inventory menu if you want to like learn about the items more wait no it doesn't do that never mind ignore me so why are there two inventory menus then? Seems interesting. You can more easily and quickly move everything and yeah, get a better HUD for your collection. Are you saying I should get a better HUD or it is a better HUD in general? Because I don't know how you would do new HUDs. User friendliness. Okay, yeah, because that that yeah i am i want the flashlight yeah i want the flashlight um it is just commenting on the options available fair enough inventory is more for using equipment on you okay so is advanced inventory for like building and stuff because that's what it seems like i would think Moving stuff around, okay. Okay. That makes sense, that makes sense. Let's ignore that though, because that's not what we want to do. It's really weird, the idea of moving diagonally from there to here. I mean, it makes sense, but because you can do that in real life. But in a game like this, it's like, I would think you'd have to go, do it, do it, do it. I know that's a small thing, but... I really was hoping there'd be like a lantern or something, but it doesn't seem like there's lanterns. So that's fine. Can you light a wood stove with uh, advanced allows for all important single item pick up from? Okay. Interesting. Can you... Uh... What was I going to say? Can you those stacked okay so if you want to go like grab one stick one nail out of a thousand you can do it in the advanced inventory um can you like can i use gas in a wood stove like like oil can i use can or is that do i need like a special lantern for that because essentially i'm using the stove for light and i don't think that's the best use for it Like, if I'm going to do what I'm doing, I might as well go out, harvest some stuff, come down, cook it, and while I'm cooking, read, rather than just wasting the wood burning. M to move all the stacks in advanced inventory. Are you opening doors with your mouse? If you just collide and move through, it'll also open. No, I'm not opening with mouse. I'm closing with mouse, though. As I keep forgetting that uh, C is closed. So I'll, I'll open by walking through, but then I won't really want to close them as I'm going out because I don't want to leave any doors open just in case. So I'm just sitting here, right? What am I looking for? Heavy duty flashlight. Activate. Has zero charge, but needs one. Okay, so it's actually out of power. Wait. So, I just want to check. I imagine this is the type of thing that people scream at me for doing, but how long will this take? Like, I imagine you don't do this because you'll be using all of your batteries. Wow. Okay, yeah, don't do that. I just wasted like 60 batteries doing that. Okay, good to know. I mean, you have plenty of wooden furniture around you, so. Well, now you just got to see me waste a bunch of batteries. But it's cozy. You do want to do that, but when you have manageable light, yeah. Like I imagine a headlamp is probably the, I, would, I wasted a bunch of 
like opportunity there if i got like a lamp because they're back at the uh evacuation shelter i should have packed it away luckily i've got loads or not loads but i've got a good amount more batteries here um but yeah if i if i grabbed that uh lamp before i left i think it was a electric lamp that would have been more efficient so yeah i keep closing like that rather than just pressing c on them so i've got to try and practice on not using the mouse i'll move the mouse away so i don't get tempted um and then yeah so we got everything we want down here at the moment really uh okay i'm very hungry and thirsty because i'm tired because i read loads and i'm not that warm actual cell phones are very enduring light like a simple simple i will tnt oh you're gonna make some people angry oh way around Yeah, I would say this is more... I've played both, and I'd say they, this has had a steeper learning curve for me then. TZ is a simplified TZ is it DDA. Fact. Uh, I'm just going to keep playing my game. TZ is just 3D. I mean, wasn't there... Maybe one of you guys can answer it, but wasn't there an isometric mode for, for Cataclysm? Yeah. The gun is important. I have no ammo for it, but the gun is important. I was going to do something. I was going to eat and drink. That was it. Um, eat and drink. So... I mean... The Project Zomboid devs... I mean, I feel... I feel bad for them because their game did, like, get like rolled back to a very earlier build um you know they had that whole issue where they like lost a huge like dev build of their game it either got stolen or destroyed or something i don't have anything what about in my inventory i've got potato chips let's eat some potato chips uh no capital e to eat or eat the zucchini because it's got five days left on it I'm peckish. Cool. So how are you tonight, TNT? How's it going, mate? Boxing Monthly is now useless to me because I've read it. Is it completely useless or mostly useless? I can't even examine it. I think if it's grey, that means it's like done, right? You're good. Question dot dot dot. Apparently you're talking like... Oh, I'm in compare. Because uh, capital I is compare. There is... But it's pretty broken. You you can punch zombies one fall below you. Oh, you got work. How's work doing? Good to see that you didn't get locked away with work. You, you had your test yesterday, didn't you? Or was it today? Hopefully that's fine. It can be... You know of nothing. No. So I guess there's no recipes for me in here. I'm at home about to leave. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Um, I keep going into the compare menu and I don't mean to. The... Yes, no results. No results. I remember that being a point of stupidity that you felt for you because it was a whole thing. Close that door. So I'm still thirsty, but that's fine, because I've got water down here. Wait, no. Capital E. So I drank. I still need more water, but that's fine. Because... Uh, it, if it's grey, you are done. Yellow means you can learn recipes. Blue, magenta means it's skilled. And then red, I'm guessing, means I haven't looked at it. Like that playboy down there. 
Some more. Do I have any bottles, empty bottles of water then? Let's find out. Pour into container. You don't have any containers. Hmm. Oh, I must have left them in the thingy thing. Pick up the teapot. Thank you. I'm just going to have to do the teapot then. Um, and then I want to fill the teapot. Yeah, I want to fill the teapot. And yeah, I seem compute pour into container. You don't. I don't have a suitable container for filling water. Okay. That one's a bit odd. Any Twitch mods for the game? Probably. Playboy, oh boy. I don't know. Not yet, TNT. Not yet. You see the word yet there. There'll be some. Any game with a good morning scene ends up having a Twitch scene. Soon enough. And as soon as there is TNT, I promise, I'll allow you to torture me in the ways that you do. Right, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pick up the... The... My audience is very used to me playing... Um playing Noita and being able to vote on things that cause me pain. So much pain. And then I want to start a fire. And then I want to go to the crafting menu. Clean water. Consume. Okay, and then I want to do it again? Yes. So, and clean water. Pour into a container. Cast iron frying pan. Sure. Sure. Apparently my kettle can't have, or teapot, can't have water in it. I'm a bit confused about that one, but hey. Maybe it's the container that in which I am putting. Maybe I need to not hold it. Let's try that. Oh, yeah. There you go. So if I then, I'm warm. If I then go crafting menu. No, I needed the kettle. Oh, wait, no. Okay. Clean water. Pour into container. Yeah, okay. Teapot. And I will keep doing that because I want to have. Uh, okay, I d guess I d don't have room for it anymore. You, p I have played Project Zomboy before. It's a very good game. I very much enjoyed it. Uh, I watched. Uh, I watched a YouTuber called Mathis play it. He had a very good series on it, and then I decided to play it myself. Well. Seeing as the fire is... I'm very hungry again. Okay. So let's go inventory. No, that's compare. No, capital E. Don't eat from the inventory menu. Uh, I don't have much on me. I'm going to eat protein rations, I think. I have 13 papers of protein rations. Does this game have servers as well, or solo play? Solo play. I don't think there's a multiplayer for this game. I might be wrong. Uh, one, one of the two lads here will be able to let us know if there is multiplayer for this game. I can see there being multiplayer for this game. I just haven't heard anyone talk about it. Um, I am going to make like a little Banrick pile. Um, it'd be cool if this game had multiplayer. I'd definitely play. Um... Depends, really. Like, you'd have to make a server element to the game. I mean, I, I have a pump, Ethan, in in the shelter that I'm getting water from. 
There's a pump down here at the end. I can just, I'm pretty sure the pump's infinite, question mark? And there is not since it's turn-based. Uh, I guess that would make sense. Yeah, or you do it like uh, Civilization 6, where you can like play a certain amount of turns ahead, and then it kind of calculates the turns, and then you like confirm the turns. There's a real-time option in menus. Ah. That would kill me. Just straight up, that would kill me. I'm going to drop that. I'm going to drop... I don't need two layers. I'll take the... Don't need the heavy duty. Don't need the flashlight. Don't need the... Telescopic umbrella. Don't need the syringe at the moment. Probably don't need the seasoning. The plastic bag of Italian seasoning. Um... Probably don't need the sh flu shots. Probably only take one packet of cigarettes just for convenience sake. Uh, don't need the two paper wrappers. Anything else I don't need? Seasonings are pretty powerful as far as cooking goes. I will, don't worry. I'm not just abandoning it. I'm just dumping it here in like a corner for things for me to think about later. There we go. And then I've eaten, so I'm going to do capital R and keep reading my big book of first aid until the fire goes out. So D8, 81, 6, 88, 92. You, yeah, you'd have to put limitations. If you were to make it multiplayer, you'd have to put limitations on what update. Like set field of view stuff stuff like that um now the real question is like firstly it's 1 p.m and my character's still tired that's fine we can sort that out i've got some coke coca-cola not cocaine coca-cola in my bag so we'll uh drink some coca-cola if it comes to it but until then the question is am i gonna get horribly bodied People could kill the server like nukes. I mean, that's a different. There's, I guess, there's a difference of like what kind of multiplayer you'd want to play. Like maybe a co-op multiplayer, Ethan, where it's you and a friend or some friends. That might be different. Like, like you're a little raiding gang that goes out and you know you survive together. That could be interesting. I definitely want to play that. Obviously, that's probably not on the forefront of the developers agendas i'm very not too up to speed about how the game's like developed i know it's open source but i don't know i haven't looked too much into that now the big question is am i going to get killed immediately after leaving let's find out did i close the door i sure hope i don't i said i wouldn't touch the mouse Oh, hey, dudes. Uh... Oh, no, 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 okay. Uh... <laughs> so, when I peeked out there, I saw two things. And you probably saw them as well. Maybe you didn't. But I'll explain. Because I feel cool explaining. I saw a zombie and a zombie sapper, and I know what a zapper is. And I don't... Hey, maybe it's just because I haven't fought that enemy yet that I'm nervous, but... Yeah... Now, the question is, I didn't see where the zapper was. I just saw that there was a zombie sapper. So the question is, if I leave, are they going to leave me alone, or are they going to break through that door? Because I... the door is valuable. But the door is valuable for this exact reason. So. Okay, they're trying to go around. He hasn't figured out where the door is, apparently. Okay. I might just give it some more time. 
but I don't have a lot of food. I mean, I have loads of protein bars, I guess, but... So I'm just going to wait for a little bit and listen. Okay. Okay. They haven't started, like, smacking down the door. Like, at all. Like... I don't know. Oh, he came very close to the door that time. Oh, I need, like, a security camera or something like that. Man. I know I'm going to have to go out there. Like, if I stay in here, it's death. They can't break the metal door, but can keep you from closing it if he gets in the door frame. Okay. So what you're telling me is I'm safe. But this... If I don't leave, then I'm just trapped here. So either I... Either I go downstairs, wait a while, do my own thing, then come back. Or... I open the door, try and fight him. I didn't see where the zombie sapper was. I keep saying sapper, but zapper, zapper. Like Zach Braff. Zach Braff, Branick, Branick, oh, yeah. Right, okay. Okay. This feels like a dumb idea. I'm just gonna peek outside. I've made a mistake. Okay, so I need to do control V very quickly. How bad is this on the scale of one to ten? Like a seven? They're both aware of me. Uh, yeah. I don't have any bandages downstairs. I do have two first aid kits on me. I think. Spotted a zombie. Safe mode is on. Thank you, game. So how do I... M okay, okay. Super important question that I'm going to need your help with very quickly. How do I move this corpse? Like, I need to move this corpse very quickly. How do I move the corpse? I'm guessing... G? I'm not going to press anything. So I've got to get the corpse off of that slot, otherwise I'm going to... I'm going <laughs> to... Okay, in... there you go. Stand on it and use that. Can I not do it adjacent? Okay. Well, I'll move. Oh, you haven't. Wait. Yeah, but I, the, I don't want to butcher the corpse. I want to uh, then drag it outside. No, you cannot do adjacent. You must be an advanced bunch. So can I do this menu and then? Directly below you. Okay, that's how. Okay. So I have to move forward. Okay. Okay, this is going to be rough. So I hit that. Okay, here he comes. It's fine, though, because I just... And then he... I know for a fact that I had to smash the corpse. But that's fine. Stand on the corpse and use drag or then drag it somewhere. Okay. Okay, we got there. We got, we also got some gear, apparently. I don't know what a camisole is. If 
you just want to chuck it a tile out the door and add, add from I think I think for now I'm probably just gonna go downstairs have a nice cup of tea and not think about the horror that's literally right outside my door I don't even know where that zapper came from I guess the game's punishing me that way you can avoid line of sight You just want to chuck it a tar out the door. Okay. Well, I don't know how tough comparative um, the shocker zombies are to everything else I've been playing, but I know that the shocker zombies shock you. Shocker, obviously. And by shocking me, they stun me. And by stunning me, they mean that I get stunned and they get opportunity to attack me. So, hmm... I'm still tired. So, there's that. Maybe I go back to sleep for a little bit. Just a little bit, have a nap. Um, and then after sleeping, we... That's time the some... Okay, good to know that the zombies evolve. Okay, well, then... I feel like you're telling me you either kill it now or you kill it later when it's much stronger. I'm going to I'm going to opt for climbing back into bed. No, I don't set an alarm. I just want to sleep a little bit until I'm no longer untired. I'm very hungry but I'm happy. So that's good. I feel safe or I am safe. I left one door open, which was probably dumb. I'm still sleeping. God, dude. Gary. Gary Barlow. Gary Barlow, ladies and gentlemen. Sleeping away. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Live to fight another day every time. Which may... If you check the weapons, the description will tell you if it conducts electricity. I'm using a baseball bat with nails in. So... Inventory... So let's find out. It is not... It does not conduce electricity. Okay, cool. I won't, my hands won't get exploded off. Good to know. I like the idea of not losing my hands. Let's not do that, though. Right. Well, we slept a long time. I'm pretty sure we slept like nine or ten hours. And I'm thirsty and hungry. So I should deal with that. Which is not that way. It's this way. And then I want to stand here. And then I want to hit capital E to consume. And then I want to drink from the teapot of clean water. And I'm still thirsty. Wow. Okay. And I want to eat a little bit. Probably going to finish these potato chips. Which will make me more thirsty. But make me happy. Because you're about to experience something very not happy. You eat a potato chip. You eat a potato chip. You eat a potato chip. And... So basically you can strike without getting hurt. But he can still touch you. Okay. Well, as long as he's not too handsy, that's fine. I'm full. Good. That's what I want. Hopefully being full doesn't mean that I explode when he shocks me. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, I'm doing the mouse thing I said I wouldn't do. Trying to not play the game with a mouse. Okay, he's just outside. I don't think he left. I think this fight has to happen. Like, I can't just stay down here for the rest of... Well, I guess that is what the previous inhabitant um, probably did. <sighs> God. So, like, Gary Barlow is like... He's no fool. He knows he can't stay down here for the rest of his life. I'm going to need to go outside. 
me and Gary Barlow are, are of one mind at the moment. You can outweigh them if you're quiet enough and wait long enough. They do wander off. But he, I have wait, I've been down there for 12 hours and that thing is just like right by the door. I know, I know, I know I shouldn't fight it. But I kind of want to. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to wait a little bit to see if... Do you have any other options to help fight it? I'm going to do some very quick waiting. Just to see if it's around. Okay. Uh, I have a gun with no ammo. I have... Okay, I'm making a little bit of sound down here. Okay, I said I wouldn't use the mouse, and yet I do. Uh, I have... Let's do Control v to see all the items. So... Okay, I can't, can't really see anything. I've got, I've got a chainsaw. Can I craft traps? Okay, now you're talking above my pay grade here. Traps. Traps. Traps, 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 traps. That's an other. Traps. I could make a nail board trap if I hadn't burnt burn all my... Planks. I saw mention the fact that there was a smell animate. You could wait until your lab dissipates if you don't die of hunk. I mean, I was hoping the zombie bot buddy would. So I have a hammer. Wait, do I have a hammer or did I put that in my bag? Uh oh. Right oh, raggy. I mean, I could if I if I if it. If it comes to a pinch, then I could. I also have, apparently... Uh, I don't know why I'm capital V. I've got a shovel, a wood saw, a jackhammer, screwdriver set, hand crank charger. Maybe I could, like, charge him up. Maybe it'll like, explode. I don't think any of these answers are what I need. Hmm... So, I mean, I could disassemble some of the furniture and then from that get planks. Then from that get a nail board and then from that get the trap and then hope that it does enough damage to kind of kind of F him over. I think the option's clear. Alright, I need... But I can't do any of that if I don't have a hammer. So I need to double check... No, I don't have a... I need to double check my little pile down here. To see if I had a hammer in the pile. Uh, capital V. No. I don't have a hammer. Because the hammer was in my bag that I dropped. So I can't... So unless there's a hammer around that I haven't seen, which I don't think so, but hey, you never know. Wood saw, yeah, paper wrappers, fly shot, syringe. Can I craft one? Uh, a first playthrough. How many days have you gotten through now? I'm on third day. I found a... Hello, by the way, little Mike. Uh, I found a... Uh... Last man on earth shelter. Makeshift hammer would be in... I've already made... My my previous hammer was a made hammer. Yes. though th There is now a shocker zombie sitting outside the last man on earth shelter. So I'm kind of trying to devise a way not to get horribly electrocuted and die. So I would like to make a makeshift not pot. Not copper pot. Makeshift steth stethoscope, no. Stone hammer, makeshift hammer. I would need one heavy stick or plank, which I could get. One chunk of steel or lump of steel, which I could get. Two short... Okay, the string might be the biggest problem. 
So if you have a crowbar, it will work. I do have... Wait. Crowbars can be used as hammering items. Uh, oh, they can. Okay. Thank you, Mips. Thank you. Press F to find. Cool, cool, cool. I have a makeshift crowbar, so why can I... No, I don't. I dropped my makeshift... Sh oh, God. Man, I just dropped all my tools. And down here... No, I didn't I didn't drop my makeshift crowbar down here. It's in my bag on the road. Like two miles back. So okay. Maybe it's better off to make a makeshift crowbar then. Because if I make a makeshift crowbar, F Bro. All I need is a pipe. And I swear I saw pipes somewhere. Oh, I need a hammer to make the crowbar, though. Okay. That's not great. <laughs> oh, I feel like a man who's desperate. I'm the desperate man right now. Uh, I want a hammer, please. Smash a metal shell. So, we want to start with making the makeshift hammer. Because I'm going to need a hammer to make... Wait. No, that can't be right. Tools required to make it. One tool with hammering of one or more. So I need a hammer to make a hammer. Is that right? Am I reading that wrong? I feel like I'm reading that wrong. Unless I have a... So do you need a hammer to make a hammer? I feel like that is... I'm trying to think what else you would need. I do have a sledgehammer. Does that work? No. Here we go. Where's the sledgehammer? I know it's here. It's over the side. Yeah, there's a sledgehammer here. Uh, jackhammer. It has... I want to inspect the jackhammer. It's green, so you already have one. Oh, okay. Thank you, Ethan. Smashing a metal shelf for now would be good. And you can use a board to smash a shelf. Well, if if it's green, that means I have the... It might be on the floor in the area. It might be indeed. So, F, hammer. Yeah, I don't want to make that. So I need a heavy stick or plank, which I can get. Rock I can't get. Okay. So yeah, you're saying I need to smash a metal cabinet. Now let's just double check that there's nothing in the immediate area that I'm missing. The question is, does the, does the display rack have metal in it? And I don't know. Oops, don't do that. And Oh, there's pipes here. There's Frickin' pipes here. But that would work for smashing. Well, we needed pipes to make the thing. The makeshift crowbar. Yeah. So, I don't know why I keep comparing. So... Yeah. If we do the... I don't know. If, we're not going to be able to do it without any light. But... Makeshift crowbar. There you go. So we can get the crowbar straight away. Uh, but I'm going to need light to do it. It does conduct electricity, so I can't use it uh, as a weapon. And I can't see to craft. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, maybe we grab... Let's be resourceful here. And we grab the... So if I want to grab one pipe... I, how do I... Okay. No, I don't... I want to grab a pipe from that bit there. God. Anyway, I'm going to grab the thing next to me first and pick that up. 
I guess I could have done that. Wait, did I not grab it? Boxing monthly grab. Yeah, there we go. Capital D. Game is saving. Drop there. Drop the boxing monthly. Because I don't need it anymore. Then grab the pipe. Which is G. How, so from can from this menu, can I grab one item? Like, is there any way that I just hit like at, like a number, or do I will I accidentally grab all eight? Like that's what I'm curious about, because there's eight pipes there, but I only need one. Little Mike four four five times two. That's a name. Grab menu. If you press one and then press right, you only pick up so one and then right. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So now I can go here and I can go not here. I can go E there. Start a fire. Go to the chair because I think you get a bonus for crafting in chairs. I think I was told. And then I don't go to that menu. I go to this menu. I go makeshift crowbar. Oh, it would have done it anyway. Okay. You craft the makeshift crowbar from memory. Perfect. Now we have a makeshift crowbar again. Which I probably should have had anyway. Where is it? Where is it? I didn't pick it up, did I? It's still on that tile, isn't it? No, it's in my inventory somewhere. I don't know why I care where it is, but I do. I feel it like it would be in tools, but I can't see it. I feel like I'm blind. Matchbooks. Where is it? Control V. I'm not completely... Oh, it's there. Okay, that's why I couldn't see it. What's going on with the game then? I On the cupboard. Thank you very much. Cast iron frying pan makes it crowbar. Appreciate that. Uh, I found a last man on earth shelter, BD. I am now stuck in the last man on earth shelter because there's a zombie that shoots electricity out of its hand hanging by the door. So I'm trying to get to a position where I make a trap so it comes in and then I let it in and it batters, I batter its head in while it's stuck in a trap. So now we're at the point where we can make the trap. Uh, so I go to other... And then I want to make a trap. So I need three nail boards. Two nails. Is this game from the 80s? Yes, sure. Why not? Why not? I don't, I don't think a game like this could have run in the 80s. I think would, the computers would have exploded. But hey. So I have a screwdriver in my inventory. I'm pretty sure I do. So, I just want to... I need planks to make nail boards. More like 2010-ish with daily updates. Yes. So, I want to do... This menu, I want to filter to deconstruct, which I can't do. Can I not deconstruct because I need light? Or can you deconstruct in the darkness? See, they're, they're explaining better than me. Okay, I'll toggle that off. Build improvised shelter. I don't want that. Deconstruct, 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 deconstruct. Oh, there's an F function. Decon. Yeah. Keepo, I'm... Deconstruct furniture. One tool with hammering of two or more. Okay. 
I can't many. No, I instead I, I found a last man on Earth shelter, and I'm just gonna have to smash things, aren't I? Uh, I found a last man on Earth shelter, and I got planks six and some nails. Okay, and a nail. Yeah, I found a last man on Earth shelter. Went into it, was all happy. Uh, then I went to go leave, and there's a shocker zombie sitting outside waiting for me. So I'm kind of trying to build some traps. Just a few. As many as I can. So I've got three nails and six planks. So I need to then go to the crafting menu and I guess make a nail board? Or will it do it for me? Traps. So I need three nail boards. So... Nail... Board. Nail board. I need one tool hammering, one heavy stick or one plank of six. So I need more nails. I would check the corner in the lower left carefully. You mean upper right? Apparently there's something about one of these corners. Like people keep saying, go near the corners but don't do anything. I'm so curious about the corner now. Lower left. Lower left, oh, okay. There's lower left, there's upper right. I've been in the low. Okay, it's my fire. I freaked out there for a second. I was like, I'm going to die. I'm in the lower left. Wait, what is it here? There's water, there's filters, there's pipes. I'm just, you make, you're freaking me out, Keepo, so I'm going to close this door. You're freaking me out. Um, so I need more nails. Well, take a pipe to that air filter. I don't want to. I don't know what's there. I mean, do you want to be spoiled? I don't want, particularly want to be spoiled. I'll figure it out. So you guys are now indicating that I really shouldn't look out the confines of my safe little last man on it. Right, I'm going to smash this, by the way. Hopefully there's some nails there. There's some nails there. All right, that's capital E. I got one nail. Great. No good. So this is a desk. And that what does that desk have in it? It has a file. Uh I'll take it to burn it. Cool. And then I'll smash. I mean the longer it takes to womp, the more nails I think I'm gonna get from it. Okay. So then I will take six nails. Okay. No, I guess I want all of it because I can use the splintered wood for fires. Uh, E. Yeah, I'll take it all. It's actually beneficial to you. It's just the method is spoilerish. It's fine. It's fine. There's no helping some people. It's fine. Figure it out in time. So what the hell's in the... So there's something... You, you're saying there's something here, but you're also saying there's something here. Which I don't get. That... You... You heard a swish from here. What? What? But that wasn't the door, was it? Rebounding. Okay, so I want to drop into that slot. And I want to drop the... Uh, the file. I don't care about the file. That can be dropped. And... Splintered wood can go as well. 
That's usually that's usually your own door. I like the preface there, just in case. Okay. So now I want to go here. And I want to... Don't hit that. I want to go to... Yeah, I can do a bunch of things. Wooden needles. I can't make... Yeah, because I need nail... I need three nail boards. Oh, God. So I'm guessing it's some weapons for a nail board. No. Armor? No. Yeah. F. Nail board. I have enough nails for a nail board now. Yeah. I've got ten. <sighs> If, uh, the task is too simple to train your fabrication beyond one. You start working on the nail board. You drop your file into the wood stove, sprint the wood. Um, you feel your left foot getting warm, you feel your right foot getting warm. You drop your splinter wood into the wood stove, you craft nail boards from memory, you drop your nail board into the into the cupboard. Yeah. I don't know why he's doing that, why he's dropping it to the cupboard, but hey, if he wants to do it that way, he can do it that way. Um, so we'll leave the nail board there because it's not super important. I need to disassemble some other stuff. But what? But what? What are these books? Crime novel, samurai novel, war novel. I don't know if these have any value to them. Samurai novel. I imagine these don't have any real value to them. Other than maybe entertainment. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can learn something from the mystery, sports and war novels to, you know, become a genius. They can make you happy. If only that was the same in real life, eh? Nah, I'm joking. Wow, that was quick. Dude just, like, smashed that. Um, okay. Oh, 12 nails. Yes, please. Yep. Okay, I've gone above volume. That's fine. Occasionally there are journals or entertaining reads that also contain recipes or training skills. They're fairly rare. Okay. So what you're telling me is I should do the thing where you flick through very quickly. So I'm also going to go capital D, drop there, find all of the splintered wood, which is one, and drop it. Look at that unexplored corner. Doesn't it bother you? No. It's just, it's just my back room. This is my new house. It's just my back room. You know what bothers me? This place feels like it should be completely square, and yet there's this weird area here that that seems to be indicated to me that this should be, this should be something here. I don't know. I'm getting mixed messages. I don't know where to go. All right, anyway, what was I doing? I was making another... Maybe I can make two. That'd be nice. Nail board. Can I batch make two more nail boards? Perfect. And then I want to go back into inventory, go to trap. I know this took a long time and I apologize. I know. I don't know what the difference between the two are. I guess it's just I don't see any difference. I guess it's just how you make them. Okay. So we're going to make a nail board trap. Hopefully I don't fail. It's impossible for me to... But no. Time to complete. Yeah. You're killing it. Thank you. Hopefully I don't get killed. You put the nail board trap in the cupboard. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's have a little look. Let's grab it. 
Kipo, you're like, I, I was thinking, what's Kipo like? Kipo's like that little devil that's on your, like, on your shoulder. I guess that makes you the angel on the other shoulder, Omnivore. Alright, let's pick up the trap. Cool. I'm really encumbered, so... Let's... Drop some things. Drop some planks of wood here. Yeah, I've got 14 planks of wood that can go down there. Cool. We're in an alright position. <laughs> if you ignore that there's a zombie upstairs. So I've never used traps before. There's nothing scary. It's not about being scary. It's a mystery. So do I have to activate the trap? In a certain position. Do I, I? I guess I don't want to be standing. I need to place. Thank you. I would totally try and earn your trust before betraying it. <laughs> it is what this is. The trust hole. Okay. A to activate it. Well, that A to place. Will that place on the square I'm on though, Ethan? Or will that place? Do I get to set where I want to place it? I guess I should find out. I just don't want to let... I guess it wouldn't make sense for them to give you traps that you put on your feet and immediately get trapped in. Because I want it to be in front of the door, so I open the door, and then he comes in, and then I smash his head in. I try... I attempt to smash his head in. You can set it... Okay. Good place. Oh, where do you want to play? I want to go... North. Around here. Cool. Okay. Do I need to remove the corpse there as well? Because there's also a corpse. Or is that fine? Like, the, the corpse isn't going to get in the way. I don't... Okay, cool. So now I just need to open the door. <laughs> okay. Okay. That, that was about 20 minutes of setup for what is ostensibly... And run. So I'm not going to stay and fight him. Oh. Does it, like, explode outwards? I don't know. I didn't actually read the description of the nail ball trap. So maybe I should do that. Let's find out. I'm going to read the trap description because I... These are several pieces of wood nailed together with some nails sticking straight up. If an unsuspecting victim steps on it, they'll get nails through the foot. Okay. But you're suggesting Lermoride leg Legget. Okay. I'm thinking I hold my ground. He comes in, steps on the nails, screams, or does whatever a zombie does. Uh, no, just run to a position where the zombie will walk into the trap. Well, oh, because it can fight me. Okay. Okay, yeah. So really, I should stand... Okay, I've got it now. I should stand, like, here? Because then he'll walk directly at me. What you're saying is he'll try and... He can fight diagonally, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I didn't really... See, the diagonal play, it threw me off. I'm, I was very confused. Okay, okay. Can I open the door this far away? Can I, like... Nah, okay. Probably not. No. No no chance of getting like a broom and pushing the door open then, eh? Kind of very Canadian there. Okay, I'm gonna take one quick drink and then we're gonna kinda So essentially I've got a stand below and then go diagonally up. Okay. Like in one swift movement. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. I can definitely do that. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay, here we go, guys. This is it. This is the moment we've been building to. No more hype. No more suspense. This is it. I'm going to go in three, two, one. That's a closed metal door. That's an open metal door. I'm well aware there's this half a zombie there. Steps onto the spike board. Okay. 
I smack him in the face. He dodges. He zapped me. I am zapped. He has hurt my torso and he has hurt my left arm. He's dead. I need to immediately move over his... No, 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 no. I need to immediately move over his corpse and... No, don't yell. Don't... <laughs> okay, there we go. Don't forget to eat. Don't worry, Mibs. I'll eat. I'll eat. I'll eat this delicious zapper zombie corpse, which I should butcher before I get cocky. He's dead. He it is dead. Pulp zapper zombie. Pulp. Yeah. Okay. What did it have on it? Compression shorts. Great. It didn't actually have anything on it. Victory cry. I got way too cocky there for a second. Way too cocky. Um, yeah. So. Now, this is just as important. There's still a spike board trap there. Uh, and it gave me an indicator that I shouldn't tread on it. So I guess I've got to pick it back up or disassemble it. Or smash it. I don't really know what the protocol here is for removing your own traps. E. There we go. Disarm. Yes. Pick up. Okay, I'll take the nail board trap. It is in good condition. Mate, the nail board trap here was the hero. I just placed it. Right. So, I mean, that freaks me out every time. I'm going to drop the spike board trap in. I guess I should hold on to the spike board trap. I've got like almost no volume. So, you're saying. That this is a thing. I'm. I, I want to check this out now. I think. Do I have to break it or can I climb over it? No. Nah, okay. Definitely have to break it. Do is this useful in any way? The uh, air filter, or can I break it and it doesn't really have any consequences? Like, am I shooting myself in the foot by breaking this? AFK, it's not a thing, but who knows. As far as I am aware, I know it's not a thing, but who knows. I mean, Kipo, who has probably pieced out, I don't know, you might be lurking back there, is adamant that there's a thing here. He was dead adamant. I'm going to have another drink, by the way. That's a victory drink. He said I should break this. He said he'd earn my trust before he broke it. I don't know. I'm a pretty trusting person, so. I feel lied to. God damn it. <laughs> You just made me smash that air for your cry for nothing. I already did. I already smashed it. There's so much noise around. You got me, Keeper. You got me. Ah, oh, well, you know. I hope I hope that was as enjoyable for you as it was for me. Okay. So we got to kind of do a bit, a bit of scouting quickly. It is the middle of the night, so this is probably the best time. So I'm going to head out and grab all my tools and food. Because I had a bag that I left. Like there? That I need to bring back. And my inventory is way empty enough for me to grab all of it. 
So we're just gonna. You see, you see here one pulp corpse of a zombie and one many more item. Um, can I? One question: Can I get anything from butchering a zapper zombie? Does that give you any rewards? Because I know that if you butcher like zombie technicians or something, you can get CBMs. That I'm aware of. But what about a zapper zombie? Zapper zombie. Zapper zombie. Yeah, two Zs. Tongue can't get around it. Zapper zombie. Um, because that would be in capital B, right? And then I'd wanna not from the zappers. Okay. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's me. Okay, I freaked out there for a second. I saw a figure and I realized that I'd moved forward and it was me. Yeah, but it's uncommon and you need a tool with fine cutting. I have a tool with fine cutting. Like, really uncommon. I mean... So, B for butchering, zap a zombie. Can't see. Okay, I need light. Because I, yeah, I guess it's not super worth it. Try in the daytime. Yeah, I'll go for a little explore now. And by explore, I mean getting my stuff. I probably should close that door, though. Because, don't use the mouse. Because if a guy walks in and I get sprung. Not early game, so it's so rare it's not. Okay. Worth it. Fair enough. I feel like, ostensibly, there are, there are more zombies. Wait, why is there so much blood here? Blood splatter. Oh, my pulp zombie dog. That was me. Okay. I've been down there so long. So long. Well, let's keep going at the very least. Uh, I should probably zoom out to see if I can see anything. No, not really. So my memory is like a bit hazy, I guess, is how that is interpreted. So let's zoom back in a little bit. Not too much. If I'm going to see anything, I'm going to probably walk into it almost immediately, though. So there's always that. How close am I to the houses? Not very close. Good. But yeah. That lily slowed me down proper good. by making a noise of two and zero. Apparently, I was told that cigarettes are good, that if you want to mask your smell from zombies, because cigarettes make you smoky and it's hard for them to smell you. I either heard that or was told that or read it somewhere. But hey, where the hell am I? Oops, that's a capital M. There's no forest here. Why is there a forest? I'm so confused. Why is that there? Oh, it's the little buildings. Ah, oh, this is this is moose territory. Oh god, I remember this. Music's freak. There we go. Music's freaking me out a little bit because uh, I swear I'm hearing like a little crunching sound every now and again. There we go. Yeah, that is my items. So I want to pick everything up and I want to do that quickly. So I want to do this. And I want all of it. Oh, my first aid kits are in there as well. Okay. So my aspirin, my chili peppers, my first aid kits times two. Four times four. I have four. My jar of pickled... My disposable batteries, my liverlicious recipes book, my second makeshift crowbar, my slings, my outdoor adventures book, 
my wielding goggles. I swear I had a hammer. Did I? Oh, I must have left that at home. Okay. Okay, there is a lot of these. Probably 11. How many of the... There's 18. Oh my. It's probably a quicker way to do this, right? Like shift click or something. Uh, bottles of water, which is very important for me to go traveling. Plastic bowl of vegetable salad, which I should probably eat. Programmer Rick. Comma moves everything. Thank you. There you go. Now we're at the end of everything. Yes, I'm hacking the system. Vanson. Good to see you back again, by the way. Mate, I'm like entrenched in this game, Vanson. Utterly entrenched. This this game to me is like Valorant to you. Right. So we'll head back. Whatever. <laughs> you just got it. I just got it. It's free, mate. You, you can get it. Anyone can get it. This game is... You just got... Pouty pout, man. Did you hit up Crockster, by the way? He's been around recently. You should hit him up. It's free real estate. Not yet. Okay, okay. Don't be antisocial now. Play with the other kids. So I don't really know the level of danger that's around me at the moment, but I do know that the last man on earth shelter is pretty safe. He hasn't added me yet, but he followed me yesterday. Yeah, because he uh, he was AFK, but because I raided you, he like came along. Uh, and because I've been hyping you up to him, saying that you're amazing and an a and a platinum level Valorant player or whatever. Oofed. Stop the cap. Oof. Oh, Emperor Vanson, by the way, I got three anonymous gift subs. Uh, that may have been you. Uh, but I'm now one away from an emote. Second emote. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Let's zoom in because this is dumb. I'll get five more. I dare you. Go on. I double I double dip dare you. Triple I triple trip tray you. Just make my emotes. <laughs> you well you only have one slot at the moment, so you're fine. I'll make you an emote, but you won't like it. It's gonna be your face doing the uh pog champ face. Alright, anyway. I'd love it. I need to zoom out because I don't like I feel claustrophobic. There we go, it's better. So we got all my items back. It's great. I'm loving it. Uh is the fire still going? Yes it is. Well while I'm here, I wanna have a quick flick through these no, capital R. Um Ethan would never forgive me if I did anything but capital R. Requires intelligence from six. It's an easy read. Reading this book affects your morale by three. Okay. So apparently I'm too dumb to read that book. But it doesn't give me anything. Have fun. I'll see you in a bit. You know it. Uh, yeah, I'll start work on trying to make it a moment. I'm going to have to go through one of your VODs and get a good reaction shot. Uh, mystery novel. Requires intelligence. I'm really dumb for all these books. You know it. Oh, I got see you in a bit. See you in a bit, Vanson. I got confused between because you're both red named on my screen. So the mystery novel is samurai novel. Let's have a look. I did the wrong menu again, didn't I? Yep, I did. Okay. Sports Illustrated doesn't look like I can get anything out of them. But that's fine, because it looks like I'm, I'll enjoy reading them. But that's fine. I'm going to have another drink. I'm actually dr drinking a two-litre bottle of uh, Coke Zero. So if my internals explode, you'll know why. 
Can I read anything out? Tailoring to free. First aid to free. Oh, wasn't I like very almost done with this book? And then it went dark. And my first aid increased to one. Wow, the timing on that one. Do I need this book for anything else? The big book of first aid. Oh, I guess I do. Outdoor Adventures has some recipes. What what recipes does it have? I need light to see it there. Uh, let's see what recipes I need to go to. Does advanced inventory tell me? No. Not in the way I want to do it. So I have to do inventory and then outdoor adventures and then enter. And then it will teach me. I'm guessing it. I'm guessing if it's uh, light gray, I know it. And if it's dark gray, I don't know it. Question mark. Or I can't know it. Because I know, I know I know fish bait. I think. So maybe white is I know it. Oh, you know it. Okay. Oh, wait, no. You just said you know it. So... Okay, yeah. I just thought you said... You, yeah. I saw the last thing you said, Ethan, and I was like, Oh, you said you know it. You're agreeing with me. So... Yeah. All the T's. I think I can't learn the T's until I get my... White is you know it. Grey is learnable. And... And the, like, grey-brown is, like... It's too hard. Probably because of my cooking. I imagine. Brown, yeah, yeah. Probably because of my cooking. Because my cooking is... Where is my cooking? Cooking is zero, but I'm almost to one. Could be from a lot of factors. Fair enough. It looked like it was just... I just say it's cooking because it looked like it was mostly teas. I don't want to compare. Well, signal flare isn't tea. Pro fishing rod isn't tea. Pro hobo stove isn't tea. But, like, the teas, the brews and stuff. So, yeah. Okay. So I should have... I should have this book nearby my crafting area, which is apparently this spot for now. So I should drop this, capital D, drop it there, go door to Outdoor Ventures. I should have this nearby so I can read it while I'm working. That's how it works, right? Yeah, I'm just going to have the book to the left there, so it's in my crafting area. And my cooking area, my, my, my like, Mr. Does It area. Wait, I said the wrong thing. <laughs> Mr. Does It is a uh, subscriber. Um, can be so used while crafting. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So, so this wall here is this metal wall here apparently has a secret in it. Then, Ethan, a tiny, tiny secret. You say. So, like a jackhammer secret? A chainsaw secret? Oh, the jackhammer is something different. Can I jackhammer the wall? Can I jackhammer the wall? Don't need tools. Don't need tools. That is a metal wall. Oh. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Okay. Well, there's not too, too much here. There's only one gun. Uh, two guns. There is a ro pipe rifle, which... Yeah. And then there's this thing. So there's... Okay, there's more than two guns. There's also... Dried rice and a plastic bag of flatbread. So, you know, you had to tell me that because otherwise moldy smells would be coming through the walls. The Ma Ma Marilyn 39A. Why are they pink? Is that because they have no ammo? 
pipe rifle. Hmm. Hmm. I imagine if I... So it uses... Not that good stuff, but it's something. Yeah, I mean, it feels... It feels in balance with, like... What's going on for me? I don't feel like I like it's like I've just been given like a mini gun or something like that. Um, it uses two twenty-two LR rounds, and I don't have any twenty-two. Red is no ammo on you. Okay. The uses twenty-two LR rounds. Green is ammo on you. Okay. What is that? Is that ammo or a gun? That's ammo. Okay. So I don't have ammo for these guns, is what I'm pretty sure I'm saying. Wait, there's ammo down the bottom that the game isn't really telling me what it is. Oh, it is. That... <coughs> Bless you. Bless me. Bless everyone. Oh, I got some dog food as well. Yay. Hey. Right. Well, let's grab the flatbread. I mean, I guess I want to eat the flatbread. Yummy. Plastic bag. Right. Yeah. Hey. It's flavorful, though. I found this secret area. I was super excited. And then I was disappointed. I guess that's like a super secret bunker for my bunker. I feel lied to about this, though. Lied to... That is a metal wall. There is nothing that can be closed here. He got me good, by the way. He got me good. Real cheeky, that lad. Uh, what time is it? It is midnight, and I'm not tired at all. Um, so I probably want to craft things. Right? Probably want to use the time sparingly. What would I need, though? I could make a funnel. Uh. Uh. Make a throwing stick. I could make a pointy stick. I think I was being told to make a spear when I can. My cooking is almost one, so I should probably try and cook something. Food. I have some dehydrated eggs. How do I make eggs? F. Eggs. Nope, no eggs. How do I... How do I re-scramble my eggs? Maybe I can't because I don't know how. Because I am an idiot. I don't have any of that. Cooked mutant meat. Yum. Cooked creep. Rehydrated meat. Meat sandwich. Hot dog. Veggie. Fruit. Cooked mushrooms. Take the ammo at least. Cheese nachos. I will grab the ammo. Cheese fries. Meat meat nachos. Nice. Cook TV dinner. Honey. Cucumber. Pasta. Seeds. Barley seeds. And other. So if I just accidentally walked into that by accident, then I would have just walked in and opened it. That was a double double negative it felt like, but hey. Pineapple. I'm picking up the actual rifle, okay. I want the ammo? I'm guessing this is the ammo. Wait, I do have twenty no, I don't. 
You pick up the pipe rifle. The rifle's the gun, yeah. Okay. And the ammo's the ammo. So, yeah. I guess for now I'll collect all of the uh, guns and just put them on one square so I've got them. I guess the flare gun counts as a gun. Probably doesn't function in the exact same way you'd want it to, but I guess if I wanted to start some fires. Uh, then we want to go D, drop there, and we will drop U, U, and U. And they're all there. Cool. So I've got the guns. The guns exist. Uh, and what did I have here? V, flashlight, lighter, glow stick, pocket knife, folding knife, small fire extinguisher, medical tech. Okay. Medical tape will probably be real important when I get my bones broken. Oh yeah, and the fuel. Which is also important. So I need to... No, that's consume, which I keep doing. Splintered wood and free plaques. And we'll take the nails for now. Why not? Let's live dangerously. So... My question is, if I start a fire, can I make more things? I guess the fire would have to exist. It's a drop where there. Can you drop in the splinter wood, please? Cool. And then move there, capital D. Nope. Shift D there. And I'll use these three planks for doing things. Um, and then I will E, wait, no, I feel like I did that wrong, E, start a fire, cool, pretty sure I almost set that book on fire, pretty sure, so now I can go, and go to food, cook fruit. That's all I can do. Okay, that's fine. Cook some fruit. Batch. I can put one, one. Um, what do I want to do with the cooked food? I guess I have to put it in a container. Hmm. I'm peckish, but I'd rather have it in a plastic bottle. Okay, now I craft cooked fruit from memory. You pour it into a container. I was hoping to also make the eggs because I have dehydrated eggs. Do luck scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs. What's the difference? Powdered eggs, two of 16. Uh, portions, quenches, eight. Shelf life of... Um, two days. Shelf life of two days. I guess I'd make the deluxe because it would probably use other skills? Question mark? Doesn't seem to use any different resources. So let's go over to that. And there we go. Just dump them there on the cabinet next to me they have a shelf life of two days they are literally on a shelf at the moment so there's that <laughs> um yeah do i want to do anything else though do i want to do anything else still hoping to be a bit tired but i guess i'm not so we'll just can I read this at the moment? I think I can. We'll read. I did it the wrong way. Dulux adds meat. Okay. So I had meat on me. Interesting. I didn't realize I had any meat on me. I put a plank of my last plank of wood while I'm reading. 
I'm thirsty and very hungry. Luckily, there's food literally right next to you, dude. And the fire went out. I learned a bit. Right, let's... Uh, capital E, consume. Uh, shelf life of three days, shelf life of two days. Have some of that. And you're thirsty, so have some water. Water. There we go. I'm st my focus is all right. It's not great. It's not terrible. Um, the background sounds are a little bit creepy. Hopefully, my character Gary Barlow is not hearing that. Uh, let's quickly. So if I do the grab menu, and then you said type one, it does one. Okay. So then if I do the D menu, drop it. And then I guess I could burn these novels. But would I want to do that? Would I want to do that? Probably not. Probably not. Um, and then G to grab. And then one. Enter. Nope, that's wrong. G to grab. Left. One. Grab. Cool. Got one on me. Dump it. No, don't do that. Capital D. Drop it there. Go to plank. Pick up plank. Drop plank. Plank is now on the ground. Now stand next to it because I had issues doing this before. E activate. Go there. Start a fire. Perfect. Uh, there was something I wanted to try very quickly. Uh, I inventory. No, that won't work. I want to do advanced inventory. I want to go over to this side and I want to move the MB3 player over to my inventory. Then I want to go up to here and close the door. Then I want to go to I for inventory. MP3 player off. Activate. You put in the ear bars and start listening to music. Then I want to... Continue reading my food book. And then I want to read. I just want to see how this works. Okay, so guitars, music, guitars. I mean, all power to Gary Barlow for being able to read and listen to music. That would, like, proper do my head in. Oh, come on. Level two, cooking. Look at that. Well done, Gary. Very proud of you. Turn the MP... Oh, wow, that used a lot of batteries. Activate. You turn the MP3 player off. Probably leave the MP3 player on this table. Because I'm pretty sure it'll also be the top thing on the thing. Uh, yep, you don't do that by doing that. You do that. Yeah. That's a deluxe looking MP3 player. Right. Am I tired yet? No, not really. I might as well go night scavenging then. Wait, it's the morning. Okay. That's fine then. This is where I go upstairs and realise I've left the door open. Okay, I, got... I panicked there for a second. There's a zombie. Where? No, not that. Where is that, comparative to me? Uh, X. I mean... Aware of my presence, hostile. Okay. Uh, any other enemies? No, just a zombie. Okay. How close is it now? 21 meters? Okay. So what you're telling me is I should move. What a fat zombie to the northwest. Okay, this is bad. 
Okay, it went from not too bad to pretty bad. Spotted a fat zombie to the west. Oh, I don't care about him. I care about him. Yeah, I'm aware of them. Spotted fat zombie. Okay, there's a lot of fat zombies, apparently. That one has purple hair. Yep. Spotted feral runner. Okay. Maybe I'm going back inside. Maybe. I mean, if the feral runner sees me, then I have to fight a feral runner. That fat zombie there is like... What happened to that... Fat zombie got the crap beaten out of it. So I might want to stay and hold my ground. Seems to be the better option of the two things that I could do. I've got my first aid kits again now, so that's good. Um, I need to clear up the area a little bit because if I'm going to stay here for an extended amount of time, which I don't even know if I am, still got the mission to go down to the evac center. That is my goal. I kind of, but you know. I'm going to move away from the Feral Runner, because I don't think I want to fight it. If you can fight them one at a time, that would be optimal. I mean, if I fight them in the, in the doorway, I think it's one at a time, right? But the problem is I'm fighting zombies then in the doorway. None of them is too dangerous. Okay. I mean, this zombie that's right next to me... Oh, I'm slightly hot. Uh, apparently that zombie has no health. Or I can't get in it. I can't ascertain. This zombie's at full health, but that's fine. If I'm smart about this, and that is a big if, but a zombie to the south, that's fine. It grabbed me. What is that fat zombie and now the game is like, hey. So. That, so the zombie with really low health has seen me. The decayed zombie hasn't seen me. The fat zombie with no health apparently. Does that mean the zombie literally will die in one hit? I hope that's what that means. Uh, but while we're here, multi-tool. Is that, multi-tool sounds good. Rolling paper and tobacco. Oops, don't hit that. Spotted zombie. Where? That zombie. That zombie... Seems like it will die very quickly. Yes. You can also use the train to help. Like making... Yeah, yeah. I was trying to get lure that zombie into a bush. I don't know where that other zombie is. What is that fat zombie? I'm well aware. I know I can hit full stop to kind of make them come nearer. Okay, he's like destroying the bushes? Okay, he died. You hear a whack. Why do I hear a whack? I care more about hearing a whack than... Okay. The corpses are thoroughly pulped. Cool. The corpse is thoroughly pulped. Cool. Cool. Can... So the feral zombie hasn't seen me. The fat zombie is chilling by the car that I didn't know was there. And that's it. Let's see what they had on them. No, that's not. So if I do control V and I switch it to items... Uh, that's a lot of items. Yeah, that's a bit too hard for me to read, so I'm going to do it the other way. Multi-tool, which I'm going to take. Smartphone has no batteries in, so I'm not going to take it. Uh, maybe the rolling paper and tobacco? Probably won't take the panties, not this time at least. So take that. 
Wrong button. E. Examine. Cash card? Yeah. That's got $500 on it. Not that man matter money is super important, but I understand that there are certain machines in the post post apocalypse world where you can get things from. But it looks like for the most part it's just the cash. Which is fair. Which is fair. Right. So I don't think we took any damage in that in those last few fights. Which I'm quite happy about, but they were Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Things like that. Maybe like I don't know, a rent a cop or something. I almost kind of want to go after that zomb one zombie up there. The... no. Tab. Not you. So you're like the closest, which is annoying. Kind of want to go after him. So... So I haven't been using this function much, but I know there's no... Oh, what's that? That's like, capital P is like a... Ah, interesting. That's like a log menu. Like, it's essentially this, but, like, color-coded. So, P? Nope. Uh, I know there's a peek around. It's capital X. Okay. And then, because through that, I can look around? Yeah. And what do I see with my peeking eyes? I should probably zoom out. Uh, shift. What is that? Steel drum in the middle of the road. How weird. And there is a uninjured zombie that hasn't seen me. Okay. That's so weird. There's just a drum in the middle of the road. Uh, and then I've got to keep using the keep the mount the yeah. Right. Anyway, there's a fat zombie. There's two fat fat zombies. But I don't really care. Fat zombie. Is that the same fat zombie? No, it can't be. Okay, that fat zombie has full health. Okay. Uh, stay away from that. This is a nice little cul-de-sac. If you E, you can hop on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've done that before. Don't crush the roses. I feel really bad every time it suggests that I crush the roses. There's a coat. Seems quite valuable. Uh, I can't see any enemies at the moment. That's probably a good thing. Probably going to do suggest do your suggestion and hop over. Climb obstacle. Yes. Nice. Nice. So this this little area is like locked off. They can't see me at the moment, which is great. Is that a samurai sword? No, it's just a knife. Ooh, there's an upstairs. Oops. I like an upstairs. Okay, so anything there I'd want to take. Maybe the scissors? I don't have scissors yet. Probably the scissors. Uh, let's take the pair of scissors. There's a bunch of things here. I'm also going to go around and close the curtains, I think. I wonder if C closes the curtains. Oh, it does. Cool. Yeah, that, that one can stay open, mainly because it has no curtains, so I can't do anything about it. Uh, e. Coffee maker, teapot. Plastic bottle of forest honey. I'm a oh, by the way, my character's lactose intolerant, so. Tea bags. Yeah. What's in the bin? Marble. Heavy stick. 
I don't know why you put marble in the bin, but there you go. I'm warm. Beauty magazine. I mean, I'll take it. And this book contains two crafting rep recipes, straw fedora and sundress. Hell yeah. Love it. I want that straw fedora. Like, why are you... Get items. Where are you thinking about getting items from? Curry powder. I'll take curry powder. I guess that makes sense. There's nothing here, is there? No. Not like I can see. Oh, that's not good. This is going to be like a... Oh. Oofed. Golf cap, raincoat. Eh. Anything here? Solder. I think solder will be useful. Oh, I can just craft items. I can't do anything. Let's do the bathroom next. Towel. Is a towel useful? I don't think a towel would be useful. Don't, don't, don't do any of that. Water, toilet brush. Bullet plunger. Okay, what about here? Get items. Shaving kit. I think shaving kits have soap in them, and I want soap as well. A cardboard box with toilet paper. I don't think any other thing else is important. Soap bar. Mate, I'm taking all the soap. Spotted fat zombie. Where? Control V. Where? I apparently have like elf eyes and just kind of zoomed in on him like 500 miles away. X. X and then... So I saw him there. Okay. Well, I don't think he can see me. No. He cannot see me. Yeah, that's fine. Spotted fat zombie. I know, I know. Wait, how many fat zombies am I seeing? Uh, tough zombie. Where am I looking? Fat zombie. Okay. So essentially, what the game just told me is don't get too close to this window. Oh, it's like directly below. I see. Yeah, I'm well aware that you can see all these awful, awful things. That's fine. Hopefully, none of them saw me. Spotted zombie? How can I see a zombie? Oh, there. Through the... Okay, that's fine. I don't particularly like this room, I'm going to be honest. Just going to close the door for now. What's that down there? It's the raincoat, isn't it? It is the raincoat. That's fine. We like a good raincoat. Is this upstairs or downstairs? It's downstairs. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. So do you think the guy who owned this house, that was his uh, shelter? Careful. Careful. Am I being too haphazard down here? I guess I am tricking myself into thinking I can see everything. So I haven't seen any enemies yet. There's a lot of rooms down there. Nothing so far. If there was something. Sometimes there are things in basements. Okay. Okay. Luckily, it looks like there isn't anything this time. Duct tape, yes, please. Properly map mechanics. Thor awesome monthly. Yes, please. Get items. 
101 crafts for beginners. Yes, please. What is this? Bubble wrap. Don't think that's useful. Lawn dart. Don't think that's useful. Uh, processor board. Don't think I'm going to be making any computers anytime soon. Take down the large... No. Amplified... No. What is this? What is it? It's a lithium tile. It's a crate. Oh. Wait, I have a... I have a crowbar, right? So I could open that crate, right? But am I going to make a bunch of noise opening the crate? If I can open the crate. I feel like I can open the crate. This game has taught me enough. No. I can't open the crate. Not with my crowbar. I couldn't just go like EI improvised or where is my crowbar? Where is my crowbar? Should be in tools, right? I'm more computer uh, no. Multi tool. Oh, okay. My, oh, it's open already, anyway. Oh, wait. You pop open... You... You attempt to pry open the crate using your makeshift crowbar. You pop open the crate. You hear a crunch. Did I make a bunch of sound doing that? Am I about to die? I feel like I just made, like, a shit ton of sound. Popping that open. I mean, and we'll find out very soon, I guess, because we'll start here smashing upstairs. Okay, I'll have a quick drink. Thank you, Mibsy. All right. So we've got eight bricks, which I don't think I care about. I should really do this. So we got bricks, solder, super glue, screwdriver set. Super glue would be important. Solder would be important. A pair of welding goggles. Wow, just welding goggles for days. Okay, I'm going to go in this room now. Okay, thank God. So, what is in here? Transform the circuit. The guy just, whoever lived here, liked tinkering. So I can open those, but they seem to make a noise. Make a weird crunching sound. Hmm. There's nothing new. There's one, there's two more crates I could open. I am really worried I'm making sound. Yeah. Dust mask. Game really likes dust masks. What are in these boxes? Hand crank charger. Oh, I mean, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Right. Super glue. Super glue. Super glue. Solder. That's about it, really. I could guess I could take a spare screwdriver set if I really felt like it. Might be useful. I think I have a bad habit in these kinds of games of hoarding, so I don't know if I want to be doing that. I mean, I don't want the bricks. Though I do have the brick thing. Right. Anyway. So no one's broken into the house. Which is good. Uh, maybe they have. That wasn't like that before.
Back to X, peek there. No one's there. Okay. Oh, it was like that. Okay. Okay. I thought I'd got some unwanted attention there for a second. Fat zombie. Uh, V? Oh, hey, big boy. He's, like, literally there. Yeah, safe mode is on. That's fine, he has no health. Hey, dude. Why don't you come through this bush? Wow. Wow, he's, like, Matrix-style dodging me. There we go. Now, that would have made noise. So, bowler hat. Uh... Wood ash. So apparently he had some wood on him. Yeah. Alright. Okay. How's it going? Spotted zombie. Control V. Where? Weird that the zo that fat's like so many dodges on you. I am a little bit encumbered, yeah. I think it indicated it was my torso that's encumbered. Uh, your torso encumbrance throws you off balance. I guess either I've been getting really lucky before or really un unlucky then. You know, the part of this game that I've seen that makes me the most worried is... Uh, not the most worried. Uh, driving. Oh, yeah. I am getting more and more heavy, I guess. So, okay. Oh, there's an armored vehicle down there. Okay, so that zombie there has been battered a bit. What I'm worried about is there's a bunch, there's been a bunch of zombies around here that have taken damage. I don't know, do the zombies like usually spawn by taking damage or is something else caused that? Because I'm a bit worried about what... Okay. I'm a bit worried about what could have done more dam... Like, caused damage to zombies. Usually something else. Okay, so there m might be... Something... Nastier. Oh, there's... No, there's one feral zombie, but they're all full health. Okay. Yeah. So, ostensibly, I want to move... Down and away. Best case, it was a wild animal. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Decayed zombie. Okay, he's seen me. That's fine. Don't mind if he comes and has a quick chat. Pretty sure I can kill him in like one hit. Decayed and tough zombie. Okay, that's not what I signed up for. Top zombie hasn't seen me though. That's fine. We'll wait around the corner. I'm that guy who waits around the corner to bug someone. Now the real question is... Oh, he got confused. Oh no, he didn't get confused. And I just smashed his head in, I guess. Wait, did I... Smash that, that zombie back there? I need to go check that. He had a gun. Why do the decayed zombies ha all usually have the guns? That's so weird. I'm going to go to the decayed zombie around here. And I'm going to go smash its head in. There we go. See, that was a bit dumb of me. Let's do... Exclamation mark. Oh, there's no enemies about. Yeah, no enemies. Thorough runner. Okay, where are you? You're way up there. Okay, that's fine. Fat zombie is... Where is fat zombie? He's even further away.
Pretty sure I just climbed over a bush. Can't see the enemies anymore. He still hasn't seen me. That tree is protecting me from his eyesight. Cool. Cool. That was a good exposition. Exposition? No, that's the thing you do when you want to tell a story. Expedition. Oh god, I can just see it down there now. I feel like... I feel like the guy who owned that house owned this bunker as well, and like... I don't know, maybe I'm thinking too much into it, and maybe there's like... Yeah, I feel well good. Well good is probably not the right word, but I feel very good. So we're going to gun room, which uh, thanks to uh, Ethan, I now know about. So I think this says that I have six out of eight bullets of this Wolfer P38. Well, actually, I believe you are right to presume a type of unifying law. Now, that's just how map memory works. I mean, I like to I like to pretend, Ethan, that the guy who owned that house was just like, you know, he was like, you know, he was like, hey, he, you know, he saw all the stuff he had in his down there. He was obviously a bit of a whiz when it came to techno technology, a whiz <laughs> technology. So the Water P-38 is a semi automatic handgun adopted shortly before the second world war. Yeah, okay. Developed due to high production costs of its predecessor, the Luger P-08. The P-38 is... <laughs> I could make my own story. But, Ethan, how much noise would that create for me? And how bad would that be for me in the long run? Um, P3A is also chambered in a 9mm Parabellum. Really happy I could say that word. This early DA slash SA locked breech design would introduce features later on in more modern more firearms, such as the Beretti 92 series, and served Germany until 2004. It uses... It uses 9 by 19 millimeter JHP ammo. And yes, I have. Do I have a magazine in it? Do I have to unload it to check that? Let's, let's test that. Capital U. Unload. You unload your. Okay, there was a magazine in it. So how do I reload? Small R. Reload item. Ah, I'm learning. You reload your... Okay. So, I don't have any more ammo for it. I've got six shots. I tried to remove a wall between two areas of my base while on the second floor of the mall. I finally told it to stop and there was so much activity. The game slowed to a crawl and it was like a hundreds of noise indicators slowly working their way towards my base. I had a feeling I was dead if I finished that. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like you would have died. Luckily for you, you stopped. I'll hold on to the gun for now, I think. Though I am heavily encumbered, like my volume and weight is quite high. I'm very hungry, which I haven't been paying attention to. It's capital E to eat. Capital E to eat, guys. Let's have the cooked fruit. On the peckish, and let's have the salad because I just wanted to get rid of the salad. Apparently, the peppers, chili peppers, my guy won't like. The wilder noise, the wilder the noise, and the longer it goes on, the more canny the zombies seem to be about finding ways around obstacles and through halls and such. Yes, the zombies have not completely lost their intelligence, unfortunately. They still live in some form. 
Well, I mean, in, in an undead form. What was that sound? Hopefully it was me just closing the door. They can be used for ingredients for more pleasant food. So the fridges work, by the way. I mean, not literally do they work, but can I, like... Can I do drop there and then drop the chilies and the pickles into there? And will that retain their only cartridges? Okay. So these will just go out of date regardless of whether I use the fridge or not. So what t we're on almost 9am. Which is fine. 9am is good. Um, now what's the plan? What's the plan? I mean, to be honest, the plan is the fridges and home can store but not conserve. Okay. Can you get a generator running? I guess you can. Because I've there's a generator in here that's not working. So much for that guy's mission, I guess. Not implemented yet. Okay. Okay. So what is that? A public garden and a graveyard. And down there is a small woodland trail and a park. Lots of parks nearby. So where's the nearest shop? Public art piece. Okay, not there. What's the exclamation? Small storage units. Okay, there could be some good stuff in there. Community... Oh, there's so many gardens here. Public space. What's the pink V? Restaurant. Restaurant could be good. All the electronic commodity stuff is only for cars for now. Fair enough. What's the A? Pavilion. Maybe that's good. Music venue. Hmm. I do really want to find out about this. The moonshining place. That then I'm moving further and further away from where I'm trying to go. What is this? Dirt road. Yeah. Wait, how do I zoom out on the map? Can I zoom out on the map? Took all map notes. Blinking. Okay. I don't think I can zoom out on the map. Because they're, they're characters. Burnham. Sounds lovely. Dudley. So yeah, I'm trying to get here. Dudley. The edge of Dudley. That's my final goal. Well, final goal until I get there, I guess. And I am here. So we made good progress today. I'm trying to think. Give me a second. What would be a good strat for me to do right now? Hmm... Hmm. You can get on the roof of your shelter to get a better view of the area. Hmm. Let's try that. I guess it is daytime now, so I can do that. No one's above. Go up. Can anyone see me while I'm up here? Or is that not is that not a thing yet? Like I don't want I don't want any peeping Tom staring out at me. Let's have a look. Not yet. Okay. So I can now see a wider area. So I can't see too much more. In fact I think I can't see any more. Unless they're on so okay. Okay, because that's what I was worried about, being on that roof. But if I can't be seen by anyone, that's fine. What's a D? Small dump. I don't think there's going to be much in a dump for me. Dump. Public art piece. Radio st Oh, wow. Wasn't that a radio station as well? It's a radio tower. I guess the radio station and the radio tower is something different. How does it feel as it unfolds for you? It's like, it's like, la it's like an onion. I like, feel like I've gained a, like a layer 
and then I realize there's more layers to it, and I'm just peeling back. Just peeling back. And then I like it. Feels good. Feel, it, some of it I'm like, because I can see like the, the cusp of some of it, and I'm like, whoa. It, it, if I peek too far into that, then it feels a little bit overwhelming. So some of it I'm like, okay, I'm not going to pay too much attention to that. But the stuff that I'm like learning and like crafting and stuff at the moment is going the right speed. And I'm enjoying that. Very much enjoying it. Um, the one thing that I'm very, like, I don't know, maybe maybe this doesn't actually exist in game. But when I was looking at the key bindings and I'm, maybe it's there now, I saw something that confused the hell out of me. So there's a spell casting key binding. I don't know if I just ruined the game for myself in some capacity, but there's magic? Question mark? Uh, I would guess a mod. But it's in the... There's a key binding for the base game, so maybe there is magic. Maybe this is the point where you tell me to stop looking through the key bindings. Right, so we're on that wall. There is a mysticism mod. That's integrated into your base download. Okay. Not sure anything exists out there. Do you have mods for this in this world? No, this is default down. This is... Wait, did I actually empty my inventory? That was the thing that we were going to do. This is default down. I just went in. I haven't, I haven't really changed anything. Um, I looked at the mods, went, wow, those are some mods, uh, and then went on my merry way. Um, maybe adding magic could be fun, but for now, it's just, it's it's overwhelming as it is, so I don't want to be, like, too, too much. So, D, what would I want to drop from my inventory? So, it's just a placeholder if you have magic mods, like magicism. Okay. Okay. Plastic bottle of hot water, uh, clean water. Forest honey can be dropped. Oops, don't press that button. Small, okay, right. yeah. Maybe I, I'm thinking I'm going to put all of this stuff. Oh, I should probably eat that, by the way. My cupboard, my cupboard, uh, my cupboard scrambled eggs. But we'll do honey. No. Yep. Yeah, yep. Curry powder. Yep. Protein rations. Yep. You guys can go. No, I'll keep a bit of food on me. No, I don't want to drop my boxer shorts. So if it's fresh, I want to keep it on me. Because I, it'll probably go out of date if I don't. Yeah. And we'll keep the cans of dark cola on us. Drop the chewing gum for now. Drop the grey books. Okay, I'll drop that on the table there. The plastic bowl, I don't know why I have on me. Oh, there's more down here. Uh, rolling paper can go in there. Spare parts can go down below. Um, a glass jar can go there. Paper wrappers... Should probably just throw away, but I'll put it there for now. Plastic bag, why not? You know, you might, might want to put your food in a plastic bag. Uh, the nail board trap I should probably not have on me. And I don't know what the multi-tool does. So I'll check that in a minute. But for now, all of that's going to go out. Capital D. No, that's normal D. Capital D. That's normal D. Capital D. So I want to drop these books um i want to drop some soap probably don't need all that soap duct tape light batteries no i'll mm. super glue solder nails uh anything else that seems heavy maybe i should put my the books that i want to learn from down as well 
Yeah, I should do that because I probably don't want to hold on to too, too much. Put the nail board trap down for now and the scissors, screwdriver set or no, screwdriver. Uh, hand crank charger can be put down. Shaving kit can be put down. Slings can be put down and the welders. I'm not wearing them. I'm carrying way too much crap. Mm. Yeah. So I want... So like, yeah. Capital D. Drop. I want all of my... Wait, didn't I drop... Hmm. Oh, I hit escape. No, oh, I do that every time. That's so annoying. If you hit escape, not enter, it cancels everything you're doing. Okay. Well, at least everything's to one page now. Solder, super glue, duct tape. Multi tool replaces screwdrivers, set and screwdrivers, scissors and pliers. Oh, wow. Okay. So, literally get rid of everything that isn't that. What about sewing kit? No, he didn't say sewing kit. Uh, hand crank charger. Nail wall trap needs to be dropped. It's probably incredibly heavy. Shaving kit. Where's my soap? Soap bars can be put down. Plus pack with cigarettes. No, I'll keep that. First aid kits are heavy, but I'd rather have them on me. Plastic baths with tea leaves. I should probably put those. Bottle clean water. I need, do need to fill more clean water. So I'll hit enter. And drop it all. Then I'll go over to the fire. Realize I don't have any fire. Close the door. Save the game, apparently. Hit G. There. Hit. I want to test something. Hit two. No, that doesn't work. Hit one. Never mind. He didn't like that. Okay. Hit G. Left. Two, right? I pick up one plank times two. Cool. Cool. So if I want its number of items, then right. Okay. So if I want to do capital D drop, then go to one, right? Yeah, cool. I'm like learning. You're watching a man learn. How depressing. <laughs> nah, I'm chatting. And plank. No, that's not a plank. There we go. I'm I'm doing the putting one of the things into the into the like fire like the fire stuff the storage space just to get my head around it. Like to I'm doing it more out of learning than necessity. And then I wanna hit E. Cool. And then I want to uh, go to crafting. Welcome to Micromanagement Simulator. Hey! I wanted to make water. It'd be in food, wouldn't it? Clean water. There we go. B for batches. Uh, Probably seven, because I've got seven bottles on me. Pour it into container. Pour one in there. Pour it into container. Pour it into container. Pour it into container. Okay. Got my head around it. I want to do that again, though. And food. Clean water. I meant to do it in a batch. Pour it into there. Yep. And... I've got to remember, B for batch. Uh, I should probably do 10. Right? Pour into container. Yeah. Pour into container. Yeah. 
four inch container, yeah. Four inch container, yeah. Four inch container, yeah. Uh, just put the rest of it in that glass jar. Four inch container, yeah. And then plastic bowl. I didn't actually, I wanted to drink that last one actually. But whatever. Then I want to do, I want to test if capital R works, which it does. Uh, then I want to flick through all of these. Okay. You skim through 101, 101 crafts of beginners. You find out what is in it. You can bring your fabrication skill up to free, which is great. Fabrication seems really important. Well, they all seem important. But this one seems very good. This book contains 35 crafts recipes, bottle jack, scissor jack, make shift jack. I don't know what jacks are, but I guess I'll find out. Telescopic sight. I guess that's the looking. Telescopic pistol sight. Hand crank charger. I've got two of those. Car jacks. Ah, okay. Uh, electric hair trimmer. I mean, you know, if I want to cut my hair. Food co kitchen buddy. That seems important for cooking. Onboard chemistry lab. I don't know what the onboard means, but I guess it's for a vehicle. So a chemistry lab so I can be a chemist. That's cool. Headlamp, yeah, got those. Soda can stove kit. Entrenching tool. I think I have an entrenching tool or I have a makeshift shovel. One of the two. Um, where am I? I've got lost. Entrenching tool, an engineer's hammer, sledgehammer, hacksaw, wood saw, short sledgehammer, shovel, hoe, charcoal smoker, which seems very important. If, it's, if it does what I think it does, which is make charcoal, which is very important. Charcoal kiln. This game is very car mod intensive. Yeah, this, this book is like the, apparently the mecca for me for like building things. Lum okay, there's one thing on this list that's a bit weird. Maybe, maybe you can fill me in why that would be. But we'll keep going. Pair of bolt cutters. Brick kiln. Electric kiln, concrete mixer, yeah, these all make sense. Charcoal kiln, which seems very important for making charcoal. Charcoal is very important. It's important now, so I can imagine it being amazing. Like strapping helicopter motors on an RV. Uh, so the one, the one really important thing here that I want to know why you'd want it is not mechanical pump, but a lobotomizer. Why would you want a lobotomizer? And then there's a makeshift stepping scope, recoil stock, adjustable stock, bipod, pistol stock, folding stock, and forward grip. So yeah, tell me about the... Tell me about the... Uh... Lobotomizer. Why would you want a lobotomizer? Maybe it's spoilers. So maybe I don't want to know, but it's not quite sure. I do see where I we can use a knife to create zombie slaves. So perhaps it's a final over wait, what? What? So they're going like what's that show? What's the one The Walking Dead? So you can capture zombies? Crazy. Anyway, flick through while we got the light. It's just a me. Oh, okay. So then I've learned. I skim popular mechanics to find out. So I can bring my mechanics up to one. Zombie slaves are no longer in the game. Oh, damn. Were they too powerful? Or did they uprise? I mean, uh, apparently they did. I wonder why they got removed. Was there a reason? Or were they just like, nah, boring. Reading this book affects your morale by two. Not sure, actually. Yeah. Reading this book affects your morale by two. Read a chapter, blah, 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 eight minutes. You can learn hand crank charger. They really want to teach me that hand crank charger. Firearm repair kit and pipe cleaner. Uh, and the last book that I want to know about is can bring your tailoring skill up to one, which would be good. 
requires intelligence of five to easily read. I'm fine. Uh, reading this book affects your morale by two. A chapter of this book takes eight minutes to read. This book contains 15 crafting recipes, pair of leather gloves, pair of work gloves, pair of glove liners, boxes, briefs, which I need. Hand crank charger is crucially important early on. Well, I've got two, so I guess I'm set. Um, oh, the straw fedora that I, could, I learned from that other magazine is here as well. Glove liners... Boy shorts, bikini bottom, uh, boxer shorts. Sorry, I had like a SpongeBob moment there for a second. Briefs, leggings, compression shorts, long underwear bottoms, panties, union suit, and sundress. Okay. And for the last one, the Playboy magazine. Reading a book. Reading this book affects your marijuana. It takes 10 minutes to read. Hmm. Fair enough. The Playboy is what it is. Right, anyway. That noise every time I open that door. So what is our weightage at now? 30 weight to 60. We're still quite heavy. Because I'm holding the books. It's just for the articles, of course. It's for... So I guess I picked up the books to read them and didn't put them back. Which is a bit annoying. But it's fine. I mean, we're here, so we might, we might as well read a bit more. Which one would I want? Uh, probably tailoring. This one's... Yeah, let's do that one. Hopefully I can do it before the fire goes out. Come on. Ah, oh, so close. So close. I really should finish that book. That's the problem with these books. Right, I'll do G, non-cap lock. I will see the planks and I will press 1. Right. There we go. See, I'm learning. I'm learning. Plank. Plank goes in. It's too dark. So instead you want to hit E. Uh, start a fire. Cool. And you want to hit capital R and you want to... Which one was I reading? Tailoring. Yeah. Finishing the tailoring. 92, 96. My tailing, tailoring got to 1, which I'm happy about. So I'm not an idiot anymore. I know how to make my own clothes. Asterisk to a point. Right. Right. Now what? I want to drop the... I want to drop my books off. And how, how much water do I have on me? I have a lot of water on me. Okay, maybe I should drop off some water. 11 plastic bottles of water, 1 plastic bottle of clean water. I don't know what, why those... I guess a stack only goes as high as 7? Right. Capital D, drop. Drop where? There. Drop. Okay, I didn't select it. There we go. And down. Cool. Uh, I'm very hungry because of all the reading I've been doing. So let's also go ahead and eat. So capital E. Deluxe scrambled eggs. Gone. Cool. Mate, we're living the high life here. We found this bunker. We got a gun with six bullets. Just in case we need to shoot ourselves six times. We've left the door open as we're cooking, because, you know, that, that's how we roll. That's how we roll, guys. Um, I've, clicked, I've clicked around a few times. So now what? Now what? Probably want to drop. So you said... Oh, I have, I have two makeshift crowbars. So 
let's fix that. And let's hit one. Right. There we go. Cool. Uh, lighter is fine. Matchbooks. I have a lot of matchbooks, but they're probably tiny, so who cares? Um, chili powder. Uh, oh, yeah, the water. I've got way too much water on me. So let's go. I say that now, and I bet you any money. Cut to me going, water, water. Um, yeah. So we want to do 50, right. We want to drop. Let's just drop that one water. No? Okay, yeah, I know. I do the thing. The thing is dumb. Let's drop the bags of teas. And that's about it. I think we're ready to go roaming. Like, if you're wondering what I'm doing, every now and again I'm like, oh, I'm probably going to wrap up now. And then I'm like, oh, but I want to play like five more minutes. And that's what keeps happening. It's middle of the day. I'm warm and I'm rather focused. <laughs> yeah, I was only going to play this game for two hours and it, I've almost played it for 12 hours now, so... That's what you get. Is there anything around that I'd want to grab? No. Shotgun hole. Planks. Could be useful. There's a lawnmower somewhere. There's that feral... Where are you? Okay, he's seen me. Here we go. Yeah. Feral zombie has spotted me. He's coming. Oh. Look at him zoom. He's fast. Yeah, I know I've spotted a feral zombie. Game, you don't have to... You don't have to mo mollycoddle me. I've played this game for almost 12 hours. I know what I'm doing. Oh, he went round the... Mate, you're going to have to go through the bush if you want to attack me. Okay, maybe not. Okay. I'm just going to hit him then. And move back. Oh, he's... There is a zombie nearby. Oh, who cares? Okay, this feral zombie is doing some things to me some bad things okay he's dead though i wasn't happy with that confrontation i think i underestimated his power power may not be the best word but he had a dead smartphone on him wait no that was the other one he didn't have anything on him he was like empty yeah, I kind of got a little bit silly there. Because I was like, oh, I'll definitely be able to get me stuck on the bush. And he was like, no, I'm not getting stuck on this bush. Mate, bushes for, are for pansies. I'm a, I'm an anti-bush. I'm bushless. You can't start with me. Right, let me click over here. Oops, okay. Got some notifications. I'll check that later. That's fine. Right, so what else is around us other than that one zombie to the southwest? Not too much. Not too, too much. There's a fat zombie. I think my phone just went off again. Damn. Maybe the house is on fire. Who knows? Um, yeah. What am I trying to do? Shift B. Okay, so he's down there with no health. And he's somewhere else. So whatever... So so all the zombies, I think, that have had no health have come from what, this house? Here? Or the, like this direction? So whatever's going on 
is down there. And I don't know what it is. And it worries me. But I don't want to go down there. Let's zoom out a little bit. So the zombie, the fat zombie is literally to my west. Mate, I could never see myself playing this game without the safe mode on. The so northwest, west, and southwest. So, okay. So maybe I will go southwest. But yeah. Because there is a very weak zombie down there. And hopefully he sees me. After AI you get comfortable enough to turn it off. Yeah, but I feel like that's how you get complacent. And I just know that I'd end up getting complacent. And then you like end up dying because you're like... Oops. But in controlled situations where you know the... Okay, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. But, like you got them in cages or something. I swear there was a zombie nearby. No. There was a zombie down here. Spotted zombie. Show me the zombie. Oh, I don't care about these zombies. There was a zombie. I, I could have sworn there was a zombie down here. And then the issues are with enemies starting at you or making moves even when you, they're trapped and it will stop you from holding etc. You will make, put on noise cancelling headphones or something to block that out. Fair enough. You'll see what I mean when it happens. You'll have to clear alert after alert just to move a couple spaces. Isn't that though how I guess it were, it would be quite accurate? That's how you get like jumped by some zombie that's like broken loose or something, and you're there like, eh. I don't know where this zombie with no health went. I'm actually a little bit concerned that maybe he died. Yeah, okay. So there was a zombie like here, like literally like spotted zombie. Maybe that's him. No, none of these are the zombie. He had like very little health. Yeah, I get it. And turkeys are always detected as enemies for some reason. Mate, turkeys can be aggressive. Oh, there's a zombie child. And the zombie child is unnecessarily close. Oh, I'm getting annoyed by this. I can see what you mean now. Immediately after I brought it up, it's annoying. I just want to know where this dude went. Zombie soldier. So there's a zombie soldier down there. I'm imagining once a soldier, it is dressed head to toe in combat gear and carries itself rather steadily for a zombie. Okay. I imagine that's not a good person. Lots of zombies. Lots of zombies I can see at a distance that can't see me. I'll turn it off for a second. It does have a feature that auto enables it again after like 50 to 100 turns. So they did think about the whole forgetting it's off leg. So I don't think I ended up going in this building. So maybe we hit open? Nothing can be opened nearby. Not even... Okay. So the window on the other side is open. Mate, I feel like Zombie Soldier is something I want to stay away from. No. Soldier Zombies are one of the uh, ones you can't really bash to death in the early game. Okay, so essentially what you're telling me is... I should peek. I should peek more often. So what you're telling me essentially is, okay, uninjured, aware of my presence, what? Okay, that's bad, if she can see me that means a bunch of them can see me. Kind of thought that I was doing alright for that, not gonna lie. So let's do... 
like it has enough armor to make you only deal one damage. Okay, that sounds nasty, Ethan. Sounds like something I want to stay away from. Right, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm coming out of peak mode. And we are then heading away. Because I'm worried now that a bunch of zombies are going to come pouring from that crevice. Well, they're more likely to smash through the houses, I guess. Oh, another feral runner. Okay. That'll be the second one. He is down by the building. Okay. So that means he's near my home, right? I mean... Oh, no. He's all the way over there. Okay. Depends on the skills and weapons, of course, though. So bashing damage, which is my main damage with my nailed uh, baseball bat, won't do much to him. Good to know. I will keep away. Control V. Yeah. Still want to know what happened to that zombie with low health. Pretty sure something else killed it. I'm just paranoid what? Okay. I want to look. Go. Maybe we can go have a look in this building. It looks like they boarded up their windows. So there's no enemies nearby. So that's nice. Let's be quiet here. Let's do... Do I see anything? Any enemies? No. I see an engine. Weird. No, I don't want to step on the raspberries. So let's zoom in. Okay. Maybe I could climb... Mm. Maybe I don't want to climb up, though. But maybe I do. Climb north. West? Southwest. Okay. And now I can see more around me. Luckily, I don't think, and maybe you'll correct me here, Ethan, but I don't think I can fall through the roof. So that's good. So now if I check the map, I should be able to see more? More? Not really, no. No. I can essentially see the same that I could before. So I need to go to here and here. No, but you can slip if you walk along the edge like a maniac. No. If I hit E, E, climb down. You may have problems climbing back up. Climb down. Yes. So I'm very interested about this house because it's been boarded up, which indicates to me that someone did think about living here post-apocalypse, which means there might be goodies inside. Is that a door? Okay, they, they've also boarded up the door. So yeah, I kind of think something went down here. I should zoom out. There was a lot of zombies around this corner, so I should keep my eyes peeled. Capital X, peek down. There is at least one enemy there. That zombie hostile it is uninjured. It hasn't seen me. Uh, that's it. That's it. Okay, there's like three zombies here. Zombie, fat zombie, fat zombie. And toss on me. Deconstruct the boarded parts. Okay. I guess I could just do that, right? And find a way in. It's what a tough zombie. Yes, game. Yes, game. 
So then we'll go to the construction menu. Board up wooden door, reinforce wooden door, tape up door, remove tape from window. Other. I guess I need a hammer. Unless you took it, unless I go. F and then type in window. No. Mm, I don't think so, unfortunately. Which is a shame. Usually just bash it in. I need to zoom in a little bit. Spotted a Z9. What is a Z9? What the hell is a Z9? It's hostile and it's seen me. A zombified version of one of the German Shepherd dogs used in law enforcement. Its deformed body is encased in a protective kept bar harness. It's seen me in a building across the street. Uh-oh. Feels bad, right? Feels like that thing's going to try and run at me very fast. Hmm. Those things are designed to kill people. Or at least disarm them and... <laughs> yeah. Render them immobile. So, a zombified version could be quite bad. This will be the second dog that I would have to fight, fought. So essentially, I need to back the F off. Okay. Let's ignore it and then leave. And then leave and then leave. Spotted fat zombie. Where? I don't care about that. Spotted firefighter zombie. Okay, that's bad, because he's now going to spot me. And the firefighter zombie is beelining towards me. And he, yeah, he just like smashed his way out. I'm more worried about the dog, I think. Oh, he's coming. He's a coming. Is he still coming? Yeah, he is. But it's just him, so that's good. Where's the fat zombie? Okay, he's just chilling. Hey, dude. Hope for a fire axe. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I can imagine a fire axe being amazing. Go on, do it. Yes. So I can get two hits in, and then I back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. Wait, hit, back off, 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 back off. Wait, hit, dead. Okay. That seems to be like a good strategy for fighting. That's worked for me a lot so far. Let's cut up his body. He has a water cannon. What? What? Fudge is a water cannon. I'll take his $339. The hell is a water cannon? I've got ammo for it. Yay! I guess it's a good disabler weapon? How does that even... Car part for a firefighter truck. A water cannon from a firefighter truck. Yeah, mounted on a vehicle, it could be used to stop fires or protesters. Gun is not loaded, so stats below assume the default ammo. It uses water as a range of 10, a base speed of 65, regular aim. 
This item does conduct electricity. Well, no. Sh so does it have to be mounted? Like, I couldn't just be like. I'll take it because why not? It's probably incredibly heavy. Let's see how heavy it is. Yeah, it's heavy. No damage. So it, does it knock things over though? So if I had it, could I theoretically like stun the zombies to the ground and then smack them, run up and smack them in the head, which might take like so much effort. Like, I just imagine it being this huge, annoying, cumbersome thing. Never use one, so there's only one way to. I'll find a normal zombie or a, like, a dumbass zombie. Tough zombie is not what I want. Tough zombie, I think, is in my way? Nah, we've gone way too off field. Yeah, 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 game. That fat zombie to the... Okay, I'm too far this way. So there's a blood soaked rag and then just casings. Lots of different kinds of casings. Did I check this person? I think I checked this person. Glove liners, yeah, 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 yeah. Cops are human. They didn't have anything like, pardon me, um, weaponry or anything like that. I need to zoom out just a little bit more. Just a little. Feral runner. Yeah, we've seen him before, dude. We know he's chilling down there. I am going to test this gun. Water gun. Flash gun. It'll only end... Why am I like... Yeah, okay. It'll only end one or two ways. Apple, no. Down, through. It's fine. Oh, I heard a noise there in the bush. I don't know what that was. Just for a split second, I swear I heard a noise. That couldn't have been the Feral Runner, right? Okay. Maybe I'm just getting paranoid. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Maybe it's Maybelline. Oh, that fire's been burning a long time. Or is the fire not active when I'm on different Z level Z levels? Z levels. I don't know how it works. I can't imagine the game would want to simulate everything above and below me. But maybe it does. Um, so if I go over to the water pump and go... I. This is probably going to get a whole bunch more heavy. And then... Then I want to enter. How do I load it? I can unload it. How do I load it? Activate. Maybe I don't want to do that. Doesn't appear to be modded. Does that mean I can't use it yet? If, if Z, 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 uh, Z levels aren't... It gave me a whole thing about Z levels, I think. And by default, they're not? Question mark? Ah, oh, reload. Yeah, I can't reload it. So I imagine it needs to be lo like, like affixed to something. Like the game saying, nope. Unless I'm completely missing it, but I'll drop it for now. Yeah, it probably needs matting. They, f they thought about everything. They thought about everything. Yeah, look, look how much that weighed. That put me up to 50 weight, and now I'm back down to 27. So that was heavy. Do I have anything else I'd like to drop? Um, we don't really need... No, we haven't really got too, too much. Right. Right. Give me a second. Um, yeah. Alright. 
I'm debating whether to play a couple rounds of Noiter quickly. I don't know. Is there anyone in the chat that wants Noiter? Just Noiter at me. I'm going to go upstairs and have a look around. Uh, that button. Oh, I've actually got to click on the game to be able to play. Uh, go eat. I'll eat soon. I'll eat soon. Don't you worry. You do that angry cat emote at me all you want. I'll make my own angry cat emote when I get my next emote slot or something of the ilk. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I've really got to think about the next emote slot now. Spotted fat zombie, control V. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. Might be a good idea though to... I really want to go check out one of these buildings, but last time I got close, there was a... Ooh, a zombie child. Looking right at me. I'm a little bit worried about that. Might give it a wide berth. Still see the zombie child. Zombie child can't see me, but is moving in this direction. I mean, Tree69 was in chat earlier. If, if you're still around, Tree, I'll play some Noita. you just got to say, I want Noita. It's up to you. It's up to you. Um, but I don't think he's around. So it's fine. That's not an enemy. Keep saying there's an enemy around. Where is Mibs? Mibs has literally just spoken. She's in trouble. Eh, well, if you're involved, then yeah, she must be, because she has to talk to you. Ah! Spotted zombie, control V. Shift V. Why can't I... I keep... Okay, there we go. So that must have been the zombie that like got hurt earlier, and it just kind of went off. Hey, Mibs. Hey, Mibs. Right. Let's keep going. Spotted a fat zombie. Okay. Well, he's doing a thing. So it wasn't... Mibs, Rick, and Banahoy, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. So I really wanted to go and have a look around here. Uh, that zombie has seen me. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind if a zombie comes along. I'm just kidding, you're not in trouble. <laughs> well, that's good to hear, isn't it? Calm, everyone can settle down now. Uh, Bobo is not angry. That zombie could see me and then stop seeing me? Question mark? Or is there a different zombie coming? What is this game? It's called Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. One, three, four. Those are numbers. Well done. You can count, sort of. Mm. No worry, enemy. I swear there was another zombie about. There it is. There you are. There you are. Right, we'll wait for a little bit. Yep, that is a zombie. Why am I doing that? Kind of want to bring him out a little bit. 
if I can. Do some more waiting. Why not? There he is. Hey, dude. Or dudette. You never know. That is still the same zombie that I have been observing, yeah. Right, I'm going to move over here to the pile of zombies that I've now been collecting, I guess. And I'm going to stand here and wait. Yep, I've spotted the same zombie again. What's the plan here, game? You hear brush. Zombie tries to grab me. I smash him in the face. Smash him in the face. Do I get greedy and hit for a third time? No, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Should have backed off after the second hit. But I got greedy. So, okay, the problem with killing all these zombies on this bush is now the bush is, like, full of crap. Oh, okay. So there's some ammo in there. That's good. He had ammo. There's three zombies in there, by the way. So, uh, just think a huge stack of zombies that I've just piled up one on another. Boxer shorts, briefs, basketball shorts, leather belt, long sleeve shirt. There's nothing else I want. Just the ammo. 60 rounds for a uh, 0.410. I don't know how you say that. We don't really have ammo in the UK, so... As such. As such. Pro runner. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of them. There is a... Zombie zombie soldier pro runner. Okay. So don't go that way. Good to know. No. Okay, this might be a... Okay, I can't close the curtains with that. Game worse than Minesweepers. Okay. Cures my insomnia. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you're getting something out of it, Boba. I'm glad you're getting something out of it. Maybe it's not the game that's boring you. Maybe it's just me. Pairing knife. Pet pack? What the hell's a pet pack? I don't see any action. I literally just smashed an enemy into pieces. Uh, for the cataclysm, this would allow your four-legged friend to see the world. Now it's used to shield them from the world. Ah, oh, I see. Just see a PowerPoint. I mean, you see what you want to see. Pack with cigarettes. Sudden sudden warning. Smoking causes lung cancer. Fair enough. I didn't mean to do that. Get items. That is a wood stove. Okay. Excuse me. I'll take both. What is that? Get items. Uh, four files, newspaper page, rural digest examiner. Interesting. So we got a bunch. Well, we got a bunch of kindling, and we got newspaper page. Chinese victory at hand. Emperor Zhang Gu Yan at Grand China arrived in false state in Burlington, Vermont today to issue his proclamation that America, like all countries of Earth, now belong to the new Grand Chinese Empire. Freedom has fallen. Rebel against his forces while you still can. Okay. Interesting. Lethal force deployed. Police and military forces deny the use of lethal force in riot control. But reports do not seem to corroborate their claims. Uh, from videos of gunshot riddled corpses to aberrant reports from some military officials, it seems clear that at least in some areas, 
Live fire turrets with fully AI driven threat recognitions are being deployed to bolster an overwhelmed military. We reach Major Linda Price in Montepa, Vermont. Alright, E Magics 2, how's it going? Hopefully, you're having a good evening. We've received Major Linda Price in much uh, for comment. I don't care what the orders are, I have men and civilians that need protecting she told our reporters these rioters are worse than any insurgents i've ever fought in afghanistan and i will use whatever i can to keep them under control how fine how about you i'm good uh, yeah i'm just trying to learn and understand this game as well unless you're saying that's what i'm doing which is what i'm doing it's a very interesting game now uh, this is like my first proper playthrough I played it yesterday or the day before yesterday a little bit to try and get my head around the uh, like key bindings, but other than that, I've never played it. UFO crash, truthful fiction. One civilian count claims a shining disc appeared in his field. It kind of glowed, and I could see strange grey world for it. Then a shambling hazy purple mushroom came through, man. Okay. That doesn't sound good. Aliens. So... Let me get, there were zombies, the Chinese were invading, and aliens. Okay. A news weekly coverage, regional events. There's an article on the winter snowstorm and several letters to the editors concerning. Apparently, I haven't read that yet, so we'll take that. And we will go to read. Requires intelligence of five to easily read. Reading this book affects your morale by one. Okay, it doesn't do anything. I'll take it for now just to burn. Why not? This is a very small house. Uh, so we got a pet pack and a raincoat. So they were trying to pack up the pets, it looks like, in the po post apocalypse kit items. Uh, kettle, teapot. I guess I'll take the tea and the honey and the sugar. That's about it. So yeah. So if you're learning this game as well, if that's what you're saying, Magix, how are you finding it? Good. I should hit G and not E, I guess. It's just a kettle. Uh, pairing knife, two steak knives, bottle opener, six butter knives, two pairs of chopsticks, corkscrew, seven forks, four pewter bowls, plastic straw, spoon. I do not want any of that. So I guess that's good. So I should probably hit... Yeah, no, I don't like that many. Um, so, G, what direction? You grab the refrigerator. I don't want to grab the refrigerator. That blocks G. You release the refrigerator. Great. Great, great. It really looks like there's a katana in the sink, but I don't think that's a katana. So, G, there. Uh, the fridge. Okay, bird eggs, bird eggs, bird eggs. Maybe I should take the bird eggs. Uh, paper wrapper of beet. Okay, it's a rotten sandwich. Plastic bag of bowl. I don't even know what that is. European pilsner. What's a European pilsner? Well, I live in Europe and I don't know what that is. Who knows, I'll just take it. Ketchup, mayonnaise. I can't have milk because I'm allergic. Mustard. I mean, I'll just take it all. We'll take it over. Pickles. Root beer. Root beer. Soy sauce. Okay. And then G and up. Steak knife. Two large fire extinguishers. I don't think I'll need them. Maybe I will. Two boiling. Okay. And then G and scrubbing brush. Two towels. Do I want detergent? Small cardboard box with detergent. Small cardboard box. No bigger than a foot in dimension. Probably don't want it. And then far right, G. RPG die, candle, hammer. I mean, I'll take them. 
pair of scissors. Scissors. Uh, do I want the die? Are die important? I don't think they are. I might take the candle though. Just for, you know, mood. Permanent marker. So this permanent marker seems crazy to me. Industrial strength permanent marker, about halfway between a typical marker, which is probably like no thicker than maybe one of your fingers, and a spray can. How sh mm. I'm not going to get into this. I saw this before and I was like, how thick is that? That's huge. Exacto knife, which, meh, don't need. I might take the pliers. Um, plastic straws, I can't see a use for off the top of my head. Exacto knife, yeah, I've already looked at that. Duct tape is important. Batteries are important. Four long strings. Yeah. Okay. Eat your way to fit for seek. Ah. Mm. Uh, Fried tofu, tofu, vegetable pizza. Okay. Not terrible. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Okay, good. good. Sneak in here. Soap. Yeah, why not? We'll take some soap. I'm getting a bit heavy now. I don't know what ammonia... I think ammonia is used for, like, mutagens and stuff. Don't want the soap dish. So what else is in here? Maybe if I do shift V. Yeah, that's it. Okay. What is that? G. Car buyer's guide. Hmm. Car buyer's guide. Can bring your bartering skill up to one. Requires intelligence of high. Okay. I've got to be very quick here. And. Okay. I aced it, I think. Bandana. Maybe? We'll take the bandana. Just because I don't have one. Is there anything else nearby? No. Is that the front door? What is that? Just a wall. Bookcase. Impassable. Oh, they blocked up the front door. It looks like maybe I'm um, mis misunderstanding what's happening in front of me. But it looks like they blocked the front door? No, the front door's up there. Okay. No. They just put a bookcase right at the top of the stairs. Okay. So, i got to be careful downstairs. I haven't heard anything moving around while I've been upstairs. Oh, shift. Creepy. 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 Uh, I think the... I think the pet stuff kind of indicated to me that that... Okay, now I figured out why maybe some of the zombies were taking damage. I'm just going to leave, dude. I'm out. See you later. Bye. Oh, shit. Was that a zombie Rottweiler or just a Rottweiler? I couldn't... Uh, bruised corpse of a Rottweiler. A oh, Rottweiler. Ah. Oh. Okay, so it was a zombie dog. Ah. So I should smash the corpse then. So I also need to do... I 
Okay, I need to leave. I need to leave. We're out. Spotted zombie soldier, where? Where? Where, where, where? Oh, he's like way far away. He hasn't seen us. Game, calm down. So, uh, Ethan, that'll be that uh, basement stuff that you told me to worry about. What a zombie swimmer. Again, not super bothered about that. I was just a bit shocked that the dog was just there, not making any sounds. Just kind of hanging. Just kind of hanging. Pat, spot, it's Pat Zombie. Where? Okay. He broke in. Good for him. And I broke up. Out. Just going to see if I can see him. On the periphery. Right. Right. Well, we're going back home for now. Wow, that fire is definitely going. Um, and I want to... If I'm honest, I want to... I'm in minimal pain, but that's fine. I should probably read something better. I mean, I enjoy the mechanics book, but I don't think I need mechanics. I think I need either these two. Crafting for beginners, I think I also need. So how about I read that? Okay. Okay. It's random, but there can be everything from normal zombies to really nasty stuff. Okay. Is there not, like, scaling with it, or is it, like, literally, like... Ultra random, you can get some, like, you can just get effed. I also need to go into my inventory, and now I need to go into up E. And I need to... Apparently I really enjoy this root beer, so I'll drink that. Ultra random, okay. That's bad. So they could be, like... Some sort of evil super demon down there that just like lasers me to death. I'm gonna drink that. Still thirsty. Interesting. Probably don't have cigarettes if you're thirsty, mate. Slated. Okay. Slated. One in the afternoon, about 2 p.m. Okay, okay. Not here where I live. Some basements are specific and have some weird stuff, and others only have like a Roomba. <laughs> well, I mean, that Roomba could be scary too. And apparently, uh, Softbot likes a Roomba. I mean, robots will be robots, eh? Right, anyway. So, I'm going to actually stop playing for now. It has been, I've been, I've had an absolute blast today. This has been amazing. Love it.